Pokemon Leaf Green. Three, two, one, go. Various buns will be explained in order of their importance. Okay. Yeah, this is just very basic stuff, which most likely remember or know already. Except for select. Use to shift items and to use a registered item. That one I did not know. In the world in which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. Through your adventure, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press the A button and let your adventure begin. Fight a primer to the adventure. Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, let me tell you a little about yourself. Tell, let me tell you a little about yourself, yeah. Tell me a little about yourself. Are you a boy or a girl? Oh yeah, is this... Is Leaf Green and Pokemon Fire Red just like uh, rehashed versions of the original... Uh, red and blue, or green and red in that case. We call Slice, surprise, surprise. We could be Ash, but it could be Slice. Uh, help system, okay. Don't need any of that, I need to press select. I need needed the lowercase ones, there we go. Right, so your name is Slice, yes. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Um, what was his name now? Ah, he could be named Ash, look at that. We'll name the rival... Aif. Uh, was it Aif? That's right, I remember now, his name is Aif. I'm not gonna do the voiceover for all the text because I know there's a ton of it in this game. For some, we might do it. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Lego. Yeah, from what I understand, this is a uh, remake of the original games. And I really... only enjoyed Pokemon Red and Blue, to be honest. I mean, Crystal was okay, but... at that point, you already have to know a lot more Pokemon than I do. Is there a run button in this? Shoulder buttons are the help button, so that's not a run. Could be that there ain't a run button. Maybe I just recall incorrectly. Four boys walking on a raid roll tracks. Uh, stand by me, right? All boys will leave home someday. It said so on the TV. All right, let's just go for Professor Oak. <laughs> Hey, Pase I need boots for running. Ah, okay. I'm not sure if the original game had boots. I know there's a bicycle, right? Let's first say, uh, check that the saving works. Save the game, so saving seems to work. That's good. Yeah, the original did not have boots, so it's new to this game, I guess. There will be some, like, hopefully a lot of, like, quality of life things for this game. At this point, this is, like, 20 years old already as well, I think. Close to it, at least. If not, already that old.
Oh, yeah, and the Pokemon music is top notch. It's nice to hear, like, maybe a little rearranged versions of them. Better made for the GBA sound chip. Gonna be some nostalgia in this, most likely. Hey, look at that ape is here. What? It's only Slice? Gramps isn't around. Maybe he'll be around soon. Like an encyclopedia, but the pages are blank, so that's the Pokédex. I'm gonna have to brush up a lot on my Pokémon stuff here. Indigo Plateau. I think that's like the final place of the game. Final area. The Pokéballs. They contain Pokémon. Was it so that we try to leave and he comes in? Or was it so that we need to go out to the wild and he comes and rescues us? I think that might be it, it as well. We have mail. Oh, that's Afe's house. He could be living with Oak though. Let's go and see. Daisy. Oh, look at that. They don't even have a second floor. Oh my. Oh my. And again, it does look like they have one. There's windows up top too, such as our house. Yeah, I think we just need to go here. Yeah. Oak catches us out of the blue. I need to add a little bit of volume for myself since the music is so music is so good. You need your own Pokemon for protection. Look at oh, how weird does he look here? Massive five head. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Eighth? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Slice. There are three Pokemon here. <laughs> Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on. Choose. Hey, Gramps, no fear. What about me? Be patient, Ape. You can have one, too. Yeah, I think they have different starters than the originals had, since this most likely has... At least Gen 2 and 3 in it as well. I'm not sure. But I think this has at least 2 and 3. Maybe even 4. Who knows? Well, there's Charmander. Who people usually choose. I wasn't one of those people though. Squirtle. Oh, they do have the originals. One worth raising. I went for the one that everyone seemed to hate. I went with Bulbasaur. It's very easy to raise. Yeah. I went with Bulbasaur and I got a lot of shit for it. And I'm gonna do it again. I enjoy playing with Bulbasaur anyway, so I didn't have any problem with it. It was the other people that had. Might be that, like, Charizard and Blastoise are a little better when they level up or whatever, but... Based Bulbasaur Enjoyer. Exactly. Like, I just... I like the look of it. He's on the cover of the game. Or is that the, uh... It's Venusaur and then the third form is something. Or I, f I can't remember. Bulbasaur, Venusaur, and something else, most likely. Or does it only have two forms? I'll take this one then. A received the Charmander. Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard, right? Squirtle. Something and Blastoise. I forget. I completely forget. Squirtle, Squirtle, and Blastoise, right? Squirrel. Squirtle. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can battle it. With it at your side, you should be able to reach the next town. Let's take... Let's just steal Squirtle. Ah, oh, we can't. Fine. Can we take... Uh... No, he doesn't give us the Pokedex yet, apparently. Squirtle, Wartortle, and Blastoise. Hey, Dango. Uh, yeah, War Turtle. I would never remember that. But what about uh, Bulbasaur? It's Bulbasaur, Venusaur, and the third form, right? Oh, wait, Slice. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Let's go. Get 
Oh, what battle music here. Rival Ave would like to battle. Rival Ave send out Charmander. Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. You've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes the other Pokemon trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Hey, Dango, were you there for the uh, ladies wrestling event last night? If so, how did it go? We got Growl and Tackle. Let's just go with Tackle. We most likely don't have time to use Growl, to be honest. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur. Yeah, Ivysaur. I completely forgot about it. So Dango wasn't at the event. Ah, oh, shame. I heard it was somewhat good. Quickly checking uh, the Discord. Venusaur is third. Yeah, I for some reason remembered that Venusaur was the second form and completely forgot about Ivysaur in that case. Inflicted the damage on the foe is the key to any battle. Yeah, we'll just go with uh, tackles for now. Seem to be doing more damage than him anyway, so as long as we don't miss anything, we should be okay. Yeah, I heard it was really good. Yeah, was expecting something like that anyway, so not too surprised. There we go, so he'll die here. Or get knocked out, I'm sorry. Knocked out, not die. Sorry, A. Oh, Charmander fainted. Bulbasaur gained 69 ASP points. <laughs> oh, immediately to level 6. That's nice. Player defeated rival A. Why player? I'm Slice. I ain't no player. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. 80 Pokebucks. I don't know what cash is called in this. Gil? Zenny? Whatever. Your Pokemon was killed by your vile, violent actions. Exactly. This is the remake, the remastered version. Things are a little darker here. Hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokemon a strong. Just listen to the music. I really enjoy it here. I mean, I liked it in the original as well, but... This new edition of this is... Very good as well. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Slice, Gramps, smell you later. Ooh, that 90 sass. Slice, raise your young Pokemon by making it battle. It has to battle for it to grow. Uh, did it regain its health? An item in the back can be registered to select for easy use. Do we have any items? Don't have any items right now. Uh, yeah, he's at full health, so we should be good. Pallet down. Yeah, let's just head out into the wild. Oh wait, did we get something from mom if we still visit her? You should take a quick rest. Now we can sleep at mom's place for uh, restoring the health of our Pokemon, perhaps. You and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. I don't recall that you would find some items from... PC has potion. Exactly. Something like that. Yeah. Thanks, Pussy. I kind of remember something about the original game, so... Booted up the PC. What would you like to do? Item storage with raw potion. Thank yous. Mailbox. Oh, mail here. Oh, no. Turn the PC off. I wonder if those... This is like the Windows 95 and 98 thing where you have to, like, select shut down. Then you have to wait until you get the message that it's safe to turn off the computer. It has to be one of those. But Ash or Slice here just turned it off immediately. So, let's, uh... HP of one Pokemon by blah, blah, blah. Can we, uh... How do you register it to be used with select? No. 
No. Ah, uh, yeah, they can hold on to the item, right? So we would give this to Bulbasaur. Yeah, he's holding it. So this has the whole thing. That wasn't in the original, I think. An item in the bag can be registered to select for easy use. I think uh, maybe potion isn't one of the easy use items then. Easy to use items. It's like a bicycle and something like that that you can put onto the select button. Route 1. Pidgey. Some of these I will know. Most of them not, but... Gonna try to brush up on my Pokemon knowledge throughout the playthrough. Ooh, missed. Look at that. You're done for, Pidgey. Well, Pidgey fainted. You can get some quick levels for Bulba here. I hardly ever remember. Uh, evolving Pokemon throughout my playthrough because I usually just skipped out on battles. I hate grinding and leveling up in games, unfortunately. So as little as I have to do it, I will. But I do also remember that we need to get levels for the first batches and whatnots. First gyms. Bulbasaur learned Leech Seed. Oh, that's cool. Already? Just weeding out all the all of the Pidgeys around the area. Wait, we could use Leech Seed to regain health, right? I mean, the Pidgey is most likely going to die immediately when we use it, though. Seeded. Ain't that something? Only one? Maybe it needs to be a uh, week to Raz or something. Oh, we would get more than just one health per turn. Sap bite leech seed. <clears throat> Oh, that was a quick second fight. Oh shit, Ratata. So if they're holding on to an item, I think they'll use it immediately when they get to low health, right? Something like that anyway. I think we can take care of him before we die. Ratata. Remember Ratata having a very funny voice clip in the PC trading card game. Ratata and the second form. What was the second form? I can't remember at all, but it's a, it's a big ass rat. The second form, I mean. Ooh, a crit. Look at that. Just in time. We really needed that. Gonna sleep the agony off. Raticate, that's right. Rat something, but I was thinking like, what's bigger than a rat? Wouldn't have remembered Raticate, unfortunately. I used to take pride on knowing the first 151 Pokemon, but... That was ages ago, as you can tell. Kelagold? Kelagold, I have no idea. Or Kila Gold. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Must be a Gen 2 or 3 at least. Fair minimum. Oh shit, they have 1 HP. I suppose I'm referring to Kelarotta meme. <laughs> I have no idea what Kelarotta meme would be, but he could be referring to that, definitely. Ooh, 
Level 8. Good. But we're getting fucking eaten alive here. I have to go back and rest. I think the next town is not that far off. But I also don't want to die on my way over there. We can take our easy quick rests before we head out. You and your Pokemon are looking great, Slash. I would like to save the game and it is okay to overwrite it. It's weird that there's not a second save slot in this though. Let me just make sure that the saving actually works. So I'm gonna exit. No, wait, 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 wait. Is it, uh... Looks like there is no soft reset. Oh, these we definitely want to change too. But yeah, let me uh, just reset the game real quick. Just to see that the save still exists. And it does, okay, so we're good. Previously on your quest, look at this. In Pallet Town, to go on Ape's Charmander with Bulbasaur and blah blah blah. Slice left Prof Oak's research lab. Slice with through to buy them potion. <laughs> look at that, it kind of remembers like everything. Rested comfortably at home. Save the game at this location. That's pretty cool. I like that. But yeah, uh, options. Fast. It should take battle scene off, I think. Because of uh, it making things faster. But I also want to see some of the cool animations, definitely. Gonna have that eighth frame right there. Let's now head out, see how far we can get. We should be able to make it to the next town, most likely. Fight these trainers on the way, too. I work at Pokemart. It's a part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. Oh, what a nice dude. It was a potion. Come on, Balabi. You should be eating these Pokemon alive already with your level 8. Hail whip! Bye bye Ratata. I do want to fight some of the uh, trainers around the area too because you most likely gain some money and a lot of EXP from them. Just hope they don't have more than one Pokemon. Kelarotta haukkuva termi työttömälle ihmiselle, joka elää täysin kela Kelan tukien varassa. Sounds about right. I haven't heard a meme about it, but I think I've heard the term, most likely. See those ledges along the road. It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. You're just blocking us. Can't go further. I remember when I played Blue, back when I was a kid. I remember it being such a big thing when I went to that one cave and got all the way to the end and finally fought. I think it's Mewtwo? Yeah, I think Mewtwo because uh, you can't find Mew out in the wild. I remember there were like these uh, events in the city center in a uh, tennis party. The movie theater where they came in and you could like actually get a Mew for your cart. They were trading out Mews for people who came there and got them. I don't know if you can get Mew at all in the game by other means. So it was a pretty big thing to have Mew. I never got it myself, but I think that was very cool. Kela Gold, buddy from Kela. Exactly. I want to know about the two kinds of Caterpillar Pokemon. Caterpie has no poison, but Weedle does. Why should your Pokemon aren't stabbed stab by Weedle's poison? Ooh, sorry. It's a burp. Stabbed by Weedle's poison sting. I like the little tune that plays when you put your Pokemon into the Pokemon center thing. Dee 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 dee. 
Let's hear how that is in this game. Pokemon Wireless Club, what? Where did we put the Pokemon in? Ah, okay, so this was just about trading your Pokemon. Maybe what was downstairs then? Ah, yeah, there's the thing. How stupid am I? Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Exactly. You restored your Pokemon to full health. Yeah, we can use this PC. Not sure what we will do here, but someone's PC. See ya. I wish pet healthcare was free. I'm referring Pokemon to as pets right now. I think for that one down there, you need the cut skill, which I think I taught my Bulbasaur back in my first playthrough. Yeah, Pokemon, don't you? You need a cut for this one. Yeah. You don't have that yet. And I don't remember what you get from the guy, but I did remember that. Ooh, I'm trying to memorize all my notes. What are your notes? Ah, oh, yeah, this isn't a school. This music is just super cool. I really like this. Hey, we could buy some antidotes or something, right? Or should. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Oak's parcel, okay. Please say hi to Prof Oak for me too. So can we... Not yet. I guess we have to return the parcel first, then we can buy some stuff. Which we really need, so let's just take the parcel back. Does good business in antidotes. Capitalists of Viridian City. Exploring? I should just be battling on my way back because we're gonna get to heal anyway, so... Why skip out on the grass? I hate random battles, but if they happen, it'll actually be good for us here. Just for the sake of EXP. Wonder how fast you can do this nowadays in a speedrun. Like, well, a glitch speedrun is most likely a few minutes only. I do remember seeing speedruns about somebody going into Viridian City and from there they make some weird warp all the way to the end of the game. Or the credit screen, anyway. Not sure how you pull that off, but I do know that that's possible. And I wonder how long glitchless speedruns are. Those must take some time. How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Such a fanfare for delivering a parcel. That's what the UPS people feel like. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Grams. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? All oh, right, I have a request for you two. The desk there is my invention, the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Slice and A, take these with you. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them. You have to catch them to obtain the data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Ooh, five Pokeballs. Pokeballs pocket. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. 
This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. Make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. Fire Red, Leaf Green, any percent record is two hours. Oh, only two hours. So glitch less. I think. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. For red and blue, glitchless, any percent is one hour, 45 minutes. Wonder why these are long. Maybe had, because they have some extra stuff in them, so. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. Slice, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Slice. <laughs> Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Let's go and see if we can borrow the map. I mean, he already got it. Maybe we can get one from our house. I think we actually could. Perhaps. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Jeez, that's lazy of him. Oh! Hey, we actually got it. Nice. Slice put the town map in the key item's pocket. So I think that's one of those items that we can put on... Select. Register. Yeah, it's on select right now. I could never really understand too much of this map for some reason when I was playing. Ah oh, yeah, Indigo Plateau is all, all the way over there. But that's like the final place. Victory Road and Indigo Plateau. Is the map really this small though? I remember that it was much bigger. But it does have a lot of places to visit though. Where's Lavender Town? Ain't that the uh, creepy pasta place? Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. I just missed it. Lavender Town. Lego. Blue sister has a crush on red. So it was. Wait, I'm. I'm red or blue. I don't remember how it goes. I think the rival could be named red, right? So I'm supposed to be blue, right? No, I'm red. So blue's the rival rival then. MC is red, blue is rival. Okay. We know that now. Well, let's see if we can catch ourselves a Pidgey. Well, not like that. Sorry for that. <laughs> Would hardly ever use a Pidgey, of course, but... I don't think they're a very powerful Pokémon, even if you level them up. Or we need to get our collector's journey on the way. Pokémon Master Chief. Kind of hard to get it down to a perfect health to catch it, though. I think you need to be at, like, red to be able to catch them, right? Oh, look at that. Pidgey was caught. Gotcha. Pidgey's data was added to the Pokédex. Common sight in forests and woods. It flaps its wings around ground level to kick about blinding sand. No nicknames. We're gonna go with Reggie's. Reggie Regular. Ratata? Nah, not this time around. I think it could be a good idea to level up the Pidgey though. Like, should we need him? Level 3 Pidgey won't do anything anyway. I think you can do it by... Ah, it's low health though. No reason fighting with him right now, at least.
I bet I caught this one. It's level four already. I guess we could. Yeah, let's actually catch this one. It'll be one level more than the other one is anyway. We're gonna grow an army of Pidgeys. No nicknames, no. So is it just named nothing right now? Nah, it is Pidgey. Good. Let's go heal my boys. Nice. Which moves do they have? Well, kicking out the sand, of course, right? I didn't root one at level four. Naughty nature. Uh, what does that mean? Do our Pokemons have like behaviors or personalities? Relaxed nature. Modest nature. I wonder what those have to do with anything. This one has tackle. Looks like you can't swap Pokemon with the shoulder buttons right there, unfortunately. Yeah, they both seem to have tackle, only now. Have to level them up for more moves. So antidotes, that's what I wanted. Maybe a few potions if I can help it. We have 3,000? What the hey? Get 10 antidotes, 5 paralyzed heals, 4, not 5. Uh, 2 potions, and 3 more Pokeballs. And before we need money for something so we can proceed, and then we have to just grind out battles and get money. Left went into Indigo Plateau, right? Verdian City, the eternally green paradise. I go shopping in Pewter City occasionally. I have to take the winding trail in Viridian Forest when I go. Edgy. Speary. My dad loves Pokemon too. Steal whatever we can from your apartment. Coming up with nicknames is fun, but it's not so easy to do. Clever names are nice, but simple names are easier to remember. The way you could also find stuff in plants, right? Or could you? Let me steal your possessions and savings. Not from here, apparently. Well now, I've had my coffee and that's what I need to get going. Hmm, what is that red box you have? Oh, so you're working on your Pokédex. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokémon, the Pokédex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokémon? Ah yeah, I'll show how it's done. Weedle. Come on, old geezer. Tutorialize it. Look at that. He's mansplaining it to us now. Wheel was caught. Surprise, surprise. There, now tell me. That was educational, was it not? And here, take this too. Teachy TV. There's something you don't understand, watch that. It'll teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Made it too strong, it gave me a headache. 
There's a Pokeball, maybe a Master Ball behind that one bush you could get up. This Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. Is this the one where the eventual final master is? Giovanni? I think, yeah. I think you have to come back to this city to get it. Was it from here that you get the bicycle somehow? Catch Pokemon and expand your collection. Route 2. Meridian City to Pewter City. Ratata may be small, but don't underestimate its wicked bite. Have you caught one already? I know. Are you going to Viridian Forest? It's a natural maze in there. Carefully, you don't get lost. Oh! Cool little starting screens. Came here with some friends to catch us some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get some Pokemon battles. If your Pokemon are weak and you want to avoid battles, stay away from grassy areas. I was throwing Pokemon balls to catch Pokemon, but I ran out. But you can never have too many Pokeballs. Oh shit, you got a Weedle. Don't get poisoned. I don't think he got poisoned. I'm going to attack you with one of my Pidgeys. So we could maybe even catch you. Because my attack should not kill you, right? Evasion went down. Speed fell, okay. Poison Sting. Critical hit. Oh no, he got poisoned. Sucks. Here we go. Let's try to catch this screwball. Should be possible. Here we go. Wheels data was added to the Pokédex. Often found in forests, eaten leaves. It has a sharp stinger on its head that injects poison. Nope. Oh yeah, they're not even Pokeballs, they're just item pockets. Or whatever. Item pickups. So, I'm guessing we... ...have to use an antidote on ya. No, he's holding it. Okay, maybe we'll just give him all potions. Old. And we'll have to use the items from the bag. So, antidote. And uh, give the one potion to Weedle. He was doing even worse than the Pidgey. It's a fight waiting to happen. I think if you went from the grass, you could have not fought this one. Oh shit, it's the Pidgey we use, right, though. Bug Catcher Rick. He has two Pokemon, by the way. No, we start with Bulbasaur. Ah, uh, yeah, you select the one you start with, I guess. From the uh, overworld. It's not the last you use that you start with. You always start with the same one. Maybe Bulbasaur cannot get poisoned, is that the thing? 
because he is kind of like a poison type himself as well, right? I buy Weedle. Really hoping to get EXP share as soon as possible to level the other Pokemon as well. Because I hate having to swap Pokemon to level them up as well. Maybe you need to check where you find the EXP share as soon as possible. They're just trying to slow me down here, are they not? Oh, Caterpie fainted. 67 EXP. Level 10. Ooh. Yes, Vine Whip. That's a killer this early on in the game, I think. Caterpie can't hack it. Shh, you'll scare the bugs away. Another time, okay? Okay. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Oh shit, Doug has three Pokemon. So when will our Pokemon use the hold item? Not very effective. Oh yeah, of course, against the grasp type, not very effective. The Vine Whip is a killer move outside of that, I think. Should have just leech seeded, I guess. Especially if this one gets drawn out, then we can heal a little bit as we're going. As long as leech seed hits, it should. Yes. They got seeded. Now we actually get two HP back. Bye bye, wheel. Yeah, let's change Pokemon this time around. Let's try to go with the Pidgey that we had. Fortunately, I think we'll only take like a hit or two to die, but if we use him once, he'll still get the EXP from it, I think. Hopefully it'll hit too. Yes. They are level 7, but I don't think they'd be hitting 7 damage. Unless it's a poisonous thing, so yeah, let's definitely change. Better get EXP for all of them now. God damn it, they're poisoned again. Not good. Well, that's some EXP for you as well, and then we'll go back to Bulbasaur. Or Weedle. Let's try to get a little for him too, I guess. And again, at this point, they only get very, very little EXP if they have to share it. Not very effective. Well, it's the same the other way around, I think. I'm back, Bulba. I think the uh, Pokemon knowledge base or wiki is actually called uh, Bulbapedia. I know that from having to check it during my playthrough of. What was the Pokemon game that I was playing? Red Mystery Team? Or Red Rescue Team or something? Yeah, everyone gets a little bit of VXP, but very little as you can see. Kakuna? Uh, was it so that Kakuna can't even attack? 
So let's change the Weedle. No, wait, it can most likely do an, a tackle as well. But it just uses Harden mostly, right? No, wait, I'm mixing that up with a different Pokemon, I think. What was the one that looks like a... Like a banana? Just a uh, greenish banana. There's something like Kakuna. The name, I mean. Can't remember right now. But that one only uses like a Harden. Well, Kakuna just did it as well, but... I just forget the name. Oh, Pidgey. Missed? We're gonna be doing like one damage if we hit two, I think. Ooh, look at that. Still trying to harden. That's a move if I've ever seen one. Don't want to use the other Pidgey that we have because he'll just take damage after every attack. It's poisoned right now. 52 for Pidgey. Ooh, look at that. Level 5. And learn Sand Attack too. Good. Weedle to level 4. Very good. Uh... Yeah, it's taking damage right now, the one we have, so we have to heal the Pidgey. Get the poison off of him anyway. And then we'll just go. Contact Prof O via PC to get your Pokédex evaluated. No reason doing that right now with the few Pokémon that we have. Or is it so that he might give us something every now and then? Or evaluating when we have specific amounts of Pokemon or something. You were gonna have to fight. I mean, if we passed him, he would have stopped us, I think. Bug catcher Anthony. This one won't do poison, so that's good. It's dead. Level 11. Good. Another Caterpie. He won't be changing, no. Let's use Lead Seed. Get a little bit of that health back if it connects. Of course, we might lose it from tackles, or whatever. That was three already we got. Pretty good. One more attack and we should be done. Has like one HP left. Luckily we didn't take more damage. I wish we could finish this off with the Leech Seed. Should have just used the Growl or something. Could have gotten more health out of him. Oh boo, nothing went right. I lost some of my allowance. Ooh hoo. Why'd you have to fight then? Mm -hmm. 
Weedle out in the wild. Like this level five too. Ain't that something? We could try to catch it, just to have a Pokemon. Don't have a Caterpie just yet, but... Just having something would be good. Ah, No dice, I guess. Did you know that Pokemon evolve? Well, catcher Charlie. Metapod, that's the one I was thinking about. This one does not attack from what I recall. Let's change to Weedle. Have him kill this one. I think this is the one that doesn't attack anyway. It just uses Harden. The second form will attack. As far as I remember. This is good just to uh, attack it with Weedle. Only do a few damage each time, but he'll get, uh, she'll get EXP from this fight, so that'll be good. We're leveling her up. At some point, we most likely will take the battle animations off, just to make the fights a little bit faster, I guess. Not hating it right now, but it does tend to get a little boresome after some time. Especially when you start getting, like, very long attack animations. Then you just have to sit through them. And this is easily gonna take me about, most likely, something like 20 hours to beat. Full Metabot shed its skin to take care of the poison? Look at that. I had no idea that that might even happen. Pretty cool. But yeah, I'm expecting this to take at least 10 to 20 hours, very minimum. But we'll be here for quite some time. Bulbasaur 54, even if he didn't do anything. We all got to level up, that's always nice. Exactly what I was going for. About to use a Caterpie. Let's stay with Wheel. For now. Not sure if Caterpie can get uh, poisoned. Most likely not. We should be doing some damage to him anyway. Not a lot, but some. It's always something. It did get poisoned this time. No? I guess it cannot get poisoned. At least it ain't attacking us. Well, now it starts using Tackle. We'll take a few damage, but that'll be okay. I think we're at the end of Viridian Forest soon anyway, so we can get to the next city and just heal our Pokey guys. Right now, from this one, all the EXP should go for Weedle. Or two Weedle. Since I didn't swap Pokemon. Might even get a level up from this fight alone. There we go. Better be done. 79 EXP. Exactly. We up to level 6 already. And another Metapod, so we'll just stay with Weedle. Oh wait, should we actually... I'm gonna use Pidgey. It's only level 3 right now and like... Should easily get a level up if even 2 from this one. It's a free fight anyway if Metapod doesn't attack back like he normally doesn't. Good EXP for our little Pidgey, who's only level 3. Basically a baby.
Go Pidgey! Still a few attacks and that should be it. Can't remember what Metapod's uh, second form was, but... It'll be very difficult to even get EXP for him if you don't use EXP share or just put him into the fight for like one round and then get him back. That's a very weird Pokemon in my opinion. 108, yeah, that's definitely two levels for Pidgey. Yes, nice. Very good. Learned the sand attack as well. Oh, three levels, look at that. A very good choice to put him into the fight then. I lost. That's what happened. Fuck Pokemon evolve quickly, they're a lot of fun. Almost got to the end before the fight. Arapy should try to maybe catch one of yous as well. Missed. Missed. Oh no. That won't do. Oh, okay, in the level, though. Trainer tips. You can't catch a Pokemon that belongs to someone else. That we already knew. We're gonna have to fight you on the way up there, I think. Try to catch that Caterpie this time. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> Hi. Oops. Okay. That should definitely be good for the catch. If he stays in, that is. Yes. A Metapod and Caterpie? Do they? Does a Metapod evolve to a Caterpie, or does a Caterpie evolve to a Metapod, and after that, to something beautiful? I don't know. I just don't know why they showed him down there. Its short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. No nicknames necessary. We won't be fighting with him right now. Hey, wait up, what's the hurry? Why the rush? I don't want to fight ya, that's why. Buck catcher dick. Oh, Sammy, sorry for that. Send out Weedle. A level 9 Weedle, that is, look at that. Even Bulbasaur could have trouble with this. Do a leech seed. So we can get some health in every now and then. I don't want to use the other Pokemon to fight in this one because they'll just get eaten alive by a level 9 Weedle. But Bulbasaur should be okay, especially since he gets some health back every turn. It's actually a very good fight in that case. If he doesn't die here, I could swap someone else in. I think he dies from this though, right? Yeah. I could have swapped someone else in. Get a little bit of EXP for the fight still. Hey, Gibby, you're good at this. Oh, I give up. You're good at this. Sometimes you can find stuff on the ground. I'm looking for the stuff I dropped. Can you help me? Nope. You're on your own. Alright, the end of Viridian Forest is right ahead of us. We'll get to heal our new found, newly found Pokemon and maybe get a few potions. That would definitely be a good idea, since we don't have any more right now. Some of them, some of the Pokemon we have are, of course, holding on to uh, some potions. Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside that can be cut down with a special Pokemon move, I hear? Yep. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to be persistent and look everywhere to get different kinds. 
you know the evolution cancel technique? When a Pokemon is evolving, you can stop the process. It's a technique for raising Pokemon the way they are. Yeah, I never did that because, well, I'll get... I'll take the evolution as soon as it comes, that's all I can say. Since I very rarely do evolve the Pokemon. All Pokemon that appear in a battle, however briefly, earn EXP points. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here, they're all like bug catchers, you know, just hobbyists. But Pure Gym's Brock isn't like that, not one bit. We have that thing against Brock, well, we have the grass type Pokemon, so Brock will be more of a pushover than it would be for the other Pokemon, I guess. Right? Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow, but some moves must be taught to them by people, the TMs. Pokemon becomes easier to catch if it has a status problem. That one I didn't actually know. A good thing to brush up on it, I guess. Computer City map. Where's your Poke Center? Let's get healed. There it is. Politically correct. I really want a Pikachu. So I'm training my Clefairy for one. Alright, so if we had a Pikachu, we could trade that in for a Clefairy right there, I think. E Rocket is at Mount Moon? Huh? I'm on a phone. Scram! I think you can actually get a Pikachu from that forest we were just in. I had two Pikachu, so I figured I must, might as well trade one. How about saying hi back? So come on, tell me about yourself. I'd love to hear your profile. Tell me something good about yourself. What is your profile? Profile is written using four words or phrases. There's plenty of words to choose from for your profile. Okay. What's your profile? I am a Pokemon friend. Look at that. See what we can do with this. Awfully. <laughs> Awfully chlorophyll. No. Um. Uh, darn. Awfully disappointed. Awfully disappointed, dude. Nah, won't work. Lifestyle? Awfully disappointed, dude. That's it. Okay, that'll have to do. I ain't disappointed, to be honest. But apparently I'm right now. Hmm, your profile really says something about who you are. Now that I know you better, it makes us even better friends than ever. Sure. Look at that. That's a, uh... What was your name? That's not a Clefairy, is it? I forget. Jigglypuff. Ooh, poo -poo. Singing Pokemon. They'll sing you to sleep. I think that's that's what the thing was, right? Yeah, and when Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. That's something. Anyone up here? Hello, my name is Tiala. This must be your first time up here. I'll show you how the wireless communication system works. Need to show you this floor of our Pokemon Center. Right this way, please. On the top floor, there are two rooms. The first room on the left is the Union Room. You may link up with trainers around you who have also entered the Union Room. Then you can do things like chat, battle, and trade. The second room is the Direct Corner. You may trade or battle Pokemon with your Pokemon in this room. If the wireless adapter isn't connected, you may still link up using a GVA link cable. In that case, 
If that is the case, you must go to the direct corner. All sorts of things, which we won't be using. But good to know, I guess. Right. Save. You know what I'm doing? No. I'm spraying Repel to keep white Pokemon out from my garden. Look at that. It's hard work. A stone gray city. Yeah, that's why Brock is here. We have to fight his Onyx in the gym, if I recall correctly. They're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. We don't want to fight him just yet, though, do we? I mean, we already got good moves for Bulbasaur, of course. Will just take us to the gym. Put us into the tiger's pit. Lion's den. If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. I kind of think I might have the right stuff, but not right now. Gonna take a look around the city first. The fairy came from the moon. That's where the that's what the rumor is. They appeared after moonstones fell on Mount Moon. Your museum of science. Science! 50 bucks for a child's ticket. Look at that. Let's go in. What can we find here? Aerodactyl fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. I should be grand grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. Cabotops fossil. Aerodactyl I kind of remembered, but Kabutops, no. I want a Pikachu, it's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch me one. Daddy has cool hairstyles. Yeah, a Pikachu soon, I promise. Space Shuttle. This month we are running a space exhibit. Who's Heihachi right there? Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. Meteorite right that fell on Mount Moon is thought to be a moonstone. July 20th, 1969. Is that the time when they landed on the moon? Neil Armstrong? Humankind first set foot on the moon that day. I bought a color TV just so I could watch that news. So that's what we pay 50 bucks for? I think it's a place we might have to come back to later. If I recall correctly. Please enjoy yourself. I might have done something like that. We can only go there after we can learn cut that bush. So no going right now, I guess. It's a need to run. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Our Pokemon's an outsider, so it's finicky and hard to handle. An outsider Pokemon that you get in a trade. It grows fast, but it may ignore an unskilled trainer in battle. He only had some badges. Oh yeah, badges do actually have some effect on that. I think a specific badge helps you control a specific type of Pokemon, right? Ah, okay, so we cannot go further before we defeat Brock. I think that's the thing here. In that case, we should most likely go to the Mart before. I don't think these Rock Pokemon really that many status effects but we should definitely have a few potions for the fights they can only proceed after you defeat brock go to the mart first we are at full health right now so we could go and train more if we need to but i think i'm just gonna go for it Good things happen, can happen if you raise po Pokemon diligently. Even the weak ones can surprise you if you don't give up on them. Shady old guy sucked me into buying this weird fish Pokemon. It's totally weak and costs 500. Ah oh, yeah, that's the magic carp, right? But that'll turn into like a dragon if you just level it up. So I think anyway, a pretty good one. 
Ah, oh, shit, we can only buy one? Yeah, I don't have enough money for anything right now. Yeah, let's, uh... Sell four of you guys, just so we can buy another potion. Maybe not the correct course of action here, but... I do need them potions if we're gonna take on Brock, I think. And we do have to do the uh, preliminary fights before we get to Brock, of course. So we'll do those first, then maybe go back and heal at the Pokemon Center. We should get some EXP from fighting those. Relims too, I think. Go in. Ah, oh, yeah, you. Do you want to dream big? Do you dare dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trader, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. The first Pokemon in a match is at the left of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to suit your opponent's party. Yeah, I guess we could, like, start out with a different one than Bulbasaur, just so they get a little bit of EXP. Like for Caterpie, who is level 3. Put him there. I'll start the fight, in which case he gets EXP automatically. 10,000 light years from facing Brock. So now if he starts the fight, we'll just switch him immediately to Bulbasaur. Geo dude. Level 10. He'll just eat Caterpie alive if we let him stay there. Or we could just uh, switch, switch him to Weedle. So Weedle gets some EXP as well. Defense curl. Just switch it to everyone right now. Because as long as they uh, go into the fight, they get EXP. They don't even have to do anything. As long as they appear. They participate. And of course, right now I have to, like... Share the EXP with many Pokemon, but this is just pre-EXP share stuff, I guess. Have to do it anyway. What if we try to attack with this one? We do <laughs> one damage. And hell do a ton. Yeah, almost killing us in one go. Bring in Bulba. To reap the benefits with a wine whip, I think. That should do some damage. Super effective, as you can see. Some damage. Okay, everyone gets a little EXP. Pidgey grew to level 6. Cool. Sandshrew. Won't change Pokemon, no. Just use another Vine Whip to take care of Sandshrew. Almost. Ooh, a crit. Look at that. Kill him. How oh, I did. Do 19. Ooh. Up to level 13. That's great. Amperlium defeated. Thorn! Light years is in time. It measures distance. Right. You're pretty hot, but not as hot as Brack. I think. Does this place even have any other traders? No, you'll go straight for Brock, but yeah, we do need to heal before we face Brock, so let's go do that. So we don't die in the first instance. I think we got enough money to buy another... Oh wait, are we missing like six? Yeah, we're missing six. Six money to buy another potion. I think that's something. I did check out the museum. 
You absolutely have to go! Ah, oh, Christ. It'll take us to the museum now. You have to pay to get in, but it's worth it. I mean, it's like... I kind of recall that at some point you do have to go there. I can't remember what it was for. Maybe the moonstones or something. Yeah, Pokemon Center, heal up and then go face Brock. We should be able to take care of him. At least with the Bulbasaur, not with the others. Or whatever. Do we have to fight you again? No, we don't. Okay, so save and then go for Brock. So you're here, I'm Brock. I'm Pewter Gym's leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are, the are all the rock type. <laughs> You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose. That's the trainer's honor co that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. We have the crappy starter, of course. We'll swap out. He only has two. He has an Onyx and Geodude. Okay. Got her be almost dead already. A crit for two damage, look at that. Watch out, Geo, dude. I'll uh, give all of them, well, some of them at least, their chance of taking some EXP from this. Oh, crap. Onyx is here already. Don't die, Weedle, please. I should have used String Shot, though. Oh no, come on, Weedle. You know what? I'll just send send them out anyway. If they die, they die. We'll just come back when we get to the center. Good sand attack. Oh, look at that. Rock 2 missed. Accuracy fell, that's even better. You bend there. Bring in the other Pidgey if he stays alive. Listen to the music, Jesus. Good stuff. Oh no. Pidgey, how could you? Fallba, reap the benefits. Wine whip, here we come. No, not Pokemon. So let's use Leech Seed. Honey's used Bind. I think Leech Seed should be pretty uh, effective on him, too. We'll get more HP back. Well, it's not as good as I thought it might be. Hurt by Bind. Okay, so it just stays fine. Eat a Vine Whip, Onyx. 162 for Pidgey. That's a level. Hello. And level 8, too. Look at that. Unfortunately, Caterpie didn't get anything from uh, him. No change, and we'll just take care of Geodude as well, and that's the fight. We get our first badge. Two twenty from Geodude. What the hell? Player defeated leader Brock. I took you for granted, and so I lost. As a proof of your victory, I confer on you, on you this. I confer on you this, the official Pokemon League Boulder badge. I think there's eight or ten badges, right? We've dealt with one leader. Just having the Boulder badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. 
It also enables the use of Move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the Move Flash to use it. 1400 we got from that. That's good. Wait, take this with you. TM39. That teach Flash. TM, Technical Machine, contains a technique for Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. A TM is good for only one use. So when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 contains Rock 2. Throws boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. That's a pretty good one, though. There are all kinds of trainers in this huge world of ours. You appear to be very gifted as a Pokemon trainer, so let me make a suggestion. Go to the gym in Cerulean and test your abilities. Yeah, we got that done. Let's just uh, heal our Pokemon and travel onwards. I won't buy any uh, potions right now. Let's try to hold on to that money that we got. Use it in some other place. Shame that some of the Pidgeys died. They would have definitely have used or have good use for that uh, EXP that we got from the Onyx. But we got some good ones right now. We'll hang on to Caterpie as the starter so he gets a little bit of EXP from each fight. Really need to check where we can get that EXP share from though. Oh, Slice! I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. Been asked to deliver this, so there you go. Running shoes, we got them now. Slice switch shoes with the running shoes. Press the B button to run, but only where there's room to run. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye bye Now we can move a little faster. There's a letter attached. Dear Slice, here's a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From mom. Ah, it's from mom. Cool, now we can run. So this is completely new. This wasn't in the original. But a very nice addition to the game, I think. Don't even need a bicycle now, do we? Easier to go back and forth to the Pokemon Center, at least. Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? Last Janus. Glass. Caterpie only there to get a little bit of EXP. Guess we could do it for the other ones as well. Level 9 Pidgey ain't gonna kill us straight off, I think. We'll do some nasty damage though. A ghost. Ooh, nice, a crit. Almost. Next one will get him. There we go. Therapy to level 4, great. PG to level 7. About to use Pidgey. Let's not change Pokemon right now. Or we could have had Caterpie there to get a little bit of EXP from this as well. I guess that would have been good. Don't die, Pidgey, please. Bring in Weedle for a small shift. Oh, crap. Crapaloons. Follow before the rescue. Sand attack. Accuracy fell. Let's see. Force be missed immediately. to level 9. Ooh, and learned Gust too. Great. 
You're mean. You shouldn't be staring if you don't want to battle. There's like ghetto rules here. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. Why don't you come say something? Fuck catcher. Holton. With your free Pokemon. Level 10 Caterpie. That's a little better than my level 4. Whatever. Still fight. At least that one time. And then have Bulbasaur take care of the rest. actually got some damage in on us. I think that'll be okay. You can use a leech seed for the others to get a little bit back. Caterpie is to level 5. Great. Weedle. No change in... Oh wait, I really should change though. At least back to Caterpie and then change him out immediately. I'll just do your little string shots or something so I can get my HP back. No, not Leech Seed. That wasn't any good. Well, I guess we get a little bit more HP back then. You can't double Leech Seed them, I think. But yeah, they're already seeded, so... We do still get a little back. Tackle is what I wanted to use. And Weedle is playing it right into our bag, just using String Shot, which means we get more HP back. Over the course of the fight. Use the Caterpie. We will change to our Caterpie just to get him there and back out. We can fight with him once, I guess. One tackle shouldn't kill our Caterpie anyway. Oh, a crit, watch out. Hot day here today. The sun's blasting right on me and I'm just sweating here on the chair. I think we're gonna be playing for some time still. Might at least get to the second gym, try to take care of. I think it's gonna be Misty in the second gym, right? At least try to take care of her. So all, almost up to level 15, but not quite. There are other kinds of Pokemon than the ones you find in forests. Mm. Yeah, let's just run back and heal our Pokemon, then go back to the fights. They do lose health pretty quickly at this early stage, so... Best go back and heal them. It's good that you can get, like, the running shoes. I wonder if this game even has the bicycle. Definitely should. Most likely. But yeah, these running shoes definitely help the back and forth to the Pokemon Center. Hey, I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. I mean, you ain't bullshitting. Youngster Ben. With his Ratata. Level 11. Look at that. Bring in our level 6 Weedle to take some damage and go out. Fail Whip, so no damage at least.
Ratatai ain't even attacking any of these. Look at that. How much will Gus do to you if we can... We should be able to hit it, right? Even a miss, that one. It did do some damage. All of us should be able to finish him off pretty easy. Vine Whip should be a one-hit kill, I think. Slap him dead. Not quite, but close. Oh, look at that. Because our defense fell, they actually did 10 damage with that one hit. Good for them. Caterpie up to level 6. Bulb off to 15. Trying to learn Poison Powder. Yeah, let's get rid of Growl, I think. I think Growl lowers defense, right? But I think Poison Powder would be better since we don't have... Well, we already had uh, Weedle with Poison. Trying to learn Sleep Powder. Two moves. don't really want to get rid of the others. Then again, Leech Seed only gives you a few. We already have the poison thing. Hmm. They actually learn Sleep Powder instead of Poison Powder. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Let's do Sleep Powder instead of Poison Powder. About to use Cons. We will get our... Weedle out there for a quick shift and just get him out of there. Ikans who evolves into an Arbok. Oh, Ikans Intimidate lowered Weedle's attack. Was that it? Ran Rap. Is he paralyzed? Hurt by Rap. No, it's kind of like Bind. Okay. Oh yeah, Bind Whip is not very effective here, unfortunately. But we won't get poisoned, at least. We'll just battle that Bind, I guess. Or Rap, whatever. Get us that 2 HP back, we might lose from that. Or free. Fine. Defense fell. We have very similar strategies here in the fight, I guess. Level 7. Very good. Youngster Ben defeated. I don't believe it. You best. Oh, look at that. Weedle's evolving already. Pretty cool. I can't remember who he evolves into. Ah, Kakuna. Okay. And after that, he begin becomes Butterfree or something. Means right now, Weedle won't exactly be poisoning anyone, I think. Congrats, your Weedle evolved into Kakuna. Kakuna learned Harden. Pretty cool, though, to see the evolving. Are you using a Pokemon Center's PC for storing your Pokemon? A box can hold up to 30 Pokemon. Alright, 30 back and forth thing again. The classic. Hey, Jordu. You better got Bulbasaur, else I unfollow. Well, good for me then. Jesus. Of course I choose Bulbasaur. That's my starting Pokemon. Usually. Anyway, when I did Blue, I did it with Bulbasaur, so that's why I'm doing it here. And I wanted to do Mystery Dungeon with Bulbasaur as well, but whatever happened, happened. 
I mean, hello. Yeah, exactly. Hi to you too. Finally get to see some more Pokemon action. That's what you're in here for, right? Are you a trainer? Let's get with it right away. Just doing these to level up. I don't think you have to fight like every single one of them. But it's good to level up my Pokemon like this anyway. And we should have uh, the Kakuna be the starter now instead of Caterpie. Playing Pokemon right now, Omega Ruby. Is that one of the Switch ones? Just got a shiny C dot. I have to say, what is what is C dot and what is shiny? Us us people who only know Gen One have no idea of what that might be. But apparently, this one might only be uh, Gen One by the look of things. At least I haven't seen a single Gen Two Pokemon in it just yet. I would be very happy if it is just a rehash of the first games and only have Gen 1 in them. Omega Ruby is on 3DS. Shiny is a different color. Shinies are the special ones, right? I do know Shinies. I've seen them every here and there. I think... Uh, doesn't... Crystal already have Shinies, right? Might be wrong about that, but I'm not sure. It has a 1 out of 8,591 8, rate. That is a very, very rare occurrence then. Yeah, let's have Kakuna be the starter Pokemon since we, if we want to evolve him to the next stage, he's gonna have to get... I don't think it can use Poison Sting, right? No, wait, it can. Oh, yeah, 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 because it's not Metapod, that's right. Gold and silver were the games with shinies. Ah, okay, okay. I haven't played them, though. I thought Crystal had them, but I must be forgotten. I mean, must be wrong about that. Which I wouldn't be too surprised about, of course. It's been ages since I played through Crystal. And I can't remember too much of it. I didn't have a shitty time playing it, but... Crystal is also a Gen 2 game. Ah, yeah, that's right. That is true. Kakuna against Kakuna. Poison shot against poison shot. So where gold and silver. Yeah, gold and silver were out for the GBC, I think, right? And after that we got Leaf Green, Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire. Whatever. Bring in Caterpie as well, so he gets some EXP from this. Defense Rose. You can actually tackle him once. Kill him for that two damage right there. And then get Bulbasaur in to finish him off. Or wait, why not use Pidgey too? Watch out, Kakuna. I guess we could finish the fight. We don't need to bring in Bulbasaur. We can just... If that Kakuna is not going to be using anything other than Harden, we can just weed it out with Pidgey then. Looks like it doesn't have a different attack outside of Harden. Won't exactly help him at all. Leaf Green has many memories for me. Yeah, I'm not too surprised, like... These are very good games, of course. From what I understand, just remakes of the original Green and Red. I think Green was only out in Japan, though. I don't think... At least the EU never got Green. We just got Red and Blue. But yeah, that's about that. Hey, LP's here, too. Nice to see you as well. What about you, LP? Do you have any memories of Pokemon Leaf Green? PG gains a level. Does he get Gust just yet? Not yet. Maybe next level. Oh, good. Metapod. So, yeah. Well, uh... Have Pidgey stay there. Metapod's not gonna do any damage, so this is a free fight. We'll get EXP for all our low-level ones. 
cheap EXP. Everyone gets in, attacks once, then gets out. Just so everyone gets. That's the one I haven't played non-randomize. Ah, oh, yeah, most likely because, like, if you have played through red and blue before, why not do this? Randomized. I don't think I've ever played a single randomizer game, though. I'm much more like the vanilla experience, usually. I don't really do mods in games either or anything like that. Wife does a ton of mods. I've always been one for the vanilla things. I must have used some mods sometime, though. Not sure which one. Something for Elder Scrolls, most likely. Morrowind or whatever. We'll just shed out the poison, I think. Right? Oh, didn't even shed it out. Look at that. I think I used each one of the low-class Pokemon, right, so we'll just continue with uh, Kakuna. I'll weed out Metapod and that'll be that. Shed skin cured this poison problem, that's right. Now we used it. And I'm having fun with this so far. Like, we've only barely touched the surface at two hours of gameplay. Kind of funny to think that at this point the 80% speedrun's gonna be about done. The glitchless one anyway. And we've hardly, like, scratched the surface. I wonder what they do in the uh, two hour speedrun of this. How they get so far ahead straight away. Kakuna to level 8. If I had new Pokemon, I would have won. I don't think we have to make a trip back to the PC center. Oh, look at that. Caterpie's evolving as well. He'll become Metapod, right? So we have two guys we can't do anything with right now. Before they evolve into the next form, I guess. Beautiful Metapod. Does it become... Is it Catter free that it comes after this? Metapod learned Harden. Right, so who's our starter right now? Metapod to Kakuna. And go with that. Try to fight this guy down here. Hey, you're not wearing shorts. What's wrong with you? Hey, I'm wearing shorts, to be honest. Youngster Calvin sent out Spiro. Level 14 Spiro. Jesus. Hopefully it won't kill our Kakuna and Metapod. That's a spicy meatball. Come on! Killed Kakuna in one fucking peck. That's shitty. Please, Bulba. Eradicate the Spiro. Defense felt. No attack felt. Look at that. Leech Seal. Looks like that ain't very good for him. Fine. Do Leech C2 then. Oh shit. This B row is actually tearing us apart. This ain't any good. Well, Leech Seed should stay even if Bulbasaur dies. I'm gonna. Try to use a uh, potion. But I think we are up to shit squeak right here with our grass type Pokemon, unfortunately. That takes the attack down. Well, that's actually good that he used that and not attacking us because we most likely would have gotten killed right there. Try to tackle. Leer is another status move. Takes defense down, which would kill us up next, I think. If we get a leech seed in, we could stay alive, but it's it's kind of bad. Let's see. Peck. No, 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 no. Oh, stayed alive still, so we got this. But yeah, difficult fight. 
unfortunately, Kakuna died. He would have gotten good EXP from this. That was a tough fight, for sure. Only 87 EXP from that, though. What the hell? Lost! 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 What an asshole. I always wear shorts, even in winter. That's my policy. Fine. Yeah, let's go and revive our Pokemon so we can continue leveling up the Kakuna and Metapod. And Balba needs to get healed too. Let me try to put a little bit of sunblock on myself here. The use of this curtain. It hardly blocks the sun at all, but at least a little bit. And whatever little will work for me right now because I'm sweating up a shitstorm here. I buy a couple of uh, potions before we head out. Now that I lost one, or had to use one, whatever. I'm gonna buy three. Speed run it! Yeah, I was just like talking about how, well, earlier on, people who were here, who was it that said it? Bossy Boy got, I think, told me that the 80% glitchless speed run for this game is two hours. Which we will soon be passing, and it's funny that I like barely have touched this game, and I've already spent the two hours that the speed run takes. Kind of fun to me. That look you gave me—it's so intriguing. Lass, horny lass, apparently. Looking at the pose as well. Lass Sally. Metapod in first. Switch into the Kakuna. How the fuck are you here two hours into the game? Taking it very slow, as you can see. We've barely gotten past uh, Brock, as you can tell. And I'm, like, trying to level up each one of the low-level Pokémon that I have. And we don't have EXP share yet, which I really want to find, though. So we can get further ahead. Faster. Don't have to switch each Pokémon into the fight. Oh, not Leech. Not, I mean, not Wine Whip. I just wanted to tackle him to death. Jordan, do you remember where you get the EXP share in this game? Because I do want to find it as fast as possible. Bring in a Kakuna. For the EXP. Metapod as well. I'll look it up. Yeah, thanks for that. Because I really do want to get the EXP share as fast as possible, so we don't need to keep switching Pokemon all the time. I'll most likely do most of the game with just uh, Bulbasaur. And let the EXP share level up the other Pokemon as you go. I really don't use the EXP share. I think there's also the uh, Pokemon Daycare Center. Which you could drop the Pokemon off to and like take care of it like that. But I think I've hardly ever used that, to be honest. I usually just do it with the EXP share. That's coming from a person who really don't, doesn't play Pokemon all that much, as you can probably tell. BRB, great. Attack fell, can we take care of it? You need 50 decks for it, meaning you need to have 50 Pokemon in your Pokedex, right? So you need to catch 50 Pokemon for EXP share? Really? Hopefully not. Otherwise, we have to get catching. And that's 50 different Pokemon, right? Not just 50 of the same type Pokemon, right? That's kind of crappy, to be honest. I'll battle you with the Pokemon I just caught. I'm gonna catch the VD. I caught a VD, James. 50 different ones. Jeez Louise. But you should be around 20 already. No. I'm like at 4 or 5 right now, I think. I've hardly caught any Pokemon, as you can see.
And it's not like you have to meet different Pokémon, you actually have to catch-catch them, right? Ain't that the deal? Catches catch can. Let's do a leech seed health back type of thing against this guy here. You need to catch for rewards. Crud. Crap and crud. I guess we just have to, have to start searching for more Pokemon then. I'll induce sleep on you. Zizit. 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 Leash sheet will still work while you're sleeping. Unfortunately, I don't have any status effects I could put on you right now. So I'll just have to kill you then, I guess. Get a little bit of health back too, though. Like so. But this tackle will take care of you, and that'll be it for you. Oh, you even woke up. Just to get killed, you woke up. And to attack me once. What an absolute bastard. 44 each of them. Gonna use Metapod. We'll do the same. The Kakuna as well. You at least have six. I think I have four. Four or six. That has to be it. I've barely done anything in the game so far, as said. As said before. I could go back and try to catch one of the Ratatas from the Viridian Forest, I think. That would get me one more at least. Pidgey, Weedle, Kakuna, Caterpie, Metapod, and Bulbasaur. Oh yeah, true. Oh yeah, 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 because one of some of them have evolved. That's right. But that's 40, 44 we still need, so not exactly close to it. It'll still take quite a long period of time. But that just means we have to start catching like every Pokemon that we meet out in the wild. Reinforced also has Pikachu. Oh yeah, that's true. Pikachu is pretty rare there though, right? Is it so that you can, like, if you get that Pikachu, can you chain, uh, I mean, trade it to that one guy in the Pokemon Center for a Clefairy? Because someone there's trying to change a Clefairy into a Pikachu, at least, or for a Pikachu. So that way we could, like, get one more, right? It's not like we catch him in the wild, of course, but we do still catch him, right? Done like dinner. And Route 2 has Nidoran and Mankey. Oh, really? Just didn't come across them there, I guess. Let's see if I can go find them Pokemans. A Pikachu would be good, though, because it's electric type. Should we need them for something? Like the water fights, of course. Nidoran has two genders, so that's six decks. Yeah. That's true. You just have to catch, like, both male and female, right? Let's just... Finish this guy off with the Metapod. No need to go swapping. Metapod is a very weird looking Pokemon, that's all I can say. That ain't a ton.
RPG. A level two only, luckily. To take care of it pretty easily. Not a lot of EXP from it though, of course. 15 only. All right, where are my man keys and it all runs? Ratata we don't have yet, so let's try to catch this one. So please don't do a uh, crit right now. Just a regular. There we go. Should be able to catch Ratata. It ain't in the red, but yellow should do, I think. There we go. Got another bad boy. Fights anything when it attacks. Small and very quick. It's a common sight in many places. Pokédex is 7, look at that, whoop whoop. Do you get a reward for every 10 in your Pokédex? Do you have to call Professor Oak and like that evaluate your Pokédex? To get the rewards? Back to Viridian, let's see if we can catch that uh, Pikachu. LP's back, cool, welcome back. Don't have to call Oak or don't get rewards for every 10. There are those professor looking people on the map. The ones in the PC center. A Weedle. So we're looking for a Pikachu here, right? Wasn't that the deal? Blah, 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 blah. Right, two when you're dead. Hopefully not a crit or we're dead. There we go, got him still. So close. We'll uh, have him start the fight so he gets the EXP necessary for the level up. Switch to the Kakuna to fight the Weedle. Would really need to level up that Ratata though as well. I mean, we could get it to evolve into a Raticate, right? I'm not sure which level it has to be and to evolve to that, but that would be another... Uh, another... Entry for the Pokédex. You know what? We'll be fighting you for years if we do it like that. Let's just have Pidgey finish you off. Hopefully he won't get poisoned though. Let's see. No! No! Well, he didn't get poisoned, so... Ah, oh, wait. This one didn't even have Gust yet. Tackle should work though. No! Come on. Of course you get poisoned. What bullshit. There goes the Weedle. You got in the crit first off. 7 EXP? The Metapod didn't even gain anything out of that. And now we have to use the antidote for that uh, Pidgey. Shit. I'll still take poison damage because it's poison. That sucks. Rod. Right, I think he'll still stay alive if it doesn't get critted. And this could be a crit. No. Don't crit. No, come on, game. What bullshit. Kuna, you can finish the wheel off. What a piece of crap that was. 
don't have to be very effective if it's lethal. Metapod grew to level 9. Cool. Kakuna grew to level 9 as well. Where is my Pikachu? I don't think we should be spending too much time here. I guess it's better just to get, like keep going. If it feels like I'm taking forever to beat this game, it'll be a forever forever if I keep doing this. A forever forever. Let's just gust Caterpie out of there. Eww, fly the fuck out of there, Caterpie. We go. Yeah, let's just keep continuing with the basic playthrough, I guess. So many Pokemon, so little time. Hey, Redku. What will you be playing today? Are you streaming today, though? I'm not sure if you do Sundays. No, wait, you do Sundays. I've watched quite plenty of them just to help ease out the ending of the weekend as well. Uh, Jordu. Do you have an idea of whether or not there are Gen 2 and 3 Pokemon in this remake? I really wish there wasn't. I kind of want it to only have the Gen 1 Pokemon, because those are the only ones that I can kind of work with, since I know a little bit about them. Not a lot, but a little bit. N64, gonna pick some racing or sports. Quite a few sports games for the console. I'm not sure how many racing games N64 has. Then again, I've never owned an N64 and I hardly know anything about the console. Anyways. I do remember that there's like one racing game for the 64 that keeps appearing in like a uh, well, creepy pasta posts or whatever hidden secret hidden easter egg posts. There's some very low quality racing game for the system and somebody posted a very dark ominous message into it that shouldn't have stayed there in the final product it's either n64 or gamecube i forget which though well yes but they are post game ah oh, post game only gen 2 and gen 3 well that will be very good if it's like the main game is only gen 1 then i'll be like very happy about it yeah, the next gen pokes are after the lead, if I recall correctly. Great. So I don't have to worry about not running into Pokemon that I know literal shit about. And I can relive my childhood playing this in that case. Don't really have to. I have yellow, like a card of Pokemon yellow. I was thinking about playing that at some point off stream. But I really don't have to do it if I can just play this because it's just the same game pretty much. Redone. Yeah, main game only has the Gen 2 evolutions. Oh shoot, so it does have Gen 2 then. Yep. Out of Viridian, you can still try to fight someone on Route 2 if we happen to run across a Nidoran. I'll only do one fight though. See who we get. We got a Weedle, so screw that. Skyzor, Crobat, and Blissey. I think I've seen Skyzor and Crobat most likely, but Blissey, no recollection. But out of those, only evolutions or actual Pokemon, like starter ones. First form ones. No need to run, unfortunately. So, Pokemon Center, and let's keep going. So, are you were talking about professor looking people on the map? Are you talking about the guy on the lower left right now? Who's right behind the text right now, but this Ernst Hemingway looking fucker right here. I'm on the phone, scram! Or actual, like, lab coat having professor looking types. Not him. Alright, so you must be talking about guys who look like the ones who dropped off the shoes to us. Shoes. A very good addition to the game, I think. 
Don't need to ride a bicycle if I can just keep running with these running shoes. Like the guy who dropped off the shoes. Exactly, yeah. Eek, did you touch me? Yeah, I guess I did. Pinched your bum. Lass. Robin. Jigglypuff. Okay, so this is the one who'll put you to sleep if you're not gonna watch out. Level 14 too. That'll be good for EXP though. I'm sure the Ratata will die if he attacks it, but hopefully not. Hopefully it'll be put to sleep or something. Pound. <laughs> oh, Poon. Send out uh, the Kakuna to get a little bit of a level up. Hopefully. Well, maybe not. Just some EXP from it then. Do the same for the Pidgey. It's a shame that Ratata got killed. Bulbasaur will take care of the rest. Because the Ratata definitely would have gotten maybe even free levels from this fight. You should have done the defense curl when the Ratata was there. God damn it. Not Leech Seed. I was supposed to do a Wine Whip. But the seedy person that I am, we did that. Leech Seed was disabled. I just used it at least. Alright, do a Vine Whip. See how well that works. Slap. Nice crit. And now we love Jigglypuff. You charm infatuated Bulbasaur. And now we were put to sleep. What can we do? The Leech Seed will just eat out Jigglypuff and that'll be it. You know what? Should we put the level 9 Pidgey there as well? Just to gain a little bit of experience. Or Kakuna. I'm not sure if we had him there yet. Let's see. Hopefully it won't die. It shouldn't. It shouldn't really. Alright, Kakuna. Time to finish this one off. Here's we go on a crit, look at that. Kakuna for the win. Level for Pidgey, should learn Gust, I think. Yep. Bulbasaur to level 16 too. Great. Pinchbot Queen finished off. That's it. Oh, look at that, we got Ivysaur. This is great. There we go. What? Level 16 Ivysaur. Let's go. Kind of funny, it looks like an angsty version of Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur looks more like he's high or something. Or maybe Venusaur, I don't know. Anyway, that's good. We got Ivysaur already. Route 2 is at the foot of Mount Moon. Route 4, what am I saying? Can we find something new here, perhaps? Spearow. Try to catch that. Uh, maybe not with you. You could try to poison sting it here. With a uh, Kakuna. Always nice to get them evolved. Because I remember when I played Crystal and when I played Blue, I hardly ever evolved Pokemon because I just kept running away from fights. Like I usually do because I hate grinding in games. It was nice to see these uh, evolutions. Right, so maybe put in Pidgey to fight him off and then try to catch him in the very, very end. Heck. Hopefully the Pidgey tackle won't kill him. Shouldn't. Actually just perfect. Now it'll take some damage from the poison. Like so. And then we'll just uh, bag it up with the Pokeball. Another entry for the decks. That'll help us definitely. 
I don't think I'm even gonna bother with the Ratata. We can just change it to the speed row since it's level 6 at least. Very low level still, but whatever. Eats bugs in grassy areas. It has to flap its short wings at high speed to stay airborne. No Nisk name. We have to get it from the Poki Center. Sploing? Oof, I better take a rest. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Oh, got surprised. Oh, by another Spiro. Uh, Bulbasaur in there. I guess no Ivysaur. Sorry for that. It was still sleeping, by the way. I did not wake up. I guess we're just carrying it so nice that it just won't wake up from the sleep. Ivysaur's attack fell. Fast asleep still. Get up, you. Uh, I guess we'll make a trip to the Poke Center and get that Spearow from there. And after that, we'll go into the cave. I'll take us to Mount Moon. Come on, Ivysaur, please get up. There we go. Tackle the shit out of the Spearow. Finish it with the Vine Whip. Slap! Oh, not. Didn't get him. There we go. A little bit of EXP for both of you. Very little, to be honest, but whatever. We already got Ivysaur. Let's check if there's more fights to do before the cave. At least there's this one. No? Oh, wow, that's the boulder badge. You got it from Brock, didn't you? Brock is cool. He's just, he's not just tough. People like and respect him. I want to become a gym leader just like him. Oh, there's a Poké Center right here. That's cool. I tripped over a rocky Pokemon, Geodude. Luckily, we can just heal and get the other Pokemon back from here. Don't need to go back to... Pewter City. All right, so Ratata to, or we could, no, I'm not sure. Let's just not do it. Let's not do it right now. It's a newspaper. Team Rocket attacks Cerulean Citizen. Not a day goes by without Team Rocket being in the news. Yeah, let's uh, get that Spearow out of there. Oh yeah, we need to deposit first. Store. Yeah, into box 14. That makes sense. Withdraw. Spiro. There you go. Full menu right there. So, does it have uh, full HP? Or do we have to heal it as well? Full HP already, so everything's good. Talk to these two as well. Six Pokeballs on my belt. That should do it. Hello, laddie. Have I got just the deal for you? I'll let you have a secret Pokemon, a Magikarp, for just 500. Let's get it. That's another entry for the decks. And like I said, doesn't Magikarp become like a unbelievable dragon if you level it up very high? Very far up. So, we're not gonna take him in right now. Of course, it might take, like, is it level 40 or 45 that you have to get him to? To get him to... Doesn't he become, like, a dragon? When you get him super... Super leveled. We're at 10 Pokédex right now. We'll need 30 for the EXP share. So, it'll be quite a long time before we get there, but... One day. One day we might get there. Mal Moon makes save states as well. Uh, pause it real quick. I really need some water. I'm dying over here. Be back in just a sec. All right, on pause. Let's start going with Mount. Was this Mount Moon? 
something anyway. We got a gold bat. No, a zoo bat. Was gold bat like the uh, evolved version of this? It might have been. Need to catch catch one of them anyway. Astonish. So we get more entries in the decks. Oh, it uses a leash life. Let's make it a leash life fight then. No, wait, now that it used leech life, I most likely can attack it again and it should not die if it's not high powered. Of course it does. Whatever, it's still EXP, I guess. But yeah, we definitely want to catch one of those. Bullet Seed? Never heard about Bullet Seed. Let's try to catch a Metapod then. At least two new Pokemon we could try to catch. That's good. Defense Coil. Well, that's actually good if we do that little damage to it, because then we can get it down to very low health and try to finish it off. Let's try to get some back for ourselves, though, with Leech Seed. Scrub still not done? Yeah, definitely not. I'm already 20 minutes over the any percent. This will be a shitty run. Try to put it to sleep. It'll be easier to catch it with this. And we can grab some health off of it in the meanwhile. Okay, so I guess one tackle and then try to catch it. With the lead sheet. Oh, it woke up though. Shit. Well, one more tackle then. Maybe. Let's see how the lead sheet does. Does it go to red? Yes. Let's just try to catch it. If we miss it with the first, we should catch it with the second because of the lead sheet. We go. Found in fields and mountains, mistaking them for boulders, people often step or trip on them. Great, got a geodude. Could you maybe find a sand shrew here in the sand? It's another zoo bat. Level 10 this time. Ooh, sorry. Bring on Ivysaur. Astonish. Alright, we should definitely be able to not kill it with this next tackle. And then catch it. Yes. Perfect. Let's get it. Get that dex going. Got a level 10 Zubat. That'll be a good one to get to our team too. It forms colonies in perpetually dark places and it uses ultrasonic waves to identify and approach targets. Very good. Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Buck catcher Kent. And Brockman. We'll get Pidgey some levels. 
I'll just get poisoned, of course, but you have the Poke Center right outside, so it shouldn't be too bad. I guess the caves are places where you can, like, get into fights anywhere. You don't have to go into bushes or anything like that to fight. You kind of have to watch your ass here. Super effective crit. Get Kakuna in there and Metapod as well. And should we do it with Spiro since he's only level 6 right now? Get him some levels too, if possible. And again, I don't think we're going to be using Spiro too much, to be honest. I just really want that EXP share right now. No, 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 no. Heck. Smack. At least it's super effective. It doesn't do a lot of damage because of the hardening. But it still works kind of nice. Oh, look at that. A crit, too. Hit a pot to level 10. One thirty-two. What? Metapod is evolving. Finally, another entry. Butterfree, right? Or a Catterfree? Butterfree or Catterfree? Metapod evolved into Butterfree. That's the first, third. Uh. What is it? Third form? Second form? Third form? Butterfree learned confusion. That's pretty cool. So we'll change Kakuna to be the starter right now. Mm, like that. Very happy to be evolving the Pokemon. Paralyze heal. Another Zubat. Zubat Arun. And then Spearow for the fight. See how well he does. Doesn't affect Spearow. Look at that. Pretty good. Leech Life will. Hopefully, not too bad though. Only one, yeah. I think Spiro can do this fight by himself. Unless he starts tackling. That might do some damage, of course. I think we're good. One more. I don't think Pokemon has a defend move, right? Like all of them. You can't just not do anything, right? Take a quick trip back to the Poke Center. I guess I could take the level 10 Zubat out that we got. Mm, put one of those Pidgeys in. Guess I could hold on to the Spiro for now, try to gain a few levels for him too. One more. 
Or will he die from this? I'm not sure. Let's see. No. Not quite. This time he will, though. Splat. Okay, let's do this fight and then go back. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. We're waiting to get your ass whooped. Glass. Glass Iris. Oh, Clefairy. Look at that. Level 14. Well, at least Kakuna gets quite good experience from it. Maybe even Spiro if it stays alive. Let's see. Double slap. Crit hit. Ah, oh, Christ. Of course. Well, it is double slap. Unfortunately, Spiro got dealt with. Gives. Let's give Pidgey if he stays alive. Let's see if he gets good EXP from this. Sang it to sleep, so at least it stays alive. Bring in Ivysaur to reap the benefits. Slap. Oh, it ain't as effective as I thought it would be. That's a triple slap, not a double slap. Luckily, the attack missed. Let's do, uh... Leech Seed. Trying to mooch off some of Clefairy's health. Oh no, is Ivysaur gonna fall asleep? Although Leech Seed will still work, even with that thing, so... Clefairy is done after the next turn. Should get some EXP from this, definitely. For the lower leveled ones. 67? I thought it would be more. Whatever. I lost. What do you gotta say? I came here because I heard there were some very rare fossils here. Everyone with their greed, I guess. So we'll heal and do some switching, swapping, swatching. Professor Oaks? Be ah, yeah, we can do the Pokédex ratings thing. The amount of progress you have made with your Pokédex is 20 seen, 13 owned. Looks as if you're getting on the right track. I'll give one of my aides a Flash HM. Make sure you go get it. Where might they be, though? I'm not sure. Flash HM is that thing we can learn. I'm not sure we use Flash. It's like Cut. One of those moves, but I can't remember what Flash really does. Storage system, we're gonna deposit one of those Pidgeys. Store you. Box one. Lights up a cave. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. Should we actually get it already? Is this cave gonna be dark at some point? It's like a flashlight in the caves. Yeah, I kind of, now that you say it, I do remember it, but I would have not remembered that if you didn't. What were we supposed to take out? Take the Zubat or the Geodude. I'm gonna do Geodude. Yeah. Well, all the caves are dark. Really? So that means we should just get that uh, HM then, right? Teach it to one of our Pokemon. But where do we get it? Do we need to go all the way back to... 
Uh, what was it? Pellet Town? Pallet Town? Maybe the A will come to us at some point. Give us the Flash HM. Hopefully. Bring on Ivy. Wine whip the shit out of him. This is a Will Smith move right here. Slap! Bye bye, Geo, dude. Kuna grew to level 10, great. Ivysaur 49. Yes! Kakuna is evolving! What? Ah, uh, yeah, because is that Weedle or Weedrill? Beedrill, was it Beedrill? Beedrill, yeah, that's right. Another third form, great. Learn Fury Attack. Fury Attack, ain't that kind of OP in, uh... Was it, uh, the Mystery Dungeon game? E drill. So we'll start with Geo dude right now, I guess. Trying to gain him some levels as well. That's cool though. That's great. And Ivysaur works very well here against the rock Pokemon. With the wine whip. Mod Sport. That sounds kinky. Electricity's power was weakened. Wrong move. Whatever. Try the wine whip that we were supposed to do, just to get him out of there. Super effective. There's an item down here, I think. Let's go and get it. Is this one of the aids? What? Don't sneak up on me. At least he has a lab coat. GDS Donkey Kong hope you gain 12 diseases. What, what Donkey Kong are you playing? Super Nerd Jovan. Manamite. Doesn't rock work very well against electricity? They shouldn't be able to like damage me at all. I'm playing Mario Kart uh, on Switch, right? If you have a Switch, uh, whisper me your friend code and I'll add you, if that's okay. I should be playing Mario Kart with some of the viewers at some point, I guess. If a lot of people have Switch. I've done Mario Kart streams once or twice before, I think. Well, actually, I can just uh, post mine, I guess. Is it... Like this? Yeah. You can add me if you want. I can even do Mud Sport to Magnemite to take his. Oh shit, my special defense went down sharply. This will take electricity's power down. It does have the tackle though, and that definitely ain't electric. I'm hardly doing any damage to it. Fuck that. Let's just switch to. Pidgey. Oh no, now that uh, my Switch friend code is going to be in the video, the VOD for this one, so everyone can add, add me after this. Everyone knows my friend code now. I'm doomed. What a mistake. Pidgey's hardly dealing any damage. Undershock. Really? But didn't electricity take get taken down? I guess Pidgey was just uh, weak to it then, I guess. But shit, that was no good. Hopefully it won't do it again. Let's take Spiro out of there immediately. Just get him a little bit of EXP from that. What shit though? That was not nice. 
Not nice at all. Sharp defense fell. I mean, special defense fell. Mario Kart DS. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So no add-in then. I remember having fun with Mario Kart DS though back in the day because it was one of those games that actually had uh, internet multiplayer. Online multiplayer, I mean. We had to use like a special dongle because the original DS did not have a uh, internet Wi-Fi possibility. You had to have a special dongle to connect it to the internet. Might have even been a wired connection. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I have two switches. Why two? Cool though. Switch is one of my favorites, definitely. And spending hours upon hours on playing Switch. Cat woke up. Hello. Spiro grew to level seven. Learned Leer. Cause I'm not broke. Jovan is about to use Voltorb. Will Slice change Pokemon? Let's change to Spiro just so he gets a little bit more EXP, I guess. Then switch him out of there immediately. Volt Orb. Right now on Switch I'm playing Witcher 3 and uh, Car Mechanic Simulator. Having tons of fun with that. I was actually first playing it on the PC via the Epic, Epic Launcher or Epic Store because it was free over there at one point, but then I figured out how much rather played on the DS. Much rather played on the Switch, I mean. Because uh, I can do it just laying down on the sofa or whatever. Don't have to be on the PC. Looking for a good uh, sale on... Looking for a good sale on Darkest Dungeon, because I've wanted to play that for some time, and I think Switch would be a very good way of playing it on. Shitty choice? Not really. Switch Edition is the worst CMS. Uh, it's only the... I bought the Car Mechanic Simulator, just Car Mechanic Simulator, on Switch, and that was shitty. But Car Mechanic Simulator Pocket Edition 2 that they have out right now, and it's actually on sale right now, you might want to check that out. That's the same game as the one on PC, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. So that is a very good version of the game, I think. But yeah, the basic Car Mechanic Simulator is a very shitty game. Was not too happy about getting that. For Switch. I have to find stronger Pokemon. Where might they be? I think I can still do one fight and then go and heal. I have CMS 18 and 21 on Xbox. I think CMS 21 is on Game Pass right now. Right? Could be wrong about that, but I'm not sure. I've not yet played that one, but I think it does some new stuff and I might want to try it at some point. But first, I think I'll try to uh, finish off the one on Switch so I can mark it as a beat. You're always wrong, shaking my head. That's, that's tough. That's tough on you, man. But yeah, I think there's like... I read that CMS 21 has like fluids, at least. Like break fluids and stuff like that, most likely. Only thing CMS 18 has better than 21 is that there's the RX-7. Oh, it actually has like... Licensed vehicles. I've learned so much about cars from CMS, though. I mean, of course, it's not a very accurate, altogether very accurate. Ooh, rare candy. That's for leveling up, right? I wonder if this game has, like, a glitch where you can duplicate rare candies. Both have, but only from the DLCs. Ah, okay, okay, okay. You need to go through this gate to get to Cerulean City. Fine. Fine, bug catcher, Robbie. Send out Caterpie. Only a level 10, look at that. Oh, sucky. Yeah, learned so much about, like, parts of the car. 
and about diagnosing some problems and issues that a car might have. I was always kind of interested about cars, but never really went for it. I like making small fixes on my own car. Very, very small though, like switching out headlights and fluids and stuff like that. But I really would like to like learn a little bit of taking care of your car. But then again, like uh, modern cars, you can't really work on yourself anyway. I've learned that suspension is not worth it. Like having suspension in your car. I used to have like, well, my mom used to have a car with a very low sports type suspension. And every single bump you hit that felt horrible, just atrocious. Suspension takes too much time. Yeah, I really don't like fixing the suspension in the game either. You have to like take the parts out, then you have to take them apart with the... With the coil spring thing, the machine anyway, you have to separate the parts and whatnot, and it's just atrocious. Rebuilding the engine, now that's fun. Yeah, especially when you have those, like, piston rod things and valve, valve rods or whatever they were. Those engines, they take ages to take apart. I like where you, like, transmission is one of the easiest ones to work on, in my opinion. The, one of the fastest, anyway. Very easy to take the transmission apart and rebuild it. The V8, yeah, exactly. Takes ages, that one. With the switch, it's very difficult, most likely, to get the valve rods out of there, too. Because you can't, like, select... Uh, the parts that you take out, you have to point them out with the switch stick, and when you have the very tiny screen, it's very difficult. I mean, getting them out even in the PC version is difficult for me. But doing it on the switch must be, like, super awful. And throwing all the tuning parts on it. I haven't even gotten to the tuning parts or anything like that yet. I know you get, like, quality plus stuff from those cases, but I don't know what those work for. I haven't really gotten that far in the game, I think. I'm just trying to do, like, all of the story orders and, uh... Trying to do all the story orders and mark it a beat after that. Spiro grew to level 9. I wonder when he will, uh, evolve and what he'll evolve into. Firo. Does he come Firo? Does he become Firo? That's what I meant to say. Zubat is tough, but if you can catch one, you'll be able to count on it. Let's catch that Pokeball and then get the hell out of Dodge, go and heal. Come back after that. No, he becomes Zapdos. Yeah, exactly. Ain't Zapdos supposed to be one of the legendary type Pokemon in this? At least in the first gen. I remember fighting him on the Mystery Dungeon game. And it was one of those legendary types. Ooh, Geodude level 10. whoop de doo I think Geodude... ...becomes... Something I can't remember at all. He becomes... Does he get, like, another set of arms? When he becomes the next... ...version of himself. Next form. Now, uh, you're better off saving your Master Ball for something rare and difficult to catch. Like a Tentacruel or Firo. Uh, you would use the Master Ball for, like, uh, Mew to win this one, right? Is that the thing? Because I remember fighting Mew too, but not being able to catch him. Her, in the end. That kind of sucks.
That's the best choice. Fine whip. Bye bye, Geo de Oud. Alright. Time to hurry on back. We haven't gone down there, but is that one of the places where you need to use Flash? Nice. Geodude keeps on growing. It's a female Geodude. Isn't that kind of like, well, I guess it doesn't fight against the word dude because it's very ambiguous. I think dude is technically rather genderless, right? Gender less or gender free, should I say? Unisex. That's the word I was looking for. Geo gender neutral term. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Something like that, anyway. Alright, one more. Doesn't fit within the 12 letter space. Yeah, just got out in time. Heal and go back to it. Where are Professor Oak's aides? Man, moon. Let's go down, check what's in the bottom of the ladder. If we find anything good there. Fucking pot. I mean, that's how you science, right? That's how you do a science. Smoking that jazz cabbage. Your dude flinched. Bye bye, Zubat. Level 11. Cool. Geodude learned Rock Throw. That's good. That's. I remember it to be a pretty powerful move. Oh, Paras. Ross is funny because uh, it means the best in Finnish. I've always found that pretty funny. <laughs> or more likely, we can. Uh, uh, we can. Grab him. Geodude needs trading. Ah, uh, you mean to evolve? I completely forgot that that was a thing, actually. Some. Pokemon apparently only evolve if you trade them. But we should definitely get this Paras after damaging it that well. Yes, that's another entry. Gotcha! Paras was caught. Forest Pokemon, what the hell? Always took it for a... Crab. Oh yeah, Paras Parasite, that's right. Mushroom Pokemon. Burrows to suck tree roots. The mushrooms on its back grow by drawing nutrients from the bug host. That's another entry to the Pokedex. That's all that matters to me. So yeah, we maybe should not be leveling up Geodude so much then, since it won't actually be... Uh, leveling, up, leveling up like this. Exactly, super effective against Paris. Hurrah. Graveler needs trading, rather. Ah, yeah. 
Is Graveler the evolved version of Geodude? It might be. It kind of sounds like it might be. Put time into Zubat. Okay. We'll maybe switch to Zubat after then. Zubat becomes Golbat. I think that's what it becomes, right? Golbat needs friendship to evolve. Really? Oh shit, is it Team Rocket? We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. Golbat needs friendship to evolve, then it becomes Crobat. Okay, so Crobat was the Gen 2 form, right? Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle. Sends out Sandshrew. Accuracy fell. Rock throw still works. Not very effective though. Let's get you out of there. Should get Zubat out of there then, I guess. Ain't uh, flying Pokemon good against ground Pokemon? Ain't that the thing, right? Ooh, that was bad though. Well, definitely not like that. Then again, it might be that Sanshiro ain't even a ground type Pokemon, I guess. Let's just do it, Ivysaur. It's three fights anyway, so need to be sure that we'll win this. Slap. Ooh, almost a level for Ivysaur. Ratata. Well, Spiro will definitely work against Ratata. We don't have Spiro, we have Pidgey. Well, Pidgey works as well because it's fine as well. It doesn't have Peck, but it has Gust, which we can use for taking care of Rattata, I guess. I can't remember who Pidgey becomes when he evolves. Pidgeotto? Could that be? Well, this ain't really working too well, though. Ooh, shit. Ah, Christ. I almost got him. Now I need to sw swap because Pidgey will die otherwise. Put Butterfree in there. It falls into Bob. Yeah. Robert, a.k.a. Bob. Ratata is weak to fighting. Ah, yeah, it is a normal type, right? I don't think we have a fighting type Pokemon yet. Zubat. Mm. Well, we had Spiro there. Why didn't I use him? What the hell? I must have missed it. Pick. Supersonic. Confusion. That sucks because it can attack itself, apparently. You stupid. Well, that ain't nothing new, man. That ain't nothing new. Oh, the attack still went through. I know you can accidentally attack yourself. But you don't even know how much 9 to 10 is. Yeah, I do. 9 to 10 is John Thomas Jefferson. Fuck you. Oh fuck, I got that wrong though. I guess it's Thomas Edison, right? Not Jefferson. But that's what you get for being stupid. Don't attack yourself, please. Shit, don't die. Ooh, that was close. Still alive, though. Income B drill. Just to get a little bit of EXP. Let's see how well Fury Attack works against Zubat. 
Zubar. Only two? I wish it was more. The next one should kill him, though. Hit one times. Don't need any more. Bye-bye. Spiro to level 10. Great. Player defeated Team Rocket Grunt. I blew it. Sure did. Team Rocket Grunt. Darn it all. My associates won't stand for this. Well, boo hoo. Another Geo Dude. Wasn't I supposed to swap out my Geo Dude? Or is it so that he actually gets. Uh. Still, like, uh, evolves into the next one. It ain't much shops or much shop that it evolves into. I guess it might have been Grailer then. Not very effective. Get wrecked, B drill. Bring in Butterfree. He's not gonna be very effective either, I think, but just for the EXP, I guess. Try confusion. Seems to have worked. That was good. Sport. You're just curling up. I don't know what you're going for. This should finish you off. Just nice. Only 36. Little Grizzly level 12, that's good. Star piece? That's a new item. Never seen that one or heard from it. A shard of a pretty gem that sparkles in a red color. It can be sold at a high price. Ooh. Yeah, it is, I think, new to this game though. Save. Mm, maybe we should go back and heal and continue with the cave. I've gotten damaged somewhat, at least. Geodude can finish this dude off with the rock throw. Bye bye, Paris. Yes, Biro and Fiji are not doing too well, so let's go and heal them and then continue with the cave. Ooh, pretty nice for Zubat as well. Geodude with the kills here. So many fights right now. Should have gotten repel. But then again, I do need to level my dudes up, so why get repel at this point? I do like the games where like once you level yourself up to a high standard, lower level enemies just kind of run away from you. I think that's a very cool mechanic. They cower from you. Oh shoot. Another Zubat. I think we can withstand one attack. How much do we have? Seven? Yeah, definitely should be able to withstand one attack. Oh shit. Yeah, flinch so it misses it. Misses the turn, that is. Not in Pokemon. Yeah, I guess that it's not like that here. We'd have to... Have to use Repel if you don't want to fight the low-level ones. Ah. Supposed to go for Tackle. 
I think Ivysaur should actually get a level up from this fight here. Level 17. Great. Do the heal, then get back to it. Was I supposed to get out Zubat right now? Maybe not yet. We're still trying to... I kind of want to have Geodude in my team at least, because he has the rock throw thing. I could throw out Butterfree or Beedrill though. Maybe Beedrill. He's not going to be evolving any further at least. So we'll deposit Beedrill. And withdraw Zubat. I'm actually gonna move you to the box one. And I wasn't supposed to put you into box 14. I just did it accidentally. Level 2 Ratata. Real killer right there. So, who were we taking out? Zubat. There we go. Everyone's at full health, right? There you go. Now Moon. Fifteen Pokédex in. Only need 35 more Pokémon for that EXP share. No worries. After some tens of hours, we will have done that, I guess. Geodude, that's enough. Flinch. Then flinch. Leech life off for you then. Uh, crap. We're supposed to tr uh, switch Zubat out of the playing field. We'll likely use defense curl, so whatever. Let's bring in Spiro. We can peck the shit out of it. Wait, Peck didn't really work that well, I guess, but whatever. <laughs> Ivysaur, we need you. Should really go back and heal once again, but... I think we're just gonna go right now. This is taking way too many... Way too many times. Way too much time to do this. I wish... Potions weren't so goddamn expensive. Unfortunately, they are. Okay, rock throw time. Crit? Look at that. That won't help Zubat, though. Bye-bye. Another level up. Level 13. Hi, I'm excavating fo for fossils here under Mount Moon. Sometimes Brock of Pewter Gym lends me a hand. Okay. Horse. Ivy. Then again, I guess Confusion would have worked just fine against Geodude as well. I could have tried to level Butterfree up. Then again, Butterfree is already the third form, so we don't need to evolve it or anything. I guess that's the thing as well. 
So if I just stand here, you'll run into me. Whoa, it's way bigger in here than I thought. What is she referring to here? Lass. Miriam. Oddish. Rockfro. Sweet scent. The Kush. Worked pretty well. I'll deal with it. Bell Sprout. No reason. I guess we'll just stay with this. I think Bell Sprout. Uh, oh shit. Fuck me. Bye bye, Geo, dude. Uh, what was I saying? I guess uh, Bell Sprout's evolved form was Weeping Bell. That was what I was supposed to say. Spiro will take care of this one. Get a few EXP from it as well. One ninety-eight. Very cool. How do you get out of here? It's so big. I may get lost. So we don't have uh, our friend Geodude taking care of these zoo bats right now. Unfortunately, we'll just have to use Pidgey's Gust in that case. Fairly sure that the cave isn't going to be that long anyway. I guess we could just do it with this group right now. In any case, Ivysaur will just collect the win in the end. More Team Rocket members. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Zubat. Oh no, confusion. Oh no. Come on, you can do it. You got this, PG. Screw the confusion. Left out of confusion. Pretty good. That was quick. Attack missed. Easy peasy. Go Zubat, whatever they have up next, will get dealt with. Yes, PG leveled up. About to use Icons. Let's just stay with PG. And it's so that the uh, Spiro's peck would work very good against the snake. Shit. Don't get poisoned. It didn't get poisoned. I think that's good. No, now he got poisoned. Fuck that. Let's get Spiro in there. Bound. Works somewhat. Next one will kill him. There we go. Con's done. Almost got a level off for Spiro too. Nice. If you find a fossil, give it to me and scram. Got thief. 
And uh, let's give an antidote to the bird. Antidote was used on Pidgey. Did I get that animation last time? I don't think I did. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Did you come to explore the cave too? Pretty much. Oh yeah, and if we need to get out of here, we still have the escape rope, I think. You can skip at my mashing. Hey, Red Ghost, nice to see you. I was expecting you to be here for a uh, Pokemon stream, definitely. I did start pretty early, though. Need to get Pidgey out of there with that health. Hey, Nick Lay's here, too. Actually, saw Ari earlier on this week. Nick Lay. Nice to see him after a long while. Uh, what was I doing? I was changing this. Nick Lay's a representative for uh, the Pokemon Go game here in Finland, I think. Or a very enthusiastic player, if not an uh, representative. Our representative. I was awake at 2 a.m. because someone, someone was yelling outside, but I fell asleep again. Yeah, I heard. Talked about him also. It was cool to see him. I haven't seen him in maybe a few years already. We've been calling each other every now and then. Well, he calls me because I never call anyone, so... And, uh, we were supposed to see each other a few times, but just couldn't get the timetables to match, pretty much. I was working near where he lives, so... We went out and... had a meal, lunch, with him and his daughter. He was bringing out something, but... I forgot to check what it was. I can check it from the phone, though. Ah, another Ratata. Fuck that, let's just use Ivysaur. We could put Butterfree in there, but no. Let's just keep Ivysaur there. We'll just slap the shit out of them. Sounds familiar. Yeah, I just... Like, if I see someone, it's okay, but I hardly ever make an effort to see anyone. That's just me. I much... Much more prefer to stay by myself. And run into people occasionally. Zubat, Ivysaur, whatever. Let's just have him be there. Uh, Nikla, do you have a Switch? I'm fairly sure you would most likely have one. I'm just gonna post my friend code there again. If you wanna add me. Pogo still going strong. We had yesterday community day meeting in Helsinki together with Poro Magia. Ah, Poro's in there too. Cool. A good sponsor, definitely, if nothing else. Ivysaur Solar Run. Let's go. Brett, my point here is that I'm just trying to make or catch enough Pokemons to get EXP share because I utterly hate having to switch Pokemon in between fights just to get them like uh, more EXP. I'm just trying to get EXP share so I can like level everyone as I go and just do it with Ivysaur pretty much. Eventually get him to Venusaur and go like that. I came all the way down here to show off to girls. Look at that. We got quite the Don Quixote right here. Another Geodude. At least Pidgey gets a little bit of EXP. Ivysaur will take care of the rest. You got a bit before you even have access to it. Yeah, Jordu told me that I have to catch 50 Pokemon, I think. You know how many you need, right? Yeah, 50 is what Jordu said, so... It will be quite a long time before I get it, definitely. But I really, really want it, so... I've been trying to evolve some of the lower level Pokémon as well, because I think that way you get a little bit more into the Pokédex as well. You can check how many I have right now. 15, so I'm 35 away from getting it. So it will definitely be quite a long time. You gonna buy Scarlet Violet once released? No, I'm actually not a very big fan of Pokémon games. I'm re really enjoying this because it's a remake of the original Red and Green. But that's as far as I really enjoy Pokemon, so definitely not going to be buying Scarlet or Violet. You shocked me, or you're just a kid. Like, I was a big fan of Pokemon when it came out, but there's just too much for me to remember. 
and a lot of random battles, which I'm not a big fan of. Hiker Marcos. Geo, dude. Ivysaur fall for the wind, I guess. Ivysaur will just slap everyone dead. I'm sure Bread will get Scarlet and Violet. Maybe both. One of them at least. How's the challenge going, by the way, Brett? What game are you going on right now? PG grew to level 12, great. Maybe he'll eventually evolve into Pidgeotto. Sending out his Geodudes for the slaughter. I definitely hope that the cave is not going to be too long anymore because we're running out of flying whips right now. Level 18 for Ivysaur. Cool. Onyx. I'll probably get one of them, but I've also had a penchant for not buying new games lately because collecting. Oh yeah, that too. That's true. And they're gonna be very costly anyway. I'm still on Harvest Moon. Went back to my parents this weekend, so I haven't been streaming. Ah yeah, that's true. So you're really enjoying Harvest Moon though. I mean, they are very good games, I'm not surprised at all about that. And I know you're gonna enjoy Stardew Valley by the tons. Once you eventually get to play it. It's like you shouldn't be wandering around here in the dark. In the dork. There goes the last vine whip, unfortunately. New Pokemon is always in some hype. I'm gonna hop on that hype from the beginning. Yeah, well, you should. Definitely, if you're a big fan of the games, why not get in on it all the way from the beginning? Ride the wave, find the new stuff, do whatever. It's gonna be super cool. Moonstone. Is it so that we have to take the Moonstone to the museum? I kind of recall something like that. We'll see when I get around to playing Stardew. I have a job interview tomorrow and if I get it, my gaming time will be pretty limited. Cool to get a job interview though. What are you applying for? Which job would that be? I kind of remember you have to take the Moonstone to the museum or something. Peculiar stone that makes certain species of Pokemon evolve. It is as black as the night sky. Okay, so that definitely wasn't for the museum. Moonstone for evolution. Was it for Clefairy to evolve to Clefable? Or Jigglypuff to evolve into something? As you know, my Pokemonese isn't that good, but I kind of recall something like that. Just the file clerk position. Kind of just grunt work to help me get by while I look for something better. Yeah. It's good to have a J-O-B, definitely. School's still going on, right? You haven't graduated yet? Or have you? Have I missed it? Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Nidorina, and Nidorino all evolve with it. Okay, so quite a few of Pokemon. Let's switch you to Spearow since he can't take damage from Astonish, I think. I have my Masters now. Okay, so it's just writing the Master's degree. For now. Yeah, so if we happen to get a Clefairy or Jigglypuff, we could evolve that with the Moonstone. Do they have to be a certain level, though, before you can do that? Or can you just use it straight away on them? To get it over with. Because that would be an easy entry for the Pokédex. Oh no, don't attack yourself. No, 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 no. No, don't die. Fuck. Ugh. Use next Pokémon? No, I just want to finish the game right there, right? Shoot. That wasn't good. We'll send out Zubat to fight Zubat. Any level. Oh, that's good. Could easily get one of those... Uh, could easily get one of those Pokédex entries with that. Rip Nuzlocke. 
Nuzlocke is one of the randomizer things, right? For Pokemon. I think I've heard the name, but I've never really looked into it. Ooh, Revive. Well, maybe not use it right now. Would be stupid to waste it on something like... Geodude or Spearow here. Geodude would have been good for Paras, though. Definitely. Super effective. Stun Spore. You playing some speedrun here? No, not at all. Uh, we were talking about how fast the speedrun for this game actually is. The glitchless speedrun for this particular game, any percent, is about, uh, what was it, two hours? And we've only made it to Mount Moon in three and a half hours, so definitely not speedrunning here. To level 13. Where is my Pidgeotto? Shouldn't I be getting it soon enough? Did you learn Quick Attack? I guess that's good too. Shouldn't I be getting Pidgeotto soon enough? I'm not using a potion just yet. It can be. Nuzlocke is like hard mode. When Pokemon fate, you have to box them. DW, this is how far I made it by now. Okay, so I'm not really that slow anyway. I guess. KK, never understood those speedrun challenges. Yeah, I know the Nuzlocke thing. It sounds like a very XCOM thing to do. Like, isn't it so, like you said, like if a Pokemon gets knocked out, you cannot use it for the rest of the whole challenge. Pidgey evolves level 18. Ah, okay, okay. So it'll still be quite some time before that happens then. Quite some time before that happens. All right. Well, I guess I'll try to get it anyway because of the whole EXP share thing. No more Vine Whip, so I guess we'll just go with Tackles then. Ah oh, shit, they ain't too good either though. Fuck me. The beginning of this game can be pretty slow, but it picks up in the mid game. Yeah, I do remember when I finally got uh, Venusaur, I was just breezing through the game after that. Not with Vine Whip, but is it some sort of a cannon, seed cannon or something he uses after that. Hey yo, Gaz is here as well. Welcome man. Nice to see you too. On fusion seem to work pretty good against Geodude, right? Pokemans. Pokey and the man in the However the whole Simpsons Bill Cosby joke went. Oh man, what do you like? Pokemon. Pokemon! I'm back from vacation. Oh, you went on vacation. I did not know that. So back to the challenge then to breeze through those gains. Six games tomorrow? What the hell? Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news. I think that's pretty accurately put. What games are you going for tomorrow, Gons? Ratata. Hyper Fang? That would have been bad. Pidgey's paralyzed. Stupid me, I did not even pay attention to that. Put out Ivysaur, you can just tackle the shit out of them. Yeah, my aunt came through last week and we all just decided to chill and do stuff. I said sure. Not yet, about halfway with Spyro. Which Spyro are you playing right now? Spyro the Dragon. Attack missed? Really? Oh shit, Hyper Fang. Yeah, let's just use that. Uh... How do you use hold items in this? I mean, Ivysaur I think is holding a potion, but he's never used it. Do you have to make them use it, or what is it? Do I need all 12 hearts to beat the game, or should I just any percent glitch it? Of course you need all 12. Which... wonder if that's even a Spyro I've played then. I can't remember hearts. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Because Pokemon can't use potions. Ah, yeah, wait, they're not holding on... Wait, are they? They are holding on to potions, right? Oh, yeah, Pokemon use berries, right? They don't use potions. You use potions for them. But wait, is he still holding on to a potion, though? Should I just take it off of him, then? 
It's Attack of Rhinox. Wait, I have played through Attack of the Rhinox. Did I 100? No, I did not 100% that, definitely. But yeah, Fred actually picked that out for me. Most likely picked it out for you as well. And uh, I did play through it. I think I did it in one or two streams. I can't forget. Can't forget. Can't remember. And he said the exact same thing to me. You should 100% it. <laughs> the exact same thing. If it wasn't for those Agent Monkey levels, I could have done it, but definitely not going to do it because of those. Fred picked it out for me as well. Picked it for Gilga too. Look at him. That's a serial terrorist. Picking out the same game for everyone. So each seed him, we might get a few tins of hell from him. It's a fun game, not gonna lie. Listen, he speed runs it. He's gonna get us he's gonna try to get us to run it too. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, need to get more people to do the say the same thing so you can have better times with them. Ain't that the thing, right? There are no necessary glitches to 80% the game. I thought you had to like 100% it, I guess, first off. But then Red came into the stream and told me that you don't actually have to 100% it. So I immediately went for the finish after that, I guess. Just to take care of Ripto. If you can find the items you need, you can beat the game in under 20 minutes. Listen, I don't blame him, I do the same for Legend of Dragoon. That's a, that's spicy as fuck, Brett. Yeah, I think he told me the same thing, that it's a very, very, very short game if you just, like, go from point A to B, point B with the necessary items. Legend of the Dragoon, I have to say, I'm very uh, mixed with. I always wanted to play it because a friend of mine had it back in the day, and I used to own a boxed copy of it. Let me check what item Bulbasaur is holding on to. I mean, Ivysaur is holding on to. Yeah, he had a potion, so why why do you all have potions right now? Take him off of him. There we go. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I tried to play Legend of Dragoon. I got only a few hours into it, I guess. Mainly down to the fact that uh, the fighting is just so goddamn slow in that game. And I hate random fights, like I said. Random battles, whatever. And I just couldn't stand through the slow animation in those fights. Oh no. We should have just healed Pidgey as well, I guess. And he's still paralyzed. How stupid am I? Now he's confused and paralyzed. Gus still work though, what the hell. Anyway, let's get you out of there. So you don't go get dealt with. I remember watching a GBA Spyro game recently on GDQ, but never remember Runners. Wasn't it so that uh, Brett actually did it? Well, you just asked him if he did it at GDQ, yeah, so Brett definitely did it at GDQ. Yeah, this last AGDQ was the first time any GBA Spyros were shown. Must have gotten a ton of followers from that one, right? If anyone feels like picking out games for the queue, I mean, it's still 5,000 points, but I checked the queue and we're like doing about 10 games in the queue right now, 10 to 12, something like that. If anyone feels like picking out some game, go for it. And if people don't know what I'm talking about, I'll just post that in there. I'm doing a challenge thing of all GBA games released in the PAL region. And you can pick out a game for the challenge using channel points. It's about 5,000 points per game right now. So if you have 5,000 points and want to go pick out a game, check out the link. Red's at 3,000 followers. That's cool. Do you remember how many you got from the uh, AGDQ run? Pokemon Go maybe once I get the points. Nah, it's just for GBA games, unfortunately. It's the list that's behind the... Excel that you can choose a game from for the list. You could, of course, if there's any Pokemon games there not picked yet, you could pick one of those, I guess. I'm not sure, though, if there are. There could be, definitely. 
No, not a 3k followers. 3, 3k pints. Points, of course, yeah, sure. 3,000 pints. You Americans with your pints, drinking out the British ales. Trust me, if I could give you something right now, I would. Something terribly long, of course, right? Difficult and long. Oh, nice. You got him. I'll actually get a good amount of points for this. I mean, ESP points, right? Great. I got like six followers from the GDQ run. Six? What the hell? At like 800 right now. All right, pretty cool, but only six from an AGDQ run. Ain't that some shit? Yeah, let me just throw Rishep on you. <laughs> Your favorite, right? Jesus. I wonder if I'm gonna do the Yu-Gi-Oh games. I wonder what which would be the best entry-level Yu-Gi-Oh game anyway, because I don't know the system at all. I should have to learn that first, in any case. But yeah, unfortunately, the Yu-Gi-Oh games are coming at some point in the challenge some point no one cares about the little guy yeah i guess like well they have a ton of runners in gdq in any way any case i mean if everyone gets follows then you're gonna have like tons of people you follow that you're never gonna watch in any case so jesus it's still an achievement to run at gdq yeah like getting picked out for gdq must be very difficult of course, they want to take a lot of new and not may maybe games people have heard of because they usually like try to bring in new games, I guess. It must be, and tons of people are applying any in any case, so it must be very difficult getting a run in there. I will change Pokemon, like, we'll take Zubat just to get a little bit of EXP on him, I guess. And try to get in for 60 years. You would have Rishef easy. You could use Phoenix Ra and not feel bad about it. Yeah, but I, like I said, I would really just need to learn the whole system first off, I guess. I'll find something they will like. Yeah, it's a risk taken in a games that people haven't heard of. Once I get a consistent run of LOD debug, I'll submit it. Debug percentage. What might that be? Sacred cards isn't too bad as an entry-level Yu-Gi-Oh. For the traditional ones, WCT 2004 is good. I'll be long. I think I must have WCT 2004, but I think they were like named a little different in the PAL region. They might have WCT 2004 in the name, but it might also have a weird subtitle or something as well. I'm not 100% on that, but I kind of remember checking them at some point. Hey, Chosen Last is here as well. Welcome, man. You've been doing some sort of a challenge as well, Chosen Last. Is it for GameCube you're doing it for? Might be mistaken on that, but I kind of remember it was GameCube. Wii U, that's right. I've hardly ever played Wii U, to be honest. My ex-girlfriend's sister's boyfriend used to have a Wii U, and that's pretty much the only place I played it at. Then again, I did buy a Wii U for the ex-girlfriend at one point, and I think I actually beat... Uh, Wind Waker on the Wii U. I was super excited to get to play it as a handheld. And I must have played some Hyrule Warriors on that as well, and maybe Mario Kart 8. Maybe. Ah, Wii. Okay, Wii. Wii I definitely have played some, but mostly just Wii Sports and the Mario Kart game. You made me mad. Team Rocket will blacklist you. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Is that one of the aids? Geodude. Pidgey with the 7 HP is definitely not gonna do anything about that. I'm gonna go with uh, Confusion. We're kind of running out of health and Pokemon here. I hope we get out of Mount Moon soon enough. Luckily, Confusion works just fine against Geodudes. Nuh, sport. 
Looks like the only Yu-Gi-Oh game you don't have on your list is Eternal Duelist Soul. I wonder if that ever got released in uh, the PAL region, because some of them definitely didn't. I just tried to look at like what got released in the PAL region from some lists, but might also be that I'm missing some games from the list still. I try to add them every now and then when I found out, find out that some games actually did get released. It was the first one, so possibly. Could be. Or maybe it just has a different name. Hey, stop! I found these fossils! They're both mine! Another super nerd. Miguel! Miguelito! Send out Grimer. Well, we still do have quite a few potions, and I wonder if I should start using them, too. I would not like to, like, go all the way out of the whole dungeon, because it's a pretty long trek coming back where I am right now. Yeah, I have to do a lot of those random fights on the way over here. Random battles. But I guess it could be good to uh, heal as well. Get some of my guys back in the team. Yeah, Duelist Soul is my favorite. I have never really even touched a Yu-Gi-Oh game, to be honest. Not even for a minute or so. I've never tried any of them, and seeing it, Bread enjoy playing them doesn't exactly give me a lot of hope for them to be super good. I mean, they might be playable, but just way too long. Bare minimum. Of course, well, I can always use guides to make my journey a little bit easier. Because I'm doing... Very relaxed. Challenge run. Coffin. Coffin was always funny to us because Kof, K-O-F-F, is like a uh, alcohol manufacturer. Well, a beverage manufacturer in Finland. A brewery, should we say. And that's why it always made us laugh as a kid. The name. And only when I got older, I realized that it has something to do with coughing, like actually coughing. That's what the name is a play on. I spent countless hours on all the GBA Yu-Gi-Ohs. I guess I never played Yu-Gi-Oh because it was kind of like after my time. Like it came at a point when I was already a little bit older and was not really interested in like stuff like that, I guess. If that's fair to say. Me too, Gonzo, but I haven't enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm pretty much expecting that to be my thing as well. Having to spend quite a long time on them, but never really enjoying them too much. Yu-Gi-Oh! was definitely during my time, but I was too busy playing Pokemon. I wonder how many hours Red has on Pokemon games altogether. Voltorb. We'll just have Ivysaur stay there. I was 12 playing it all. I think Gons ain't that far off from me. I'm 33 right now, so I think Gons is somewhere around my age, most likely. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, definitely a lot. A lot of hours. Over a thousand just in the 3DS era. Jesus. I don't have, like, I think the most hours that I have on a video game must still be, like, uh, Unreal World, which I most likely have somewhere around 500 hours on. But I guess I just play so many games that I don't have a lot of time to sell down on just one. Probably 5,000 in the GBA era. About the same in DS. I played a lot of Pokemon. Yeah, I can definitely tell. Don said he just turned 30 about three weeks ago. Yeah, so like I said, we're right about the same same age then. And congrats on 30, the big 30. Big 10 celebration. I turn 25 next week. Oh, cool. You're gonna have a birthday stream, right? We'll each take a fossil, now being greedy. Uh, let's, uh, you know, use a potion. Zubat, definitely, yeah. Let's use a potion for 
Well, we're not going to be using Pidgey because he's paralyzed anyway, so... I could use Paralyze Heal, of course, and why not? If we have him, why not use him? If I get this job, probably not. 25, I remember those days. Mm, what was I doing when I was 25? It was 25 seven years ago. No, eight years ago. So it was 2016. I was coming back from a bad breakup, I guess. Uh, drinking a lot, most likely. Not up to it being a problem or anything, but I was... I was hitting that whiskey. Definitely. And enjoying it, too. I don't ever remember having too much of a bad time. Helix Fossil or Dome Fossil. I think this is, like, whichever you pick, that's the Pokemon you get. I gotta do stuff. Have fun. Hey, thanks for tuning in, and, uh... If, I, if we don't talk before it, good luck for the job interview. Hope you get it. Yeah, Dome and Helix. One of this gives you... Omanyte for Helix. And something else for the other. I have no idea of what Omanyte was, though. Kabuto. Kabutops, right? Or is Kabuto like the... Uh, basic form? Kabuto. Kabuto was the one with the funny arms, right? Or Kabutop. I have no idea about Omanyte. Tops is the evolved form. Okay, we saw like a skeleton of Kabutops in the museum. Uh, fuck me. I guess I'm just gonna pick the one that I'm under right now. Otherwise we'll get into more random battles that I don't want to fight. Does not affect Pidgey. We're already level 14 with Pidgey, so Pidgeotto is not that far off. If it was level 18 that he evolves in. Yeah, we're gonna pick the Helix Fossil. Items pocket and he gets the other one. This fossil is mine. I could have gotten both of them. You lost the fight anyway. Far away on Cinnabar Island, there is a Pokemon lab. They do research for regenerating fossils. Why don't you use run for fleeing the battles? Yeah, I guess. That's how I used to play Pokemon anyway, and I guess that's why I was always very weak and never evolved anything. So I'm kind of trying to fight most of them right now. Based on that. Oh, this ain't gonna work out. Let's get out of here, Pidgey. Let's let's run. Fair enough, yeah. Because that's how I usually played the games when I was a kid. Never wanted to fight any of the fights and just running away from anything. That's why they were always very difficult for me. The only way that I ever beat Final Fantasy VII was when I uh, copied my friend Aves save file because he got stuck in that part where you go inside the pyramid and have to fight the face wall or something and because the pyramid in the inside is very mc escheris he never like figured out where to go and i had to show him where to go and after he did that he was already like maybe 20 levels on top of what you were supposed to be at that point demon's gate that's the thing yeah demon wall demon's gate whatever Something like that. Yeah, it's a hard boss, especially when you get like trapped in the, the whole place and when you hate leveling up. I went into that in my own save and it was way too low level to stand a chance against Demon's Gate. Legendary Final Fantasy VII, exactly. Still my favorite, easily. And, uh, well, then I got, uh... I stole a save, didn't steal it, just copied it from him and after that I just breezed through the entire game and... Really love Final Fantasy VII, definitely. It's like a killer point for the run and the speed runs. Yeah, because he definitely have to be some specific level, and I guess he might have like some very difficult attacks that he can use, or very heavy attacks that can easily like just 
devastate you. Take you out easily. I still haven't played the remake of the uh, Final Fantasy VII because I don't have PS5. I don't think it's out on Xbox right now. It's out for the PC, but I'm fairly sure my PC wouldn't even run it. And it's super expensive on PC too, so... Not really looking forward to that. Can't wait for the next part for, for PS5. Yeah, I guess they're trying to come out with... Is it coming out next year, perhaps? The second part? It's gonna be a trilogy. I guess. Right? At least a trilogy, if not even more. He's tricky because he likes to kill the damage dealing person over and over. Yeah, Rebirth. Can't wait for it. Next winner. So is it coming out in like six months or so then? Or do you mean winter 2024 then? Antidote. Alright, can we get out of here? Yes, we made it out. Mount Moon, Cerulean City. But we still have to fight these nuggets before we get to the town. I'm just gonna try to watch out for every trainer right now because we really need health before anything else. Yep, I think it's early 23 or something. That's very cool, so like six months or so. I hope it comes out on the Xbox soon enough. Roar. Square is always meh on their release dates. Yeah, and like the whole COVID thing is pushing it forward too and whatever. Maybe this is the way to a city now, hopefully. Cerulean City. Thank you. We made it. Straight to the PC. Elam. Final Fantasy XIV is the same. Are they still releasing stuff for Final Fantasy XIV? I mean, people are really play playing it nowadays. I think people have been very excited about it ever since the whole Realm Reborn thing anyway. The new big patch on Tuesday for Final Fantasy XIV. Ooh. That Beal, I heard that he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. He's not above doing all sorts of things, I've heard. He has the biggest MMO in the world right now. Really? Final Fantasy XIV? Keeps getting better. Bill has lots of Pokemon. He collects rare ones, too. Why don't you go upstairs and try trading Pokemon with your friends? You could get a lot more variety by trading. The Pokemon you get in trades grow quickly, too. I was so addicted at one point that I stopped my GBA challenge just to play it. Ain't that something. Uh, what number of games are you going on right now in the challenge? Everyone calls him a Pokemaniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill though. Who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokemon? Uh, did I want to swap out some of my Pokemon that I had? I guess I could get Butterfree out of there since he won't evolve anymore. Someone's PC. So we'll deposit uh, Butterfree. I'm on number 50. But we are about to blow through the next five games soon. You got like short titles coming or what is it? What's the next five that you're gonna go with? Spyro or you're gonna definitely finish next stream most likely. It's a pretty short game. I think it took about four to five hours for me to beat. Uh, I'm gonna get Ratata in there because we can easily evolve him into Raticate most likely. Just gonna have him be the starter Pokemon. Or maybe wait until Geodude. Geodude evolves into something, right? Something, something. Yeah, I spent about three hours with so far. Almost done with it. Yeah, definitely, if you spend that much already. It's not the longest game. It was a good one. The isometric uh, Spyro games are alright in my books. I really enjoyed them. Uh, should we go back to where we came from? Oh, wait. Are we blocked in from going anywhere, though? Well, we can go here, but... Will this get us back to... No, there's the wall right there, so... 
If we want to go and talk to those guys who were on the path, we'd have to go back through the cave, which is not happening. Definitely not happening. Yeah, they're okay. Not too bad. Uh, when I was a kid, I had Spyro Season of the Flame, I think. And I played through that almost 100%. I missed one fucking gem on one of the monkey levels, and I could never find it, so... I was not too happy about that. Graveler and Truth trade to Golem. Can't remember how it goes in this title. Okay, so Geodude will evolve to Graveler eventually. Ratata up to level 3, like I was expecting. Let's see if we can maybe catch some Pokemon from here. Some new one that we didn't have yet. Wild Ratata. I don't think our level 3 Ratata is gonna fare well against this one though, so. Let's switch to Zubat. As long as we can, like, evolve Geodude into Graveler at least, so... I think that'll be a good thing to do. Oh, shoot. What the hell? Zubat, get out of there. I'll put in Spearow just to peck the shit out of Ratata. Crit. Not quite. You know what? Why wouldn't I just, like, bag you up? You're level 10 compared to the level 3 that I have. Why would I not take you? I don't have time to be leveling up a level 3 Ratata. I mean, we'll make you into Eradicate much easier than we would the level 3. And that is why we are going to take Ratata out of the starting position and put... Uh, not Samari. We'll switch Geodude in there. Still, let's try to fight one more fight and see if we can get anyone here. Spiro, we already have you. We'll rock throw the shit out of you. Super effective. Level 14. Alright, I guess one more. Another Spiro. Welcome to Rock City, Detroit, that is. Oof. Here we go. Sneezing coming. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You're making an encyclopedia on Pokemon, that sounds amusing. Hey, there's bikes right here. Shiny new bicycle, so maybe we can get one in this city. I kind of like the whole run thing, though. You don't even have to equip anything. I want a bright red bicycle. I'll keep it at home so it don't get dirty. But you won't even ride it. These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. Plain city bike is good enough for me. After all, you can't put a shopping, shopping basket on a mountain bike. Welcome to our bike shop. And we got just the bike for you. One million dollar reduce. Unfortunately, we don't have it right now. I think we just get a bike from somewhere else anyway. Pokemon can maybe hold to hold an item. Some items can even be used by the holding Pokemon in battle. What was your name? Slowpoke? Slowbro. Okay, so it's the evolved version. Okay, Slowbro. You Sonic Boom. Come on, Slowbro. Pay attention. We do have to buy more uh, potions and Pokeballs, I think. Not only keeps bugs away, but can also work on weak Pokemon. Put your strongest Pokemon at the left of the Pokemon list. If your first Pokemon is strong, Repel's effect is boosted. as they say. Exactly. Only a million dollars. 
You know about rare candy, they don't sell it in shops. I think it makes Pokemon grow very quickly all of a sudden. Yeah, let's buy... Oh, we could buy Super Potions as well. Definitely go with regulars, so... We'll buy four Pokeballs. Four potions. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple of burn heals just so we have them. Not sure if we really need Awakening, to be honest, but let's buy a few just for the hell of it. Nothing else you could. Hey, wait, could we sell them that shiny bit? Or should we hold on to it for something else? Star piece. We'd get 4.9 thousand out of it, so I guess it would be pretty good. But I'm not sure if we would want to hold on to it for something different. Uh, too much time, too little to do. There's nothing entertaining happening anywhere. It is for selling. Yeah, at least that's what the description says, so maybe we just sell it there then. I mean, it is a pretty hefty amount of money. Not hefty enough to buy a bicycle or anything, but... Pretty good amount of money anyway. We're at 6,000 right now. Woo! Millionaire. You're a trainer too. Collecting, battling. It's a tough life, ain't it? I'd say so. If that slow bro wasn't there, you could cut down the small tree. That way you could get to the other side. I think there's a way around it though. My uh, husband likes trading Pokemon. If you're collecting Pokemon for your Pokedex, aren't you? Would you please trade with him? What does he want to trade? Hello there, do you happen to have a Poliwhirl? Would you agree to trade for my Jinx? I unfortunately don't have a Poliwhirl. I do remember doing this as a kid though, I think. And Jinx has come, come under a bushfire as of late. I think she's like a uh, racial stereotype. Oh crap! Yo, Slice, you're still struggling along back here. I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Slice. Oh, shoot. We have to fight him, and I'm not sure if we have good Pokemon to fight him as. Not sure what he has, but he has four. He has Pidgeotto already. Bugger off, man. And I'm not even in full health. How nice just to get thrown into a fight like that. I think Rock Throw should work very really well against Pidgeotto, though. Exactly. Just do another one of those suckers. Geodude for the win. Yup. Let's do this. Let's do this. What else do you have to throw at us? Or eleven? Yeah, we'll definitely get a lot of EXP here, if nothing else. For Geodude. Geodude Rooney. Charmander shouldn't rock work very well against fire too. We don't have any water ones, I think, so let's just go with uh, Geodude. Hasn't even evolved it, Jesus Christ, man. Get a life. Metal Claw. Oop, super effective. Not very good. Ooh, ooh look at that, though. Eh. I'm gonna use a potion. Hopefully he won't kill me with his next attack. Don't use Metal Claw. Well, I'm still alive. Charmander's attack, Rose. Yeah, fuck me. Let's uh, get you out of there. Gonna go with Pidgey. Hopefully it won't die from one hit. The Charmander will definitely die with my next attack. I think even the tackle should do it. I can use a quick attack. Bye bye. A lot of EXP for Pidgey and Geodude. Level 15. 
Rival Ape is about to use Abra. Abra is the psychic type, right? I'm gonna go with Pidgey for now. And before I do anything, I'm gonna take a turn to heal the Geodude. Have, should be need to use him again. Teleport. Not bad, no. Let's uh, let's use Gust. See how that works for you. Worked very well. I'm not sure what teleport would be for. Can't remember how it works, but there goes Abra. PG249, that's a, almost a level. And a Ratata, yeah, that's it. PG for the win. Alright, need to get PG out of there. Someone will have to share the EXP. Spiro. Ah, yeah, I didn't even go change that Ratata out of my possession. I still have the level 3 one in there. Oh, shoot. No! Oh, I thought I was gonna get a hit in. Jesus Christ. Whatever. Zubat. I just want, want to get some EXP. It doesn't matter if he dies. He dies if he dies, and that's that. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, level 3 rat to send in there. Geodude, just take care of it so you'll get some EXP. Tackle should do it. Missed? Really? There we go. Screw you, Wave. Or Blue, or Rival, or whatever you want to call him. Only 91? Why? Defeated Rival Ave. Hey, take it easy. You won already. 88. We got something more out of it. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC too. Since you're using this system, you should go and thank him. Well, I better get rolling. I'll smell you later. Let's go to the PC. Oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really. You're always plodding behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. Fame checker. A chatty gossip like you. That thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. Alright, this time I'll re I really am gone. Smell ya. Yeah, what was the fame checker? I forget. A device that enables you to recall what you've heard and seen about famous people. Okay, so it's kind of like a journal or, or a beast cheery, technically. So just heal everyone and get that level 3 Ratata out of there. Hope to see you again. Slices P. No, wait, not mine. Wait, do we have any mail? No? Yeah, someone's PC. Deposit the Ratata. And withdraw the level 10 Ratata. There we go. Now we should be good to go. Let's go visit... Bill, and I think we're gonna try to do the gym still. I don't have any super good Pokemon for that though, but whatever. Only skilled trainers can collect Pokemon badges. I see you have at least one. Those badges have amazing secrets, did you know? Now then, which of the eight boss badges should I describe? None of them. Come visit me anytime you wish.
wonder why he has the backyard. There's most likely some sort of a secret. Is there like dig you could use here maybe? Or just the fact that the guy has a backyard. That could be as well, I guess. I'd be happy about that. I concoct a variety of medicine from berry powder. Using berry, good berry powder, I can make any kind of medicine. Now tell me, do you have any interest in berries? I do. Why must you lie to me? How many berries do you have? Not a one! <laughs> yeah. Well, the original game didn't even have berries. You have no interest in berries. Young one, it is important to take an interest in all sorts of things. You telling me what to like? Are you telling me what to like? Berry crush, speed press and rankings. How do we get the speed press? Well, maybe when we have berry powder, but we don't have berries. Is that like a mash in the mini game or what is it? What's this Kappa doing here? The people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Let's go visit Bill. I think he lives here, right? Let me save because we have to fight these dudes on the way, apparently. Slice, save the game. La -la 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 -la. People call this the Nugget Bridge. The Nugget Bridge, okay. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes. The Nugget Bridge. Look at that. Four Pokemon on Bugcatcher Kale. You have to do it all in one go, or can you go and uh, heal in between? Weedle, no change in Pokemon. I don't think Geodude can get poisoned, most likely. At least to me, it sounds pretty weird if it could. <laughs> of course, he gets poisoned immediately. He's a rock anyway. How, do, how can you poison a rock? Uh, we could just use a antidote on him. Level 16. Geodude is trying to learn magnitude, but Geodude. Magnitude was like an earth shake or something. I'm gonna uh, get rid of Mod Sport for now. Ground shake and attack all standing Pokemon. Its power varies. Let's get rid of Mod Sport. Metapod. Yes, we will change. We will get Spearow in there because he can get cheap, free EXP from defeating the Metapod that won't attack. As you can see, he'll make pretty easy work of him too. 153. That's a level up. Good. When will you evolve to Fero? Kakuna, I think you can stay. Almost. Uses James Harden. Gotta go now. It was nice chatting with you. You too, Nikle. Oli kiva nähdä. Toivottavasti tervetään uudestaan vielä. Ehkä jopa livenäkin jossain kohta. Nähä. Woo, good stuff. That's the first of them. Let's just go take care of the rest. Don't seem like they're gonna be too difficult anyway. Oh, second, now it's serious. Oh yeah, will we actually get a nugget when we uh, get to the end? Last Ali with his Pidgey, her Pidgey. Nothing a good old rock throw can't take care of. I kind of remember you might get a nugget or a silver nugget or something when you get to the end. Seeing as how it is called Nugget Bridge. Oddish. I think Oddish. Well, Rock Throw works. Oh yeah, should have maybe gotten rid of that poison though. That could have been a good idea. 
We can do it after the fight, though. Absorb. Oh, shit. Look at that. What bullshit. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Get to the back. <sighs> Income Pidgey. Gust the shit out of this oddish. Well, it was grass against uh, rock type, so of course it's very powerful. Should have known. PG level 16, so two to go. Bell Sprout, just stay there, Pidgey. Special attack rose, whatever, quick attack, slap. 216, nice. Guess we can try to do it without uh, Geodude. Don't matter. Number three, I will be easy. There's only two. Sand Shrew. Sand is good against the flying type though, right? Ain't that the thing. Yeah, easy to see. We'll do it with Ivysaur, why not? Maybe a Vine Whip. Accuracy felt. Slap. Super effective. Cons. Well, for that, definitely change, because uh, I think Spiro will be able to make quick work of a cons. Just peck the shit out of it. Unfortunately, my attack went down. Didn't get poisoned, though. Ah, peck ain't even that good. What the fuck? I thought Spiro would make quick work of him. And again, it is level 14 against level 11, so I guess that works too. Yeah, Zubat, why not? Spiro can't be... Ah, oh, yeah, because it's bound. Shit. Still no? I guess we're in to die then. Was freed from the wrap. Finally, we can get him out just in time. Let's take in Rotata. Hopefully, he'll be able to finish off the snake and at least get a little bit of EXP. At least he won't be getting out after being wrapped. There we go. Bye bye, Icons. Oh, stopped flat. Couple of fights left. Number four, getting tired. Two, Nidoran. E, you know, Nidoran male. At level 16, too. Definitely not any sort of a pushover. Okay, should definitely be able to take care of him with the Pidgey. Especially if you keep using status attacks. There we go. Bye bye. Good amount of EXP to level 17. Thank you. Nidoran female. Looks like Pidgey should be able to do it, so let's just stay here. Defense fell. Hopefully it won't do any sort of a super attack to just deal with Pidgey. Oh, that was close. Let's hope Pidgey doesn't die from the next attack. Double kick. <laughs> ah, if the other one missed or something, 
would have stayed alive. So who do we put in to finish off Nidoran? Gotta do Rotata. There we go. Do a one, good. Almost got a level up. All right, in the last fifth fight. I did my best, so I have no regrets. Number five, I'll stomp ya. What do you have? Only a Pokemon? A Mankey? That's the first time we're seeing that. Ivysaur, Wine Whip, goodbye. Baby. It's a level 18 one though, so definitely has a big level. A <laughs> crit. Yes. I think we should share the EXP with uh, someone. Let's do it with Rattata, if it doesn't die straight off when getting attacked. One of anything should kill the Mankey though. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, Mankey. Of course it hits four times to kill it straight off. Let's see if he'll do the same to Zubat. I'll try Spearow. If he dies, it doesn't matter at all. I'll just try to use a quick attack. Wait, it only has Peck. <laughs> that didn't work. Come on now. Zubat. In for the win. The foe's weak. Get him, Zubat. Come on. Karate Chop. Yes. There we go. Leech Life. Take out the little that he has. Wait, it didn't even die from it. Look at that. Alright, Astonish. That should do it. Bye bye. Good EXP for Zubat. Ivysaur got a level up to 22. Zubat 142. Did not get a level, but whatever. Oh, too much. Got 360, so we beat all five. I'm not gonna go up there because he most likely will fight us as well. Then I'm gonna go down here to the PC and heal now that we got rid of all five fights. And that should most likely get us to Bill, right? We still have to do the gym in this city though. Which will most likely be the last thing we do here today. I've been playing for quite a long time already. I hardly ever do these long streams, but I knew that I was gonna do one today. I was kind of planning on it anyway. I've been doing four and a half hours already. That is long for me, that's all I can say. Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. You've earned a fabulous prize. You get a nugget! Put the nugget in the item's pocket. How would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us! I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. I knew we were gonna have to fight this fucker. Team Rocket, Rocket Nugget. Geodude, take care of Ekans. Intimidate cuts Geodude's attack. Let's try Manitou since it's a ground Pokemon anyway, right? Well, it's a grass Pokemon, I think, but it is on the ground, so... Magnitude 8! It does hurt me too, though, right? Wait, it shouldn't. I'm not on the ground. There we go. 198. No reason to switch. We can just rock throw the shit out of Zubat. There we go. Super effective. <laughs> not, not quite enough to get a level. We'll be getting one soon enough, though. With your ability, you'd become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. Don't let this chance to go to waste. Yeah, yeah. I saw your feet. Feet. Ah, yeah, feet. At, like what we did, not our feet. Camper Shane would like to battle, and our Ratita. Magnitude, whatever.
Magnitude 8! I'll blow you off the face of the Earth, Ratata. One seven one and a level up. We'll do the same for Econs. Make it easy for us. Still wrapped, even if it wasn't a, like effective. Magnitude nine, Jesus. Boom. Super effective. I hate because the people on the bridge frighten me. Let's uh, make a quick save. Also gonna make these. Let's actually make them now after the save. Maybe a better idea. Uh, what is there to find here though? Where are we going? Don't get poisoned, please. Ah, you little shit. Now we have to use an antidote on Geodude, even if we didn't want to. I knew that was gonna come and bite me in the ass. Bar zone off. There we go. There's nothing to find here. Just fights, I guess. A bell sprout, though. We can definitely try to catch it. Try to use stackles. Okay, that's good. Second one, and then try to catch it, I guess. Because if we do three, we'll probably die. Yeah. We'll try to catch it now. We have Pokeballs, though. Ah, yeah, we did just buy some more. Catch a Bell Sprout. That'll help our Pokedex get more entries. Gotcha. Carnivorous Pokemon that traps and eats bugs. It appears to use its root feet to replenish moisture. Look at that. Out of the grass. Gotta make it to Bill. Tracked. Hmm. We're on Route 25. I don't think I want to go there right now. Let's... I thought we were going to Bill's house or something, but that seems to not have been the case right now. Uh, Pokey Center. And then I guess I'll try to go to the gym. I don't know if they're going to fight us just yet, though. I thought we were supposed to do maybe something prior to that. I wonder if I have the correct Pokemon to go for the gym. I guess I'll try at least. If we don't get it first off, we can always try again with a different set. This is Misty's gym, right? Yeah. So make a save first off. There's a couple of prelim fights and then we'll get to Misty. Champ in the making, let me give you some advice. The leader Misty is a pro who uses water type Pokemon. You can drain all their water with grass type Pokemon, or you might use electric type Pokemon and zap them. Oh, first up, let's do it. Swimmer Louis. Swimmer male Louis sent horsey. We'll throw some rocks at it. Oh, crud. Yeah, so water is super effective against rock type, apparently. And that's something. Put Pidgey in there. Shouldn't be so good against flyers, most likely. Hopefully not. Yeah, not too good. 
try to blow it out of the water. Not, not a super move, I guess. Uh, quick attack or tackle. Let's try quick attack. At least we get to do it straight off. There we go. Yodo and PG both gain some stuff. Shelter. We'll stay with Pidgey, I think. Icicle Spear? Nah, it's a multi-attack one. Crit. Super effective. Shit. Get you out of there. See what Spearow can do. He can try to peck at it. I'm not sure if that's gonna be a good attack, but... I think our Pokémon are still a little bit low-leveled right now. To be honest. We're fighting against Pokémon with the level of 16, with a Pokémon of level 11. Ivysaur could do it, but do I want to use him right now? Just want to get some EXP for our smaller fellows. Three, really? Ah, four. Fuck off, game. Yeah, fuck off. In comes Ivysaur. But we do have more grass types. I guess I could like get at least the uh, who was it? Uh, Butterfree. We could bring him here. That's a grass type anyway. Beedrill. I'm not sure if that's a grass type or something else. There we go. Fine whip for the win. Swimmer Louise. Let's uh let's go heal. Maybe get Ratata out of there and put uh Butterfree in. But then again I don't I don't think I'm gonna be using Butterfree to be honest. I don't need to level it up or anything, so why do that? We'll just start with uh, whoever's there right now. I think it's Geodude, and then switch to Ivysaur. What? You? I'm more than good enough for you. Misty won't be- won't have to be bothered. We'll see about that, Chuck. Picknicker Diana, and now Guldeen. I can still try to rock throw at you, I guess. See how well that'll work. Not very well. Alright, Ivy. You're in. Hail whip. That won't do you no good. I'm already coming for you. The wine whip. And that'll be it for you. Easy. Kyoto level 18. Nice. You overwhelmed me. Got 380. And I guess we're ready for Misty then. Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What's your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Of course, we started out with Geodude, which is a bad choice here, but uh, Ivysaur? Star you. Don't think it's gonna damage me for 44 in any case, so I'm gonna throw rocks at it and after that... Use Ivysaur. Oh, 
Like I said, don't think it's gonna do an attack for 44. Hey, Inimilis, you're gonna get one shot. Yeah, I mean, it is a level 18 and I'm using a rock type against it, so I guess that's it. But uh, Star is about to get her shit handed to her. Like said, Ivysaur for the win. About to use Star Me, which I think that's the uh, better version of Star You. I'm just gonna start the thing with Pidgey so she gets a little bit of uh, XP. Oh, I can actually like fight once. Shouldn't one shot Pidgey at least. Or should one shot Pidgey, whatever. I can go through all of them. Well, not really. Some of them. Put Zubat in there. You underestimate those stars. Yeah, I guess they are very powerful, though. Ain't that the thing in the whole uh, anime as well? They play it out to be super powerful. Zubat out of there, Ratata in, and then sent Ivysaur in to finish what the others tried to start. They didn't even start it, they tried to start it. Here comes Ivysaur. Won't be damaged so bad. Hopefully. Yeah, only nine. Do the wine whip. Give him some shit. Not too much, though. Hopefully it won't crit me. Your Pokemon team is trash. I'm pretty much in the start of the game still. Haven't been able to do so much. Ah! Oh! I wasn't expecting that to happen. I can actually use uh, items. Let's do the same here. I should have just finished it off. Let's just use a po potion for our ivy source so we get a little bit more as well. And then keep going with Vine Whip. Or should I do Leech Seed too? Because it could be like powerful against it. And we would get a little bit of health back every now and then too. I do have to use another potion right now, though, too. This is me being the ultimate strategist, as you can see. Playing like absolute dog shit. So, let's use another potion so we don't die, and then just take care of it with Wine Whip. Lego! You might even have to use one more potion, who knows? Well, not really. The next should, next should definitely do it. You can even finish it with a tackle right here. Pokemon was like the only game I had on Game Boy. Yeah, but like it's the quintessential game for the Game Boy anyway, so... If you had one game, it could not be any better than getting uh, Pokemon, I guess. Ivysaur grew to level 21. Good. Spiro gain 310, Ratata 310 as well. Level 11, cool. I'll take it. Player defeated, leader Misty. Wow, you're too much. All right. You can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. Got $2,100 reduced from it. Cascade badge makes all, level, all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders you got in trades. There's more. You can now use cut anytime, even out of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM. TM03 from Misty. Teaches water poles. Mm hmm. Use it on aquatic Pokemon. Great. I'll go to Pokemon Center, and after that, we will call it a day. I've been doing this for almost five hours right now. Getting hungry and still want to go outside and enjoy the weather, so. I'd say that's a good start for Pokemon Leaf Green, though. Did a good stuff today. Two gyms taken care of, a little bit of leveling for our Pokemon, and we're off to a good start. I'll try to continue this, hopefully, at some point during the week. Cut it here. Three, two, one, go. I think we'll get the recap. As you see, four hours, 26 minutes behind. And the little recap. Went to the Pokemon Mart in Cerulean City and spent 3,000... On items including awakening. I think this is a very cool function that they do here.
I just went to the Pokemon Mart in Cerulean City and sold just one of the item star piece. Why does it recap all this stuff though? I don't understand. Hey, Roblue Kiran, nice to see you here too. I remember when I used to think that Pokemon was first an anime and I said they made a game of Ash's adventures? Good thing I never said that in public. Otherwise the fans would have killed me. Yeah, I think first off I might have played the game as well. I didn't know about the anime before I played the game, I think. I remember even going to see the uh, movie. Wait, what? What? Why do we have to fight Misty again? We already beat her last time. Well, whatever. I guess we're gonna beat her again then. Uh, how was it that I did it last time? I mean, water is definitely gonna kill Geodude, right? I can still try Rock Throw, but I think the Water Pulse just decimated every single one of my Pokemon. Yeah. Outside of Ivysaur, of course. So I guess we'll just use Ivysaur so the others don't get injured straight off. Although I could give Ratata a little bit of uh, EXP. Show Ratata in the fight and then take her out immediately. And then have Ivysaur take care of the fight. I guess it was the result of me seeing Digimon first. I actually like both franchises. I never got into Digimon, to be honest. I knew that it was a thing, but I never really got into it, so... Can't really say anything about that. I used to have a Digimon game for the PS, but I only played it for about 5 minutes tops. But luckily it used Super Potion already, so most likely it won't have so many for uh, Starmie later on in the fight. But yeah, I remember going to see the Pokemon movie and was like, what the fuck is this stuff? It was that, I don't know, they most likely made a ton of Pokemon movies later on, but that was the first and I pretty much think the only one they ever showed in Finland anyway. Ratata grew to level 11, just what I wanted. How to use Starmie, we'll do Ratata again so she gets a little bit more EXP. Then of course switch right back to uh, Ivysaur. I don't understand why we're doing this again. I thought we... Maybe we didn't do a hard save after we stopped last time. But like I said, all we really did was defeat Misty and then uh, stop the game right there. So Might have forgotten to do a hard save, but that's okay. Didn't really struggle with this fight anyway. It shouldn't be too bad. Like swift damage does... Oh, shoot. That's actually gonna hurt us. That ain't even gonna hurt us. That's gonna take us out. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna get to fight at all. Unless we use quick attack, which takes like that much of its health away. Anything she's gonna use is just gonna decimate us completely. How unlucky. Well, let's just keep fighting. I guess I'll have to, like, just... Reload the quick save or something. Unless for some reason some of Starmie's attacks miss and for some reason we get to cause enough damage to beat her up. We could of course use a uh, the revive, but I really really don't want to do that, so. Oh no, it got to use water pulse straight away. Hey, chosen last year as well. Gotta catch him out! So gotta kill him all as you can see right now. Zubat, you're our only hope. Uh, astonish. Nah, we didn't even get to fight. There we go. You know what? I'm just gonna... <laughs> well, let's take the death now that we got it. Yeah, out of Pokemon. Player lost against leader Misty. Yeah, I'm not gonna be playing 320 and white out. I want my money back. But at least we get to see this too. Slice Scurry to a Pokemon Center protecting the exhausted and fainted Pokemon from further harm. First, you should restore your Pokemon to full health. Your Pokemon have been healed to perfect health. We hope you excel. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna excel. I'm gonna press this little button here. 
reload the save that we I thought we had last time. As you can see, now we should have the uh, whatever badge, Cascade badge it was, I think. Yeah, right there. We have the Cascade badge. We should have had it already, but for some reason I just must have not made a hard save, only made the quick save. But here we are now, we beat the gym leader Misty. Not exactly sure what we're up to right next, but uh, I figure we have to get up there. Which means we have to make a trip around here. I'm not sure if we can go straight from here. Ah, the bushes are stopping our way. Uh, it was so that we could learn cut, right? How do I teach cut, though? Do we get a TM for it, or is it just a badge we... Let's check the TM case. Well, it ain't from here. Is it just Pokemon who can then use Cut? They can use it? I th thought you had to, like, teach Cut somehow. Slowbro hasn't gone away just yet, as you can see. Let me talk to the owner. Slow bro, punch, you blew it again. Well, at least it's awake. I guess we'll get to see about that later. But yeah, I think when we got the Cascade badge, we should have also learned uh, how to cut. Or at least we can use cut now, somehow. And I got a pure gold that gives off a lustrous leaf sold at a high price. We're not going to be uh, doing it right now, though. Do I have to check the badge somehow? Ah, it ain't from that. I guess we just get cut from somewhere then. Anyway, let's continue up here. We took care of these fights last time, so we can just rush on through and we'll continue to the right. Because this is where the road goes. I just didn't want to go here last time because I know I'm going to have to fight these trainers. Just got down from Mount Moon and I still got gas in the tank. Good for you. Hiker Franklin. Oh, Machop. That's the first time we're seeing that. Let's see how well Rock Throw works. Focus Energy. I was trying to get Geodude. Uh, trying to get Geodude to level up to its next form, which I think is Graveler. I'm not sure. Graveler or Graveler. I still don't know how you're supposed to say the name of the Pokemon. I'm gonna use Geodude. Change. But no one. We'll just stay with Geodude, I guess. It's a Geodude fight right now. Tackles against Tackles. I don't think we're gonna do too much damage, though. Of course, he uses Rock Throw. That shouldn't damage us too bad, though, but... As you can see, it was a crit hit, so of course it did damage us somewhat. This guy should be able to take care of good old Geodude. One hit slap kill. I had tons of fun playing this last time, and I was kind of hyped to be playing it right now, too. We'll have fun today as well, I think. If there's any background noise, the kids outside are making a ton of ruckus again, and I don't want to close the windows right now. Hope it doesn't bother you too much. If you can't even hear it, of course. Hot days in Finland right now. 30, 30 plus and very humid at the same time. Wetting my ass off all the time. I wonder how high you have to get Geodude to evolve it. No reason to change if we're fighting against Spearow. And same for Rattata, I wonder how high you have to level him to get him to actually hurt. 
to evolve into Raticate. Here we go, level 19. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Very nice. Player defeated Youngster Joey. You're decent! Oh boy, I'm better than the... Tell you that much. I'm your worst fucking nightmare. I'm gonna see Bill. First, we battle. All these hikers. Hiker Wayne. Ooh, Onyx. I don't think our Geo dude is gonna do a lot of damage against the Onyx. Not that he'd get to do that much damage too, but let's just go with a uh, Ivysaur who'll slap the Onyx dead. We don't have any water Pokemon yet, I think. What was the Plesiosaur looking? Plesiosaur looking water Pokemon. Lapras, was it? Or Lapras? Something like that, anyway. I remember having one of those on my first playthrough. You're something. Oh, I sure am. Yeah, it took me to a great party on SSN at Vermilion City. Oh yeah, we do get to ride the boat too, right? Or ship, rather. Youngster Dan sent out Slowpoke. Lapras, I think you get one, but it's gonna take a while for that. Like G gym, G three gyms more. Yeah, could be. Could very well be. I just kind of remember having one of those in my first playthrough of the game. Could be mistaken, but I'm not sure. Oh shit! Slowpoke is a water Pokemon. We're effective against Geo Dude, unfortunately. And again, I guess it would be super effective against all the others as well. I'm gonna try to go with Pidgey, but let's see. Pidgey still needs to get up to Pidgeotto, which should be pretty soon. I think people in the last stream said it's about uh, level 18 you need for Pidgeotto. So that's coming soon enough. Come on, Pidgey, you got this. Ah, was supposed to use a gust. Confusion? Oh shit, don't kill him, don't kill him. Oof, that was close. Quick attack, we'll finish Slowpoke off. Pidgey stays alive. There we go. Level 18. Will he evolve? I'm not bad. What? Pidgey is evolving. Finally get Pidgeotto, another entry into the Pokédex for that sweet, sweet uh, EXP share that we want. Look at that. Beautiful Pidgeotto. Congratulations, your Pidgey evolved into Pidgeotto. Pijamas. Yes, Hassan, I saw trainers from around the world. Peek around this dude's back. Let's not. Hi, my boyfriend is cool. Not that I ask, but cool. Picnicker Kelsey. Fighting me with a Nidoran. Can't really use Pijato right now since she's doing very bad on health. Hey, Inamilis is here too. Just woke up? You mean all together or just took a nap? I'd understand a nap, but if you slept all the way this late, it is kind of alarming. Leer. Peck the shit out of you. Oh, they used Peck as well? Poison Point Spear... Poison Spear roll. Ain't that something. Bring out... Bring out Zubat, get him some EXP as well. Left from 9 in the morning to here. You went to sleep in 9 in the morning? The way out there, man. Astonish. Didn't really astonish Nidoran too bad. Can't sleep during the night? Is it too hot for you? Wouldn't be too surprised about that because... The climate is what it is right now. Very 
Very hot. Oh, that didn't work. Double kick. Tackle you down then. There we go. Bye bye, Dideron. Only 48 EXP? That's a shame. Well, of course, it was between four Pokemon, so that must be why. Zubat learns Supersonic. That's great. Strong female. Let's not change Pokemon. Not that Ivysaur works very well against Nidoran, but neither, neither do the other ones we have. And they don't even have that much health anyway, so... Not the best situation in any case. I think when we get to the city via the shortcut, whatever... We'll most likely get to that one bush and maybe even get to use cut on it so we can make our way to the Poke Center. I always prefer to leave the original names. I don't like moats a lot unless it's we're making jokes. Yeah, I really use the original names as well. It's easier for me to like remember which Pokemon it is anyway. I wish my boyfriend was as good as you. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, and we got a... Uh, Poison Pokemon, so let's just make our way to Poke Center. Unfortunately, the Pokemon will faint on the way over there. Unnecessary uh, anguish, but it is what it is. I don't really want to use a antidote if we're gonna go here anyway, so. Get this done. We could throw Pidgey out of the mix right now since she uh, already leveled up to Pidgeotto. I'm not sure if we have any good Pokemon in the center right now anyway. If I had a water one, I'd definitely trade him there, but we don't. I'm not going to do that. It's a very even, uneven uh, set of Pokemon we have right now because we have level 20s and we have level 10s. We really swap that around a little bit, but let's just keep going what we have right now with what we have right now. I'm off to see a Pokemaniacs collection at the Cape. Or hikers. What are they? What is this knob carrying? Like, he has two bricks in his backpack. We got a Geodude fight. I'm gonna go forward with it and move on to Ivysaur. It's cool. I don't expect this one to be like a five hour stream, same as the last time was, but we're definitely gonna be going for a few hours. No reason to change the Pokemon if it's another Geodude. Maybe he'll fight us with like five Geodudes all together. Everyone just getting slapped by Ivysaur. I wonder what level we have to be to make this a uh, Venusaur. It's got to be like level 30 to 35 or something at least. I only remember getting Venusaur way, way later on in the playthrough at least. When I played Blue. Level 22. Trying to learn... Oh, Razor Leaf. That's the good one. Yes, make room for la Razor Leaf. I think we're going to get rid of Leech Seed right now. Razor Leaf is like a killer move. Like an absolute killer of a move. Ekernop is about to use Machop. He will change Pokemon. I'll bring in Spearow to take a little bit of EXP. Hopefully it won't die with one hit. Machop! Oh, very good. Go in for the kill, Spiro. We should get a level from this. Two forty-four, just nice. Fury attack, great. Hikernob got defeated. You done got me, and real good too. Sure did. 
Pokemaniac sure lives up to his name. The collection includes many rare species of Pokemon. Is the Pokemaniac supposed to be Bill? I'm a cool guy, I got a girlfriend. Is your girlfriend right there? I do know that you're not as cool as we are, so... Flint. What kind of name is Flint anyway? Way to go, Geo, dude. About to use Icons. I guess we can just keep using Geo, dude, as well. Geo, dude, sounds like something a turtle would say. A '90s turtle. Magnitude will do you wonders. Magnitude seven. Bye, bye, Icons. Go back to Arbok. Alright, close to level 20 with Geodude. Maybe that uh, evolution is coming up soon enough. Oh well, my girlfriend will cheer me up. But what does it say about this right now? Can be cut down. I know, but how do we get cut? Secret power. That varies with Pokemon, most likely. Like how it works with different Pokemon. I had this feeling. I knew I had to battle you. This goo. Youngster chat sent out icons. Again, cut in my attack. I think we might even get that level 20 from this fight. Magnitude 9, goodbye. There we go, level 20 for Geodude. Duderino. Youngster Chad is about to use Sandshrew. We'll change Pokemon. Bring in Spearow to get a little bit of experience. E-experience. Try Fury Attack. Could be a few hits at least. There we go, free hits. Peck the shit out of him. Crit, look at that. You know, I prevents accuracy lost. Cool. Seems like the Pokemon have a lot of like extra abilities in this version of the game that they didn't have in the original. Sandshrew, true, goodbye. 279 for Spearow. Ooh, close to a level up right there. I knew I'd lose two. Well, he's got 224. That will evolution for Geodude yet. If your Pokemon gets confused, switch it out. That's a good tactic. My friend has many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Last Haley. Sending out Oddish. I think Oddish was pretty, pretty good against Geodude. So let's try to put in Spearow and see if he gets that level up from this fight. Sweet Scent. Evasiveness fell. Oh, four hits. Look at that. Five. Killer Spearow. Peck finish him off. Or super effective. Look at that. Give me my EXP. Level 14 for Spiro. Pet could, pet could have one shot it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Pidgey against Spiro fight. Will not change my Pokemon. Spiro needs some more EXP. Oh shit. Fury attack missed this time. Hopefully not for a second time in a row.
This is what you would call a dog fight. Oh shit. Oh shit. So close. Fury attack, please go through. Yes. Just on time. I tried to use, like, there's the new tag system for uh, Twitch. I tried to put a tag in called Backseating Allowed. For some reason, Backseating Allowed was a tag that you can't put in. The system said it's kind of like, uh, it's against the TOS or something. I don't know why, but that's what, what it said. And I couldn't put it in. I could use Backseat, and that's it. Doesn't that sound even worse? Zubat's not gonna be doing this. Zubat, the Pokemon definitely nobody wants to eat. Try to get Zubat to be Golbat. I don't know what level it needs to be. But I think it's still quite, quite a far, long ways off. But wouldn't, like, Ozzy Osbourne could have a bite of a Zubat, I think. If I'm not mistaken. But again, Ozzy Osbourne would probably have a bite out of a Spiro or Pidgey as well. The Chinese might be interested in some Zubat meat. Yeah, could very well be. What is the new virus that's going on from uh, China? Something Lympha, Lymphra, something, or Limga. I forget the virus's name. Just been reading a little bit about it. A very unfortunate situation, once again. I'm not so jealous. You came from Mount Moon. May I have a Clefairy? We did not find one there. Uh, two badges, 17 Pokédex, so we're still missing 13 to get the item we... No, wait, wait, not 13. It was 50 that we need to get for the EXP share, I think. The virus from a small rodent, I think. Yeah, it came from, uh... It's past and like the very small mouse. Is it a shrew? Or a shrew a bird? I'm not sure. This cape is a famous date spot. Misty, the gym leader, has high hopes about this place. Hello, are you here alone? If you're out at Cerulean's Cape, well, it should be as a couple. Yes, that. So it was a shrew. Okay, so I got it right. From here we could go back to Cerulean, but let's take a look at this place first. Well, then again, I guess it's only where Bill lives. But let's have a word or two with him. Tea Cottage. There's a Clefairy. Ah, yeah, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's that? What's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I'm screwed up. I screwed up an experiment and co combined with a Pokemon. Well, how about it? Help me out here. I don't know how to spell shrew. Spell shrew. I think it's just without the C, and that's it. S H R E W. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run cell separation system. This is the beginning of the movie The Fly. In reverse. Lights in different colors are flashing on and off. Oh yeah, with her, his PC, that's what we needed to go to. Slice initiated the teleporter cell separator. In comes a monster. I mean, out comes a monster. So, Bill, you're finally out of the closet. How does it feel? Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. Well, I got to thank you. Oh, here, maybe this'll do. Slice received an SS ticket from Bill. Slice put SS ticket in the keys in the items pocket. That cruise ship SS Anne is in Vermilion City. I heard there are lots of trainers on board too. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dude. Why don't you go instead of me? Go on and have a good time. 
This reminds me of that movie of a fly, was that the animal? Just a little less disturbing. Yeah, that's exactly what I said as well. Movie with uh, Jeff Goldblum. The fly. Sure, so. Use the other route to get back to where we were. And Cerulean. Well, can you make us into a Pokemon, Bill? How about that? How's about some of that trading? Right, so we'll just use this path to run back to the city. Bill is sending you to an SS party. Yeah, things are gonna get dark, pretty dark right about now. AO wave. What's happening? I made it back to the city. Looks like this house is open right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of there. People here were robbed. The cop has moved aside so we can go there and then gain access to the other area. Does Misty teach us cut? I don't remember that happening though. We must have talked to her after the fight. EM03 teaches water pulse. Yeah. So, nope. Cups are useless. At least that one was. It was just standing in front of the door. Wouldn't let us pass. For storyline purposes. We'll heal and be on our way. I should maybe take a look if I want to change some of the... Like Pidgeotto. I don't think there's a third form to Pidgeotto, if I'm not mistaken. We could maybe get a Pokemon that we could try to evolve. Someone's PC. Ooh, sorry. Someone's PC is now Bill's PC. Anyway, gotta do some stuff. So I wish you luck. See ya. Nice to see you again, bro, Blue Kiran. We will see you another time again. So if we would store Ratata, who would we take out? We could take out Bellsprout, I guess. Try to make it a Weeping Bell. But we do want to level up the Ratata as well. Magic Arp is something we do want to level up as well if we want to get Gyarados later on. Pidgey, Pidgeot, Pidgeotto. No, we already have Pidgeotto. It was Pidgey to Pidgeotto. For us, is also something we could level up. Can't remember what the evolved form of that is, though. Bellsprout is level 13, so we could change that to something, I guess. But let's take the Rattata back. We still want to make a Raticate out of that one. Spearow still needs to level up as well. Uh, Geodude needs to level up and evolve. Too bad. If we threw Pidgeotto away and took Bellsprout in there, that would be one thing, I guess. I'm actually gonna do just that. Now that he evolved, we'll throw out Pidgeotto. Means we'll once again have a very low level team, unfortunately. Pidgeot is the third one. Really? Pidgeotto to Pidgeot. Does that make any sense? Yeah, we'll take. Take Bellsprout out. Just check. Can you check uh, what are the requirements for Geodude to evolve to whatever Bell evolve into? I think it's Graveler, but I'm not 100% on that. But I think it's just a level-based thing. It needs to be a certain level. It's level 18 or 20 right now, which I thought it would like uh, evolve, but it hasn't evolved yet, which I find a little weird. We could sell the Nugget if we wanted to, but we're not going to be doing that right now. You need to trade Graveler to get Golem. Yeah, that I think we figured out last time. And how do we get cut? What the fuck? Let's call Professor Oak. Oh, what do we need to do to get Geodude to evolve to whoever they evolve to? Uh, I wanted to do the... What is it? Not Fame Checker. Wait, we needed to do it from the computer, right? Because uh, Professor Oak also said one of his aides should give us the Flash thing, but we haven't gotten that either. Level 25 for Geodude? Well, that's not too bad. 
will be right about there. Yeah, I rate my Pokédex. Looks as if you're getting on the right track. I'll give one of my aides a Flash HM. Make sure you go get it. Yeah, he did that before, but where do we go get it? Do we need to travel all the way back to Pallet Town? Because that's a long ass trip. And I want my cut. Did you know that you can cut down small trees? Well, I sure know. I just wish I could get the cut HM from somewhere. I thought I would already get it. But apparently, no. Well, let's just head behind the house right now, anyway. The house that the cop moved away from. You have to fight a Team Rocket member outside, I think. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. For obvious signs of burglary here. Those miserable rockets. Look at look at what they done to my house. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. Going to use it on a Mankey or a Sandshrew. That cost me a bundle it did. For obvious signs of burglary, let's burglarize some more. Be safe before we go outside. Whose life saved the game? Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Oh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? You're an innocent bullshitter. I think that's what you are. Team Rocket grunt. We eat Machop for breakfast. I believe him. <laughs> hey, Bread Ghost. Bread, do you remember how we can get the Cut HM? I know we can already use it because of the Cascade badge, but I don't know where to get it from, though. Hey, Neat is here too. Nice to see you, Neat. I've been waiting for you to continue Final Fantasy X, but are you still working with the inner ear infection thing? I know one of those shits suck. I've had them before and they really make you feel bad. Like even internally, emotionally, they make you feel bad. I love these animal abuse simulators. Oh, no. You're one of the good ones. Red Ghost. Drowsy, that's a uh, psychic type one, right? We gotta stay with Geodu for right now. I had an in uh, ear infection last week. That sucks, Ghost. Like, I've had them before. I used to have them by the tons, and they really suck, from what I can recall. It's been quite a long while since I last had one, but I have something wrong with my ear canal, though. It's dry for some reason, and it doesn't feel too well either. Yes, I do know where Cut HM is. Is it just through progression or have I missed it somehow? Also, where do we get Flash HM? Because Professor Oak Hill said he'll give it to one of his aides, but I don't know if I have to go all the way back to his lab to get it. You can miss it? But you haven't missed it yet. Ah, okay, good. But I do remember getting it in Pokemon Blue, so... I don't want to miss it by any means. Is it SSN? I guess it could be. I'll return the TM I stole. The TM28 was dig. I'm gonna try to be a good guy and return it to whoever you stole it from. Figure what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without ATM. But I have your dig right here. You have to go out of your way for Flash. Is that that you actually have to go back to Pallet Town then? That would really suck. I would not like to go all the way back there. I don't really know if I need Flash in any case. Then again, someone said that the caves are dark and you might need them somewhere. I don't know. Not that far, but you do need to go through an optional area. Well, if it's not gonna be super necessary, I guess we'll just skip Flash for now. You will need Flash if you've never seen the cave before. Come, come give it here. Wife just made an unbelievable crotchet hat I can show you on stream. I can put it on if you don't want to be on stream. And put this amazing crotchet hat on. Oh, I don't want to be on stream. Unbelievable crotchet hat she just made. Is the cam on? It is. There's the 
eye right here too. There are the ears. The eye. Unbelievable. Crotch hat. Yeah, no crotch hat. I should start playing like this, like a Viking. Actual Viking. Yeah, crotch hat. Not crotch hat. Must have missed that. Maybe she should make a crotch hat though. Moving on. I can navigate without it because I've played this game too many times. Ah, yeah, without Flash. I dig diglets because they dig around a lot. You dig? In America, we say crochet. Uh, like the... Like, as if you were French, right? Crochet. I don't, I don't think the British say crotchet either. It's just me. Must be actually crochet how you say it. It stuffed the horns so they stand up proudly. I guess if you just put the hat far in, they could stay up by themselves. I don't know. Garage. Crochet. Voyage. Ménage à trois. Ain't that how you speak French, right? Ah, let's go. This one we already... Red. We haven't found any berries yet, but there was some sort of a mini game we could do with berries, I think. Ain't that the daycare center right there? I, for some reason, I remember this to be the daycare center. Boink. Let's go and take a look. We'll be able to go get Flash soon. Ah, okay. Daycare service, I knew it! Raise one of my Pokemon. Berries are only on the ground hid in hidden spots, but you can see them because the grass is different. Ah, okay. But you might need to uh, dig it, right? I always jump the last one so many times. Yeah, it must have happened to me back in the day as well. Uh... Don't raise anyone right now. Oh, wait. We could use the computer, though. No need to dig. Just talk to it. Talk to the ground, and you'll get a berry from it. Very Indian, ain't that? Let's leave someone here. I'll leave the Paras here, to be honest. Bales uh, PC? We'll deposit Ivysaur, our most important player, for a second. Get the Paras out of the box. Or should we have Magikarp stay here? That's a positive, I think, because Magikarp has no other use for us. Store you. Leave Magikarp right there. We'll just cultivate a Jarados. Jarados. That ain't how you say it, most likely. Gyrations like a Jarados. Yes. Raise me a Magikarp. I'll look after your magic card for a while. Might be quite a long time that you're gonna look after it, but go nuts. Go nuts. Let them withdraw. They don't evolve in the daycare, so you'll have to check back. Yeah, that one I kind of knew. That's true. But if we leave the fish there for quite a long time, at least it'll be close to whatever level. Wasn't it like level 45 that it needs to be? to evolve into a Gyarados. Underground path, Cerulean City, Vermilion City. So is this the one where we would get the Flash HM thing? I'm straddling my new life-size EV plush and waiting on a phone call. The uh, interview phone call? Gyarados is already at level 20. Oh, look at that. Hi, do you have a female Nidoran? I'll trade it for my male Nidoran. Unfortunately, we do not have one for you. The music in this one, like, I like the original Pokemon Blue music, but this is just way better. Really, really enjoy the music in this game. Looks like the Flash thing wasn't here, but... Yes, they said they would call me if I move on in the process. Let's keep hoping for that to happen. Thumbs up and toes up and whatever's up. And before he levels it way too beyond evolution and loses out on all the good moves. <laughs> People often lose things in the darkness of the underground path. Oh, really? The darkness of the underground path.
Gerardos does not get good moves in this game. Ain't that a shame. Not until level 50. Yeah. I don't think anyone's... Not even Ivysaur is going to be level 50 when we finish this game. I just spammed A when moving up and down here. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do right now. Uh, looks like we found something. Wonder if we could find something other than just the burn heal. Let's do a few sets here. This is called exercise, people. Take it from someone who used it in his last playthrough. Come on, give me something good. Something good, man. Give me a rare candy. I smell a rare candy coming. Gyarados is super cool, though. I'm not sure if I ever had one. Could I have had one when I was playing blue? Most likely not. I'm not a very patient grinder. So I don't expect that to have happened. Antidote. Gyarados is a beast with the right moveset. Didn't the anime give him a lot of, like, uh... Spotlight too at some point. I hardly remember anything from the anime or the crappy movie that I went out to see. I just remember that the movie was very, very weird. I think I kind of lost interest in Pokemon after seeing it. But I think altogether it's like the third Pokemon movie or something. My water type was Squirtle, so I never needed a water type. Gyarados shows up a decent bit. Yeah, I kind of recall something like that. Entei? Uh, I can't remember what the movie was. I think it was supposed to be the third movie or something, but I'm not 100% on that. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh, wait there, the road's closed. What road would that be? That's gotta be a berry patch of grass. Yeah, citrus berry. Now I do know what the different patches of grass are supposed to look like. There aren't many bugs around here. You're bugging me. Bug catcher Kago. I've seen every Pokemon movie to date. The only one where Gerardos shows up that I can remember is the first one. I can't remember which movie I saw. There was one they showed in Finland back in the Pokemon craze days, but for some reason I thought it was the third movie that was made because we just didn't get the earlier ones or something. But I do remember just hating the movie and after that just falling out with Pokemon pretty much all together. But this was like in the year 2000 or 99 or whatever. Geodude up to level 21. Trying to learn self-destruct. Uh, of course it's self-destruct, yeah. Let's get rid of defense curl. I most likely used self-destruct than defense curl, anyway. The one really good Pokemon movie is the more recent one called Power of Us. That movie is actually legi legi legitimately good. Most of them are bad, though. I wonder what the movie was called. I just can't remember. Uh, I... Caterpie? No. I think we'll we'll do just fine with Geo do it against Caterpie. Magnitude Magnitude does wonders. That's all I can say. Only magnitude four this time, but it should be enough, I think. <laughs> not quite. Not quite. What about Rock Fro? Let's see about that. I know Geodude is like uh, weak against Caterpie, but it doesn't look like Caterpie is using a lot of grass moves yet. So no real worries here. Another Weedle. No need to change. You do need to get the poison off of. Uh, Geodude, though, after the fight. Hmm. 
Magnitude 4. And Geodude, you self-destruct! No self-destructing right here. We'll let our dude live. Must do quite a good amount of damage using self-destruct though. Sometimes I like pulling up my challenge video for a game when someone else is playing it to compare progress. I won't say where I am at this point. Go ahead though, I don't mind. You can do it. And anyone who doesn't know yet, Red Ghost is another one of the, uh, the GBA challengers. He's actually doing a much more serious version of the challenge that I'm doing. Like I said, I can just use or make my progress a lot easier than the other challengers, but uh, Bread Ghost does it way more cleanly than I do. So go give him a follow if you like GBA. I'm finding the third gym, but I think I went back for it instead of doing it in sequence. The third gym is my next one, I think, that's coming up. It might still take quite a long time before I get there, but... Especially if I keep fighting every single uh, trainer out there in the wild. Can't Bricky with a Squirtle. I mean, he could one-shot me, but I'm gonna try to see how much damage I can do with... Uh, well, yeah, like I said, he could one-shot me, and he did one-shot me. Ivysaur, help me. Help me, Ivysaur. Geodude should be able to solo the third gym. I have no idea what the third gym would be. But Razor Leaf, hello? Splort? Well, you might be fine. I was using all flying types, which made the third gym scary. I have no recollection of what the third one was. I just can't win. But you took care of my Geodude, though. Excuse me? This is a private conversation. Electric, Lieutenant Surge. Picnicker Nancy. Or should we say Nitpicker Nancy? <laughs> Come on. You re attack him. Five or six times will do. Crit. Well, three times is good enough. We'll just peck the shit out of you for the finish. We caught you. Bring in Ivy. I hate flurry attack. Yeah, I hate it too, man. Every time a Mac Flurry attacks me. This gets so full of ice cream, it's not nice. You re-attack, on the other hand. This is the first time we're seeing Pikachu in this, though. I know you can get a Pikachu from, like, uh, Viridian Forest already, but... Jeez, my timer during Pokemon was at 540 hours, and that was around 100 games. Now it's double that at 150. I wonder what time I'll hit when I eventually get to 100 games. I'm coming up to 340 right now, I think. But you have two grass Pokemon on your team. I don't know that much about Pokemon. I just go with whatever Pokemon I can get. I'm just trying to level everyone up to evolve them so I can finally get EXP share out of somewhere. And it ain't like I have another different type of Pokemon to put there. Like, I har hardly have any Pokemon right now, to be honest. I have so few that I can't really do too much with them. I would like to get a electric and water type at some point. Maybe even a fire type. Might do leave green as a little lock. No evolution. Ooh, I mean, that's something. Did I miss my attack or what happened? No, I went to sleep. That's what happened. Fast asleep and confused at the same time. Spiro is already confused. Never tried one before. You, have you done Nozlocke, though? Supposed to use the peck, but whatever. We were poisoned. Boy zoned and confused. 
I've attempted Nuzlocke before and they have not gone well. But you know so much about Pokemon that it should be pretty doable for you, right? I kind of like the idea because it makes uh, makes the game kind of like a XCOM Iron Man run. Something like that anyway. Hurt itself in its confusion. Oh, Spiro. Let's get you out of there, boyo. Let's bring in Baratata. Level 11, which doesn't make it a very viable survival for it, but we'll see. Now it's confused too. I mean, everyone will get confused as we go, so... Oh, come on now. Not giving us a very good hand at this. A level 20 Butterfree will definitely give us quite a lot of EXP for the little guys, though. Ratata woke up. Ratatata. Only so little damage. I might do better at them now than when I was a kid. Yeah, definitely. You learn new stuff when you go and... Well, like I said, you've spent quite a lot of hours on Pokemon. Your team is getting creamed. I hope that's not what's happening. I haven't tried one since early high school. Alright. Two attacks should do it. I think Ratata will stay alive. To get a little bit of EXP from this. If he doesn't hurt himself too much in confusion. So, thumbs up right now. Because if it hurts itself in confusion right now, it'll definitely die. Well, luckily, it snapped out of confusion. Come on, you can do it! You can do it! Quick attack. Here we go. Right. Butter free fainted. 342 for Spearow as well. Jesus, look at the XP from this fight. Level 12. Way to go, Ratata. Only Pokemon I played was Red, and it was Pro Oak Challenge Run for an event I never finished. I never had Red. I had Blue back in the day, and unfortunately I don't have Blue anymore, but I do have Yellow if I ever wanted to go back to the OG one. I'm really enjoying the fact that this one has uh, Gen 1 for the time being. Are my Pokemon weak, or am I just bad? What do you think? Or you're shit. You're horrible. You're awful. I attempted Professor, Professor Oak's challenge in Platinum, but I screwed up and didn't get the right trainer ID from Munchlax. I owe red. Well, uh, Ratata is gonna faint because it's poison and I don't really want to heal it right now. I'll just go. I still have Ivysaur and whatever to take care of these needingless nuggets here. Okay, I'll play. Pitnicker Isabel. GG. Professor Oak Challenge is really a grind fest. So definitely not for me then. Uh, whatever, let's just bring Ivysaur to take care of these meaningless little shits. I've heard that Razor Leaf is quite a good move. Not effective against Pidgey though. Apparently. Ooh, Pidgey's Gust is super effective against us. Look at that. Not effective, but Pidgey's still dead, so... I don't know who to listen to here. Much cast... Catch all viable Pokemon in area and evolutions before you can fight a gym leader. Oh, that is quite the challenge. I mean, areas don't have that many Pokemon in them, right? Or does it mean like both genders as well? Oh, Pidgey fainted. Another Pidgey, look at that. We do have to heal Ivysaur after this fight though, I think. There are more Pokemon than you would think. Ah, oh, yeah, then again, it is, like, later generations. So there might be many more than, like, in this game, at least. 
No need to heal him right now. I think he'll still go with that amount of health. 41 should be enough to stay alive. In this game, there are like seven evolutionary lines plus starter. For the first gym, you have to get all of them. Do you need to like get the evolve first? Evolves. Evolve forms as well. I thought you would have to only like get the Pokemon that you can get from there. Go like that. You have to get all the forms. Which means leveling some Pokemon up above level 30 on Pokemon that are level 5. Of all forms. Okay, okay. Well, that changes the situation completely then. I thought it was you only have to catch the starter forms from an area. But yeah, if you do have to, that takes ages. Yeah. Like I said, a real grind fest. I would never go for something like that. Definitely would never go for something like that. Every obtainable Pokemon before the gym. Jesus. Camper Jeff about to use Radicat. Look at that. Bring in Zubat to take a little bit of the action. The game does become pretty easy, at least with all those high level Pokemon early. People who come up with that kind of challenges must have a massive neck beard or never shower. <laughs> I have to say, I take super small amounts of showers nowadays. Like, I hardly shower twice a week. Ever since I cut my hair, and I don't see, like, the physical effect of not taking a shower anymore. I just... Don't take showers anymore. Now all I need is a neck beard and I'll be set for a life. And I should really be taking more showers, I guess. So more people could be around me. I don't know if I have a very bad scent. I always try to ask the wife if I smell like absolute dog shit, but she keeps telling me, No, I think you're okay. I think she might just be nice, though. It's like 22 or so Pokemon before you can fight Brock. Jesus. Yeah, I can't go a day without showering or my hair looks gross. That's definitely what happened to me back in the day when I used to have hair still. Like, it started matting so bad. It just looked very greasy. So that's why I was taking showers every single day. But nowadays, that that's not my issue anymore. I, like, take maybe a shower or two per week. I live the uh, renaissance days nowadays, so... I should definitely start cleaning myself up better. One day I'll be bald, though. It kind of depends. Uh, it, it, here it comes from your mom's side. Like, if your granddad from your mom's side lost his hair, you will probably lose your hair as well. At least that's what went on with me, and I hear that's an actual thing. But I think you have just good hair right now, so don't worry about it too much. I shower like every two or three days. You people know that the hair produces the grease to protect itself. Yeah, but if it looks greasy, it's not too good. I mean, the skin does the same thing, like produces the grease to protect itself. That's why you shouldn't definitely be taking like showers every morning and every evening, I guess, but whatever. I don't want to smell bad either, though. Definitely don't want to smell bad. No, like, both of my grandpas, grandpas were mostly bald, my dad is bald, and my uncles are bald. Well, definitely you'll be bald at some point, most likely then, but... Finally got to a PC, that's great. I heal my Pokemans. I have no choice. Just have to start hitting that gain early on, and then go for the plugs after. Skin and hair is different. Yeah, but I think skin also, like, uses the natural oils to protect itself a little bit. I have skin problems anywhere. A anywhere. Anyway, because I have a very dry skin. Dry and oily at the same time. The urge to battle with someone you've tangled with before. Have you ever had that urge? I'm sure you have. I wanted to battle certain people again over and over too. So I've been giving these away. Please, take one. BS Seeker. Use that device and you'll find trainers looking for a rematch. You have to charge his battery to use it though. Ain't that something? My Pokemon was poisoned. It fainted while we were walking. Shame. 
Even if they are the same level, Pokemon can have very different stats and abilities. Pokemon raised by a trainer is stronger than one in the wild. BS Seeker is a great item for grinding? Yeah, I guess so. Is it true that high, higher level Pokemon will be more powerful? Let me read this again. I completely bungled that up. It is true that a higher level Pokemon will be more powerful, but all Pokemon will have weak points against specific types, so there appears to be no universally strong Pokemon. Who wants to trade with me? Come on, trade. I'm waiting. Oh, no one. Okay, let's just go. No universally strong Pokemon. I think you know something that we don't. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? I do. Grand. I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. Slice received an old rod from the fisher guru. Fishing is a way of life. It is like the finest poetry. From, from the seas to rivers, go out and land the big one, my friend. Yeah, you get the fishing rod. I do remember that you can fish for some Pokemon, but it's like Magikarp and maybe some Star U, Star Mies, whatever. Did you see the SSN moored in the harbor? Not yet, but we do have the ticket too. We're careful about pollution here. Everyone should be careful about pollution everywhere. You've heard Grimer multiplies in toxic sludge. <laughs> I'm putting up a building on this plot of land. I own it all. My Pokemon is tamping the land to lay the foundation. There's a lot of good Pokemon you can fish. Yeah, but most of them you most likely can't get with just the old rod. Gra, 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 gra. Port of Exquisite Sunsets. Look at that. Quite the name for the town. Or quite the flavor text for the town, should I say. Hi, do you have a Spearow? Want to trade it for my Farfetch'd? Yeah, we could, but I kind of, I've kind of been leveling up the Spearow. How high up do you have to level the Spearow for it to ev evolve? Am I still far off? My Spearow is level 15. We could go and catch another Spearow, level 20. It is still a ways, but... Yeah, the leak Pokemon, exactly. I wish we had a second Spearow. We have two Pidgeys, but... Eh. You can get a good move at level 24 if you hold off the evolution, though. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be evolving at that high, though, so... Level 20, Farfetch'd. You know what? I'm tempted by the Farfetch'd. Spiro will be sent to Alyssa. Bye bye, Spiro. It's another. Oh, look at this. Cool. Why does it have the old GBA, though? Didn't this come out? Like, it even has a GBA SP in the box art. So, why do they use the old GBA for this? Sent over Chiding. Why does it have a stupid name like Chiding? It should be just far fetched. Thanks, use. Level 15, far fetched. Adamant nature, met in a trade. Peck, sand attack, and leer. I don't know, but you can't change it. <laughs> Hate that. No refunds, right, lady? You got what you got, and that's it. Pokemon Fan Club. All Pokemon welcome. Good nature for Farfetch'd, I think. Ah, oh, yeah, this game even has the natures and, like, personalities. I don't know what they actually do, but this has them. The original did not. Farfetch'd is the Pokemon that I think... No, wait, we did Psyduck in a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. You Chew. Got you. Don't you admire my Pikachu's adorable tail? Our chairman is very vocal about Pokemon. Are you the chairman? I chair the Pokemon fan club. I raise more than a hundred Pokemon. 
I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, come to visit to hear about my Pokemon. Oh, I sure did. Good. Then listen up. My favorite, Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. Don't you think so? Oh, yes. It's stunning. Kindly. Love it. Hug it. But sleeping warm and cuddly, spectacular, ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. Ooh, a bike voucher from the chairman. And we can finally get our million bike. For less than one million. Exchange that for a bicycle free of charge. Don't worry, my favorite Fioro will fly me anywhere I need to go. So I have no need for a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. Oh yeah, I broke my third pair of shoes this year yesterday. Now I have to use sandals. I have to get a new pair of shoes as well. I've just been holding on too long. The old pair I have, but I really need to buy a new one. This guy is doing things to his rapid ass that I'm too into this EV plush. That sounds kind of off. Sounds horrible. Ah, just kidding. My seal is far more attractive. I double, I would say. About to go to the store, so I reminded me that I have to dig it out. A pair of sandals, right? Vermilion Sea Pokemon Gym, leader, Lieutenant Sewage. But we can't get there because we don't have cut. So yeah, I guess you get cut from SS and then, right? This EV is relieving so much stress right now. I think Pokemon can be good or bad. It depends on the trainer. There are wicked Pokemon... <laughs> there are wicked people who will use Pokemon for criminal acts. Team Rocket traffics in rare Pokemon, for example. They also abandon Pokemon that they consider unpopular or useless. That's the sort of horrid people they are, Team Rocket. Do we have anything we should buy? Gotta get a couple of U's just for the sake of having them. The other ones we already have. I could get... Uh, wait, they don't sell regular potions? Ain't that a B. Let's buy a couple of super potions though. Where did we get that much money all of a sudden? I don't know. Potions would be nice though. Yeah, we have that nugget. Can we do anything else with it outside of just selling it? Is there an actual use for it? Notice, Route 12 may be blocked off by sleeping Pokemon. Ah oh, yeah, Snorlax is blocking some route, right? Diglett's Cave could be the place to get the HM Flash, I guess. I think we're gonna go on SSN right now, because we do need that cut, right? Yesuzan is a famous luxury cruise ship. Visits Vermilion once a year. Welcome to the SSN. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? Slice a flashed the SS ticket. Great, welcome to the SSN. Rivisaur is gonna have a field day here. Yeah, just slapping everything dead. Just have to enjoy the music for a bit. Passengers are restless from this long voyage. They might be challenged by the most bored ones. More bored ones. Bonjour! I am Le Waiter on this ship. I will be happy to serve you anything you please. Ah, Le Strong Silent Type. Le Strong Silent Type. This ship, she's a luxury liner. For the trainers of the world. At every port we hold parties with invited trainers. Barging into people's cabins like that. I've journeyed far and wide, but I've... In all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. With something like this. Snorlax. Now all of them are French? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe SSN is a French cruise liner. 
Check out what I fished up. Bonjour. Check the trash cans here. Oh yeah, there might be hidden items. That's true. The Geodude ain't gonna do well against these guys here, so let's just switch into Ivysaur and maybe hold on to Ivysaur for now. As the starter, if all of them are gonna be fish Pokemon. Then again, if we only use Ivysaur, the others are not gonna be getting any EXP, so... Maybe start out with Geodude so he gets the levels he needs, and then just do the rest with Ivysaur. Tentacool? Tentacool's evolved form, I think, is Tentacruel, right? There's some flying ground types, too. That'll be okay, though. I guess we'll just go with that. Ivysaur. Intravenosaur. B82. Super effective. Ivysaur gains some levels during this trip, most likely. Party! The cruise ship's party should be over by now. Oh no, Ernest Hemingway attacking us. Competing against the young keeps me youthful. Gentleman Brooks. And out Pikachu. Well, Geodude is definitely not going to do well here, but I'm going to try to have him use Magnitude. It is a ground attack too, so it should work very well against Pikachu, right? It should ground the Electric-type po Pokemon. Exactly. Now, just don't use an Electric attack and we'll be good. Double team. Evasion goes high. Up, I mean. Yeah. Yodu did just fine. Good levels for him, maybe. 403. Not quite a level up, but close. Good match. Ah, I feel young again. Slice. Electric has no effect on ground type. Yeah. What have you been smoking? No, I, I knew it. I knew it. But, uh... Geodude ain't ground type, right? Ain't it a rock type? Rock and ground, okay. Well, that settles it. I was looking at it, it might have been like a... Uh, onyx type. So just rock. What did we get? Star... Dust... Something star? Pretty rad... A pretty red sand with a loose silky feel. It can be sold at a high price. Alright. I was supposed to look at the trash cans here, right? There's Pokemon with just rock in Gen 1. I have no idea. I just for some reason thought they were only rock type, not rock and ground type. Ah yes, I've seen some Pokemon ferry people across the water. Like Lapras. Small trees can be chopped down using the move cut, but remember this, cut is an HM technique. Once learned, it is not so easily discarded. Up with a Pokemon mark on it. I don't think there are solid rock types in Gen 1. Okay. I don't believe I saw you at the party. You did not. Miss Lass. Dawn. Ratata. Yodo should do just fine. He was a magnitude. Hyper Fang, look at that. It's not very effective, yet cost like 8 damage. It even flinched me. Magnitude 5. Happy to have a very active chat. Thanks for that, guys. I do usually do streams where people talk a lot. Nice seeing some, somebody talking during the streams. I guess it's just because I usually don't play that interesting games. Hyperfang is a nasty move. Very fast, at least. No need to change. We'll just deal with Pikachu. 
just waiting for my phone call. What time is it there right now? Is it uh, 12.15 or 1.15? 92.9. Bye bye, Pikachu. 9.15. Okay. Ah, yeah, you're 10 hours behind us. That's right. Do you advertise the stream anywhere? Nah, not nowadays. I have like a few Discord groups that display that I'm going live, but I don't really do any Twitter things or something like that anymore. Not really. Take it easy. This is around the time I had the inter interview yesterday, but I assume it could come anywhere in the next eight hours. Pretty much, yeah. X attack. Ain't that something that like ups your attack stat or something? Raises the attack stat of a Pokemon in battle. Wears off if the Pokemon is withdrawn. Alright, so it's just a single battle thing though. Which do you find more worthy? A strong or a rare Pokemon? <laughs> Steroids! Anabolic asteroids. Gentlemen Lamar. Don't see that many white Lamars around though. Growlithe. Growlithe. I, I don't know how to say that. That's a fire type, right, though. Growlithe or Growlithe. Which one would it be? Those are useful, but not necessary. They kind of break the game if used, right? Yeah, if you, like, have tons of them, right? Growlithe or Growlithe. So Growlithe. Some of these gentlemen have really weird and powerful Pokemon. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. Set it up is extremely underrated in the casual scene. Gentleman Lamai is about to use Ponyta. I remember Ponyta. That definitely is a fire type, at least. Yeah. Oh shit, well... That shouldn't be too good for ground and rock types, though. Bye bye, Ponyta. Setting up is born. You mean like having the correct Pokemons for the battle or something? Set up. I've actually banned X items for the duration of my challenge because it gives a better challenge. Geodo up to level 23, so two levels left. Maybe it'll actually evolve finally. I kind of feel like I could have Geodude stay in the group since it's one of the highest level Pokemon I have right now. Personally, I prefer strong and rare Pokemon. <laughs> no, setting up means using X items to overpower one Pokemon in a battle so it cannot be beat. It might have to use that in the later battles against like Giovanni and whoever. Me and my daddy think the Safari Zone is awesome. Wish we could go there again. Then him up as buff in the Pokemon so it one-shots everyone in one move. We're going to the Safari Zone in Fusha City. There are many kinds of rare Pokemon. If you get a fast enough Pokemon and pump it with attack boost, you literally just win. Yeah, because you do the first moves and like one-shot them immediately. Fuck, I hate the Safari Zone. I don't remember doing the Safari Zone too much when I was playing Blue. I do remember that egg looking pokemon being there though right execute or executor or what the hell was its name captain said he's awfully sick he was all pale A wider shade of pale perhaps i hear many people get seasick even i get seasick nowadays it hasn't happened too often but i do remember being in a storm on a cruise once and got utterly seasick that's all i can say hey look at that aves here Bonjour, Slice. Imagine seeing you here. Slice, were you really invited? How's your Pokédex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas and look hard for them. The bison was such a pain in the ass again. What was the bison's name? I remember... Does it have like many heads or many tails? Or am I mistaken the one? I get horrible motion sickness. I don't get motion sickness that much, but sea sickness, yeah. I do get it if the sea is going very strong. Hey, what an asshole. Speaks French even. Smell it. Exactly. Hey, he's got a Pidgeotto too. 
Let's see how our uh, Geodude will fare against this level 19 Pidgeotto. Afy boy, Geodude, got deals. Good against flying types, then I guess. Rival Ape is about to use Charmeleon. I think I can still use Geodude because uh, very good against fire types, right? Safe against fire types. Looks like he's finally evolved his Pokemon. Oh shit, Metal Claw. I was not expecting it to use that though. Magnitude 10 will do damage to Charmeleon. Hello. Big Earth Shake. Earthquake. Bring in that EXP for Geodude. Kadabra. I think Geodude should still do well, right? Finally evolved his Abra. I see. Confusion. That might be bad, actually. No! Geodude! Oh, dude! What happened, man? Bring in Ivy. Hey, if you shit. Mises. Went all, all Yuri Geller on us. Accuracy fell. Well, of course, Vine Whip won't work then. Try again. Disable, not Vine Whip. Ah, come on, man. And of course, we can't use a different move because of that. Rud. Looks like we've passed six hours as well. Ivysaur took super effective damage from that one, unfortunately. Let's hope it stays alive. I was AFK for a while and I immediately get accused of Francing it up. Yeah, Frenching it up. God damn it, there goes Ivysaur as well. Bring in Chiding to take care of Kadabra. I could, of course, use Revive to get... Uh, Ah, oh, Ivysaur back in the fight, but let's see how we do. That ain't good. But there goes Kadabra. Hey, uh, if you're getting uh, cursed out because you're the rival in this game. So look at that, 837 for Chiding. Nice. Point Fury attack. He still has one, I think. Raticate. I think we'll have Chiding stay there. Against the level 16 Raticate. I thought it might be that. God damn it. Might be able to pull this off. Well, we still have three Pokemon, so I think we should be just fine. They're low, lower level, of course, but whatever. As long as Hyper Fang doesn't take care of us. <laughs> no! Don't do this. You ain't got any good moves, Zubat. That's bad. Use if we can't even use this. I think we're just gonna get eaten out by Hyper Fang. Uh, I kind of think I should revive, but I don't know if reviving even works too well right now. If I revive Ivysaur, he'll just get uh, Hyper Fanged as well, right? Told you it's a BS move, exactly. And we lose the revive too, which is not a good thing. And again, he has a lot of uh, health, I think, if he gets half of his health back. Like 33. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Fucking Hyper Fang, man. Geodude might be a better pick. I was kind of thinking about that, but I don't know how... Uh, how Hyper Fang works against him. I know if I heal Ivysaur right now with a f uh, high, I mean Super Potion, High Potion, whatever, he won't die even if he gets Hyper Fang, most likely. I'm gonna try that for safety. Shouldn't do 66 damage. Yeah, not at all. You got this right now. Unless Hyper Fang crits. It has to crit quite a lot, I guess. If it's gonna do that. Because it ain't super effective, so... Come on. Do this now. I don't want to lose this shit. 
I don't think we, like, die even if we lose, but we just lose the fight. Bad thing right now is that we only have Ivysaur, though. All the other ones are knocked out. We can't really do that much in the cruise anymore. Hyperfan can one-shot a rock type if it crits, even if it's not affected. Yeah, I guess. Luckily, we still won the match, but at what cost? And we even lost the revive that we had, so that kind of sucks. Player defeated rival Ave. <laughs> at least you're raising your Pokemon. Supplies got 720 for winning. I heard there was a cut master on board. He's just a seasick old man. Cut itself is really useful. Yup, it'll be handy. You should go see him too. Smell ya. Yeah. We only got one Pokemon left. Ain't that something. And I don't think you can heal them in the crew, so... We're not exactly doing very well right now. Do we have any more potions? We have one. Let's just use that for a... Uh, Ivysaur. Time to go to the Poke Center, then. Uh, I don't think there's a Poke Center on the cruise, though. Like, if we died, we'd just go out of the ship, right? Back to ground and then do the cruise again, but... There ain't a Poke Center, right? In the town, you block. Yeah, but we've already set out on cruise, right? Our captain is a sword master. He's awesome at using cut. They say he even teaches cut to Pokemon. Or are we still on land? Did we leave? I thought we already set out on cruise. Don't we set out on cruise at some point, at least? I do remember that the SS Anne sets out on a cruise at some point in the game. Nice docked here. You can't travel with the ship. Well, yeah, that could be, but I do remember that it does move, because I remember seeing some sort of a uh, cutscene about it, at least in the original. Or am I completely Mandela affected? It moves once you do a thing to a person. Well, we do have to go and get the cut if we want to take care of Surge. So let's just go back to the ship anyway. Wait, did we visit this house yet? I want to exchange mail with all sorts of people. I sent my Pidgey to a union room to exchange mail for me. Yippee, pee. see you soon. I heard Saffron has problems with Team Rocket. Vermilion appears to be safe. I'm getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Saffron in the north. Saffron, not Saffron. Go back on the ship and uh, knock some people about. Sus, sus, and. I'll go back to where I just was. Oh, wait, they even have cabins here. I didn't even realize. Slice becoming French-like. Branch. Bonjour, ça va? Très bien. Bimbon, bouillon. I'm a global police agent. I'm on the trail of Team Rocket. They're up to nothing good. Seems like a gumshoe to me. Whole family here. Everyone wants to fight now. I collected these Pokemon from all around the world. Suggested last Anne. With her Pidgey. I think a rock, rock throw won't cure, I think. All around the world, but it's Pokemon found here. There you go, Geodude. About to use Nidoran. Let's change. I pressed B. Ain't that a shame. Use Magnitude. You can get dude to 25 now. Yeah, soon enough. It's only two levels anyway, so we'll be getting there soon enough. Splort. 
24. <laughs> Player defeated last Anne. Oh no, I went on all around the world with these. I think I also use Geodude on my OG team. I love Pokemon, don't you? Youngster Talo. Uh, male Nidoran. Nothing a Geodude can't handle. Focus energy. That won't do you any good. Why are you getting pumped when you're getting magnitude, magnitude 10? That's a 10 on the Richter scale. Super effective. Me to Semity. Wow, you're great. Oh, I know. Listen, listen. Let me be your friend, okay? Then we can trade Pokemon and do stuff. They're cruising around the world. My children and I. You're getting your ass whooped around the world. You and your kids. We got Brick Break. Maybe a fighting Pokemon move. Wiggly tough, making a poo. The world cruise is so elegant and crazy. Cozy, not crazy. I always travel with my Wiggly tough. I never leave home without it. Wiggly tough is a evolved version of Jigglypuff. I I R C. Waiter, I would like a cherry pie, please. Do I look like a waiter to you? An errand boy. You insolent pup! How dare you barge in! I got the guy with his pants down, I guess. Gentleman Arthur. Hail Nidoran. Focus energy before getting slapped. Getting close, Geodude. Female Nidoran also deal with you. Scratch for one damage. That's a shame. Easy. Oh, <laughs> you rude child. You have no sense of courtesy. I had the courtesy enough of beating you up, so... I wish to be left alone. Be gone. Crazy old pervert. You look tired. Would you like to take a short rest? Uh, is she gonna steal my stuff? Oh, wait, you can actually... You can actually hear your Pokemon here. Look at that. I wouldn't even have to have gone back to the town. That's pretty cool. I am but a solitary traveler. My sole companions and friends are my Pokemon. I caught on my journeys. Shame to put them to sleep, gentlemen. Thomas. Another Growlithe. Or well, Growlithe, wasn't it? Ember? Magnitude and Nan. Getting so close. Come on, Geodude. Get it, get it. We got double, triple intimidated. Well, Lear takes our defense down, though, not attack. I think Magnitude 9 should still do it. Easily. Don't think that's gonna be enough for the level up just yet. Three, five, one. Oh, it was. Look at this. We might actually evolve. Player defeated gentleman Thomas. My, my friends. How oh, sad. A solitary adventurer, and we took care of his companions. I actually feel kind of bad about that. Geodude is evolving. Yeah, I remember that he gets more hands. Or did I just remember that Machop gets more hands? There you go. 
Your Geodude evolved into a Garebala. That's cool. Get a strong ass Graveler with us now. Ooh, high propulsion from the trash can. Look at that. Pretty cool. My buddy Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to move big rocks. A super potion. Whoa. What was the below deck called of a ship? Like the cargo bay, but there was a different word for it too. Come on then, my sailor pride's at stake. Sailor's pride is at stake. Sailor Duncan with three Pokemon, look at that. 4C. Let's hope we get to attack first. There we go. Shelder. I mean, we don't have to start with Graveler anymore. I think we should start with one of the lower level Pokemon. For the fact that they get EXP, because right now Graveler would be the only one getting them. I think we can tackle you to death. Kinda cool. Them rocks coming crashing down on ya. Could gain another level soon enough. Ain't that something? Do -do 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 -do. You know what they say about sailors and battling. I I don't think I know it, and I don't want to hear it either. Sailor, Sailor Leonard. The level 21 shelter. We'll still do this with Graveler. Might even get a level up from this fight, I guess. Icicle Spear. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a multi-attack one. I think the last time one of these did like... Three, four of them, and I got like wiped out completely because of it. Can't remember the fight though. Four, three, six. Close, but not quite. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> Wanna be a sailor, mate? I don't think. I don't think so. So uh, let's put Zubat out for a starter. Jolly nature. So it gets the EXP needs. I like fights the kids like you. Oh shit, this is the wrong room. This is definitely the wrong room. Sailor Dylan. I don't think our Zubat will fare very well against them, so. Let's switch to Ivy. Smoke screen. Is it so that Pokemon still use some sort of attacks even if they run out of all PP? It's not actually a tackle they use, but something similar. Struggle or whatever. Of course, he used Boobel. He used Struggle, I think. Isn't Struggle one of those moves that kind of like it damages you at the same time when you attack, right? Boobad grew to level 12. Cool. not change we'll try to use vine whip but thing is we don't have a lot of accuracy right now i guess so at least it hit or see fainted Arr, i lost it See Pokemon live in deep water. You'll need a rod to fish him up. Oop. 
Ooh, I haven't had ethers before. I guess those are potions that like revive your PP, right? Replenish your PP. Even us sailors have Pokemon too. Looks like it, yeah. Sailor Huey. Let's actually use Bellsprout if he stays alive. Can't be poisoned, I think. Yep. On strict. Go oh, Vine Whip. So little damage, even with Vine Whip. Look at that. What about Grove? Attack goes up. Special attack grows. Mm. Oops. Get you out of there. And a cool's attack missed, and that'll be it for you. A crit. EXP for all. Brings in a star you. I think a star you is a one shot deal with wine whip. HP is full. Good use of recover right there. Level 25 for Ivysaur. So Huey goes down. Okay, you're not bad. Got all our Pokemon while we were out at sea. Rest, okay. I have quite a few TMs, but don't really know when to use them or who to use them for, so I'm kind of holding on to them until like the later parts of the game when I actually might need to use some of them. I can't tell if you're from the seas or mountains, but stop and chat. All my Pokemon are from the sea. You're gonna whip my ass, not like stop and chat, you're gonna just whip my ass. Fisherman Barney. Yeah, get to conserve them until your team is settled. Yeah, it kind of seems like it. I kind of remember working the same way when I was doing the first playthrough, because I don't really know who I'm going to use later on. I most likely am going to teach Cut to Ivysaur. Get rid of Tackle, maybe. But if you eventually get Cut. I mean, that's how I did it in my first playthrough. I kind of think I'm going to go the same way this time around, too. Almost. Tackle for the win. Brett, do you remember when uh, Ivysaur becomes Venusaur? Is it like 35 or 36 or something like that? Thirty-two. All right, so we're only seven levels away. Look at that. Won't be soon before too long. It's a weird one. Evolves early, but ain't that like uh, the thing for the grass Pokemon? That they just—I don't know if it's they level up early or evolve early. At least that's what the game said. Yeah, for some of them. Okay. Darn, I let that one get away. Earliest starter evolution is at level 30. Which one would that be? Rockonaut Feraligator. Feraligator. Matey, you're walking the plank if you lose. You guys trying to kill us. We got horrible people on this ship. Sailor, Sailor Philip. Got a supersonic you. Infused Machop. Hit yourself, hit yourself. Not yet. Chop flinch, look at that. I don't think Zubat's gonna do a lot of damage there, so let's let's chase Ratata. We could get some 
levels for it to. We'll need to get it to uh, Radicate. Seismic Toss might kill him though. Didn't, but almost. Ivysaur, come rescue us. Seismic Toss. Better Seismic Toss than Salad Toss, I guess. Create. Job fainted. Do bad to level 13. Great. I think that's it for the downstairs. Go and heal up and then head up where we already were. We are out at sea. Jellyfish Pokemon sometimes drift by. Jellyfish reminds me of Stardew Valley. The Great Jellyfish Festival. I think it was this one, right? Yeah. Wait, there are... Have we been down here yet? I'm not sure. Let's go take a look. Pokédex at 19. We need one more to get another present, maybe from Prof. Oak. You, mon petit, we are busy here. Out of the way. Got the call, got the job. Hey! Congratulations, man. And even got the job. Didn't even go to a different interview after that. You just got the job. So, big congrats, man. That's great. Hope you have fun at the job. When does it start? Oh, that smells tasty. It, it might get the stomach growling. Ooh, got a great ball. Look at that. I saw an odd berry in the trash. I wonder what that was. Ahem, I am indeed le chef. Le main course is salmon du salad. Le guess may gripe if it's fish again, however. I'm so busy I'm getting dizzy. You have to give me room here. Snivel, sniff. I only get to peel onions. Snivel, sniff. Chesto berry. Did you hear about Snorlax? It's a glutton. No other Pokemon eats and sleeps the way Snorlax can and does. Cherry berry. Named after our cat. Cherry. Our cat is actually named Mon Cherry. Hum de hum. Hum de ho. It peels spuds every day. Becca berry. I still don't know if it's Pekka Berry or Pecha Berry. Go back upstairs. Uh, I think we were starting to go here last time, so let's check this area out. Talk to this guy. Oh, is it the way to the captain, though? This is the deck. It ain't the captain yet. Ahoy there. Are you seasick? Or it could be if the captain was seasick. Maybe he's here. Instead of being up on the bridge. Sailor Trevor would like to battle since of the chop. Too bad didn't do too well last time. Let's just go for Ivysaur straight away. Neat little crit right there. Then a cool up next. Out of the starter Pokemon, which is the best of them? Like the most powerful once you level them up enough. I kind of remember it to be Blastoise, but I could be wrong about that. I just remember getting a ton of shit for using Bulbasaur as the starter. I was just careless. My pa said there are 100, ty 100 kinds of Pokemon. I think there are more. In 151, the uh, absolute amount, the first gen. Hey, matey, let's do a little jig. I 
Taylor Edmund. Just Machop and Fish Pokemon here. All around. Nah, wasn't supposed to use Tackle, but whatever. A low kick. Look at that. Very violent Pokemons, those Machops. Level 26 for Ivysaur. Ike. Shelder. Nothing a good old Blind Whip won't deal with. Let's do the old Titanic thing. Titanic. Whew, scrubbing decks is hard work. Oh, I feel ill. I got seasick, so I stepped out to get some fresh air. Alright, just a few fights here, looks like. That's it for this area. I think what's left is to go to the Cap'n. Cap'n? Might still be a little bit of... Uh, checking around we have to do, though. Not gonna go and heal right now, we're just gonna get her head upstairs. Which might be the bridge already. And it is. How to conquer seasickness. The captain's reading this. Yuck, shouldn't have looked. Yeah, definitely shouldn't. Ugh, I feel hideous. Seasick. Please rub the captain's back. <laughs> rub, 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 rub. Whew, thank you. I'm feeling much better now. Want to see my hidden cut technique? I could show you my price cut technique if I weren't so ill. I know, you can have this. Hidden machine. Each cut your Pokemon and you can see it cut anytime. There we go, we finally got cut. I think cut stays, like it's not a one use item. Using cut, you can chop down small trees. Why not try it with the trees around Vermilion City? Wait, can we speak to you more? Whew. Now that I'm not sick anymore, I guess it's time. The SS animals set sail soon. Very well, until I return to Vermilion City. Yeah, we'll teach Cut to uh, Bulbasaur immediately. Therefore, we can start using it. Oh, we got a few Pokemon able to use it. Look at that. Yeah. Get rid of... Uh, tackle. Poof. I just sort of forgot tackle. And machine set. A disc on its head. Look at that. They read CDs themselves. Ivy sort alert cut. Basic attack, but it can be used to cut down thin trees and grass. We could teach it to the other ones as well. And why would we not? Because, like... No, wait. Was it so that cuts cannot be forgotten? HMs. So you're kind of set with them if you uh, put them into the Pokemon. Maybe not teach it to anyone right now then. And now we see the SSN set in sale. Like I remembered. You need to go to a special person to have them unlearn the HMs. Was it the Pokemon Master or something like that? That can teach them. Or have them unlearn the moves. We're gonna go heal our Pokemon and go for Lieutenant Sewage. But you can unlearn them on the fly because that would sometimes make you stuck. Can't unlearn them on the fly, I guess. Yeah. How's our team looking? 
We're only gonna be using Ivysaur and Geodude, most likely. No Graveler, I mean. But I could start with the other guys, like Zubat right there, so we get a little bit of EXP for them. For the starters. Let's cut it. Oh, Ivysaur, look at that. Bush got cut. Time for Pokemon Gym number three. Save before we head in. Yo, champ in the making. Lieutenant Surge has a nickname. People refer to him as the Lightning American. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Bird and water type Pokemon match poorly against the electric type. Um, beware of paralysis too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. He locked himself in, so it won't be get easy getting to him. The trash here. Hey, there's a switch out of the trash. Turn it on. First electric lock opened. Ah, okay, so you have to do it in uh, succession. This is no place for kids, not even if you're good. Sailor Dwayne. Level 21 Pikachu, look at that. Putting Graveler. Oh wait, let's just go with Ivy because we don't really need to level Graveler up too much. Although we might want to keep him in the team though, so why not? Daba team. Slap. Static paralyzed Ivysaur, look at that. Wasn't expecting something like that. Riot. 184, 184. Another Pikachu. Let's just have Ivysaur stay there. Bye bye, Pikachu. E69. There we go. Gonna use Paralyze Heal, but I think. Doesn't Paralyze go away by itself, too? You open the first lock, the second lock is right next to it. So if it was this one we used, isn't this one gonna be... Ah, okay, okay. Right next to it, so is it on the same row? I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. That's why I joined this gym. Engineer Bailey sent out Voltorb. Whatever, let's get Graveler some levels too. Because he's gonna stay here, I guess. Zubat might get a level up from that fight. Very good for us. Tackle him. Screech. Defense harshly fell. Look at that. Graveler would even get a level up himself too, I guess. Zubat to level 14. Good. Yes. Graveler to level 26. Magnemite. We'll stay with Graveler. What was the name of Magnemite's vault form? The one with the three Magnemites. Is it Magneton? Oh no. Graveler became confused. Only need to tackle him once and that'll be it. There we go. Not very effective, yet it kills Magnemites. Engineer Bailey done. Right. All right, so Surge is behind that wall. We still have to fight this nugget right here. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict CO. He was a hard taskmaster. But whoop de doo Gentleman Tucker would like to battle. 
sending out his Pikachu. He'll have a paralyzed Ivysaur. Graveler ain't. That's good. After this, we'll go back to the Poke Center and heal our dudes. And then see about those locks and take on Lieutenant Surge. Surge. Level 8 magnitude. Sorry, Chu. Gentleman Taka. Stop, you're very good. Alright. Let's go heal our dude Arenos and come back. Lord. Good. Then head back. Slap Luton and Sarge around a little. So the locks we have to do first now. So if it's this, wait, what? Can we check all of them already? Ah, wait, it's not about levels. Okay, that's how it works. It's the grid altogether. So the one should be right next to it then. Okay, I accidentally pressed it twice. Fine. Where are you now? He said it should be right next to it, if you find it. Switch under the trash. Let's check the one on the right. That wasn't it. I wonder if there's like a set pattern to them. Because this might kill speedruns right here if you don't know what to click. So depending on the one you find first, do you know what where it's going to be next after, or how does it work? Ah, oh, double clicked it again. How stupid am I? Okay, so first lock right there. Let's check the one on the right. Come on. We're going to be here for the rest of the playthrough. Okay, so let's check the one on the left now. Come on! What the hell, game? Look at that, we got it. Motorized door opened. Got it that time around. Alright, time to take on Lieutenant Surge. Hey kid, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, not with your puny power. I'll tell you kid, electric Pokemon saved me in the war. They zap my enemies into paralysis. I'll do the fucking same to you. Lieutenant Leader Surge. Then an now Voltorb. Dubat gets the starter EXP from the fight. Ravler taking care of the rest. Shack Wave. Doesn't affect Graveler. Look at that. Partially fell. Scream too loud, Voltorb. Stones came loose from the ceiling. Too bad to level 15. Nice. Got you. Stay there, Graveler. Magnitude. Enough to kill him. Raveler might even get a. Uh, ooh, Raichu, look at that. Might even get a level from killing Raichu here. 
24. That's kind of a leveled up right shoe right there. Magnitude 8 should do a good amount of damage though, if not kill him straight off. And it did. Bye bye. What about the EXP? 627, that's a level. Level 27 Graveler. That was an easy gym. Player defeated leader Lieutenant Surge. Now that's a Shaka. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then, take the Thunder Badge. Well, he's got 2400 for winning. Thunderbratch cranks up your Pokemon speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly lightning quick anytime, kid. You're special, kid. Take this. Team 34 from Lieutenant Surge. Shockwave. Teach it to an electric Pokemon. A little word of advice, kid. Electricity is sure powerful, but useless against ground type Pokemon. Pretty much. Good. That's the third gym taken down. Five left, so we're still very early in the whole playthrough. Put a Poke Center, the PC, if you will. Heal them Pokemon back to health. Like I said before, this game really picks up in mid game. Yeah, it starts going a lot faster maybe when we're like leveled, leveled up and whatnot. Or a save file. This time we'll do that hard save, so... Let's save the game. I'll make our soft saves as well. And... Cut it there. 3, 2, 1, go. Six thirty-five in. Did we only play for two hours last time? Oh, hey. I thought we played way more than that. Must have been two hours or three. Departed from SS and for the next destination. Did not really do that though. The gym in Vermilion City was full of tough trainers. Preparations had to be made. Took on Vermilion City gym leader Lieutenant Searches. Raichu with Graveler and blah 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 blah. Departed the gym in Vermilion City. Let's save the game at this location. Great. All right, three gems down. We're just gonna head forward in the game. Not gonna do any. Should we get rid of Farfetched? Maybe. I think we need to change Farfetched to something different. If you want to level our Pokemon up. So, uh, deposit. Farfetch'd, or Chiding, as he's known, apparently. We'll withdraw a different one. Uh, who am I gonna go with? Well, the only one I really can level up, I guess, would be Ratata. Did we have a higher level Ratata, though? Maybe it's already in the group. So, let's pick up Paras. Ross. Uh, Paul Prof Oak. Sure, let's read it. 19 old. I thought it was 20, that's why I call him. Still haven't gotten the Flash HM. I kind of feel like I know where it might be. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for it. Right, the SSN has departed. She'll be back in Vermilion about this time next year. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot we have to do here, or it can even do. Let's just continue without Trek. We'll go this way. And I think if we go here to Diglett's Cave, I kind of feel like this would be where we get the Flash HM from. Well, isn't this a surprise? Diglett dug this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City, they tell me. I feel like if we go from here, we would get to the AIDS, probably. I'm not sure if we need the Flash to get through. I guess we just have to go through to get there. Wild Duck Trio. Then again, level 29 Pokemon. I don't think that's going to be very good. 
for us to be here in that case. This will most likely kill Zubat straight off. Ooh, didn't, but quite. Quite almost did. Lots of GBA to go around today. Hey, Brett. Yeah, I saw you in uh, Gonza's stream. I'm gonna change to Ivysaur. Let's see if we can deal with the Dog Trio because that'll be a ton of EXP, if nothing else. Accuracy fell. Let's see how much we damage this little Dog Trio combo here. Trapped by Sand Tomb. All right, we can definitely kill him before we die ourselves. I think. Yeah, easily. But not gonna go through here then. We're gonna go back, uh, heal, and then continue to the right. I think that should maybe take us to the Snorlax who was blocking the route. Something like that, anyway. And maybe we'll find our way to the next city as well. Right, hit it. That should be it. We could have, of course, tried to catch Dog Trio. Maybe should have. Only 360? <laughs> I thought we would have, be, would have gotten a lot more EXP from that fight, but apparently no. Anyway, forget about Diglett's Cave for now. Awakening, look at that. Let's just, uh, let's get healed. Did you just get Flash? No, I was about to. I, I'm i pretty sure that that path uh, gets you to Flash, right? But I'm not too interested about fighting level 29 Pokemon to get it. If I don't need it anyway. Like, is Flash super necessary or is it really optional, optional? Can I get by without getting Flash? If I don't know the Dark Caves or anything like that. You're going to want it if you've never seen that cave. Well, in that case, it kind of sounds like I should go then. I mean, I could just run from the fights, right? I guess I can just run from the fights. Then again, if it's just a Diglett, I think I'll be okay. This one we could actually try to grab. Like, you could look up a map online, but if you wanted to do it without, it makes that cave hell to get through. Ah, okay, so that kind, kind of sounds like we should go and uh, get the Flash HM in that case. Hope you don't die from one Vine Whip. Let's... If our attack fail, most likely it won't. God damn it. Of course it did. Try to catch me one of those if we happen to be another one of them. Maybe try Razor Leaf next time. Maybe that won't kill it straight off. This is level 22 as well, so... Better do it with Razor Leaf in that case. I mean, maybe a, uh, maybe a Vine Whip wouldn't kill it altogether either. But we'll try and see how much damage Razor Leaf does. Splort. Come on. I'm trying to have one of these guys stay alive. I guess I should tackle them in that case then. Would be the 20th Pokemon we catch, to be honest. Alright, so I guess we're going the tackle route then. Zubat, that's enough. Magnitude 7. We do not have tackle, we have cut. Let's hope cut doesn't kill him. All right, two cuts and then try to catch it. I think that'll be, oh shit, level 10 magnitude. Come on. Fuck that, Braveler. Just have to do it without Ivy for now then, I guess. Well, now let's try to tackle him. Well, of course we can since it dug 
dug itself under. Fablers, attack missed. Whoop de doo. Self destruct. You know what? Let's use magnitude, see how much that damages it. Of course it kills it. This is going like shit to be honest, but let's just keep going. Let's keep running into the crap. It's hell living in Finland right now. It's been like a massive heat wave for the past week or two. And it ain't the heat altogether, it's the humidity that's getting to everyone. Like I'm sweating like crazy all of the time. Same as I, I'm sweating right now. Hey, hey, it's a bit hit. Indeed. Your apartment, your apartment must be horrible as well right now. Seeing as how hot it normally gets. And then you add this on top of that. Jesus. Can we maybe even get something there? No. Alright, level 17, Diglett. Looks like we're gonna be tackling you. Don't wanna use... Uh, magnitude or Earthquake or what was it? I forget the name. Magnitude. Yeah, it is Magnitude. It's most likely that I'll just end up killing the Diglett. Straight off. Well, this'll, this'll end up killing me, apparently. Like I said, this is going on... Horrible right now. This is going very, very, very bad. Can't seem to be pulling off anything I tried today. I sleep on top of my blanket so I don't drown in the night. <laughs> I tried to do it as well, but not sure how well it works. I mean, I can sleep just fine, to be honest. I even have the uh, tower fan right next to the bed that I usually just use before I go to bed. If I, before I fall asleep. Maybe that's more aptly put. Let's try to attack you with... Uh, well, the, not the zoo bat. Let's try the bell sprout. Huh? Paul Diglett's arena trap prevents. Boy, me to the bat. <clears throat> yeah, this is going just great today. Like anything I've been trying to pull off for the past ten minutes has gone to shit, and this will just kill the Diglett. So, can't seem to be catching this one either. Be back, got a shower. That's right, taking showers at seven p.m. just to sweat a little bit more. Right, so maybe this tackle will hurt it just enough that we can try to catch it with the Pokeball. Let's see. Eh? Attack fell. Attack fell again. This most likely won't help our catching it, but let's see. Actually, yeah, I think that's close enough. It's not on red, but close to it, so this might work. Let's hope. Thumbs up. There we go. Got it. Digurit was caught. This is what turns into an onyx? Did I just see that correctly? Diglett to Duck Trio to onyx? Or did I just see something wrong? What the hey? Lives about one yard underground where it feeds on plant roots. It sometimes appears above ground. No way off. Yeah, I, for some reason, like, some reason you do see Pokemon. Or is it that we've seen those Pokemon before and we have them in the decks? That's why it showed Duck Trio, Diglett, and Onyx. Sometimes they just happen to be on the same page. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what it is then. Okay, now I understand. Now I understand. Yeah, I was kind of like, no, I don't think a dog trio evolves into a Onyx, so what the hell, but... I didn't want to call it out straight away. Fire Red and Leaf Green Pokedex is weird. Looks like it, anyway. Ah, uh, Brett Ghost, any idea when Zubat evolves into... 
Obat. Which level? The magnitude match. Don't remember? You don't remember? Something about Pokemon? How can that be? Above 20, I'm sure. Okay. Something like that. No one uses Zubat. Why not? Ain't Zubat the greatest? Greatest out of all of them. He can screech, you know. He can even bite. Bite. See how much damage bite pulls off. Not a lot. Graveler, save me. I'm starting to think that this whole place was a bad mistake. I actually think I used the wrong attack as well. Horrorettu. Perjantailan Pokemon sit. Ei ollut tänään Toni Haukkapäivä vissi. I would not like to use a super potion here since I only have a few more, but... Ah, we made it. We, did we come to China? Not being racist or anything, but that's a stereotype right there. I went inside Rock Tunnel, but it's pitch black and scary in there. If I could get a Pokemon to use Flash and light it up... Uilipäivä. Hyvä ottaa niitäkin. Taitaa sielläkin olla aika pikkasen lämmiä koste. Täällä on ihan helvettiä tää mun kämpäs tällä hetkellä. Tai meidän kämpäs. Fainted Pokemon just has no energy left to battle. You can still move, use moves like cut outside of battle. Oh, that I did not know, actually. I'm looking for the Pokemon Abra. Want to trade for my Mr. Mime? I don't think we have Abra. But should we get one, we could always come here for the trade. If we cut this, we can get to the Poke Center. Uh, I think it was up if we want to go to Viridian, right? Must have been. No, Pewter. Not Viridian, but Pewter City. So, uh, Bread. Who do we go for getting Flash? Do we actually have to go all the way back to Pallet Town to get it? Pokemon at full health, that's good. No, you were very close to it a moment ago. Ah, okay, so we just go south from where I was, I guess. But, uh, was it this? No, it was actually the, uh... The uh, second city from the start. If I look, take a look at the map. Uh, not Palette. So Viridian. Viridian is where you have to got the bush to get to Victory Road, I guess. But that's very late on into the game. And uh what else? There was also some sort of an item behind a bush that you have to cut, I think. But I guess I can also get that when I go back. Later on in the game. Don't need to go there right now. Once a Pokemon learns Flash, you can get through Rug Tunnel. There he is. There we go. Ah, oh, remember me. I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. Your Pokedex has complete data on 10 species. I'm supposed to give you a reward. Professor Oak entrusted me with HM05 for you. So Slash, let me ask you. Have you gathered data on at least 10 kinds of Pokemon? Yes. You've caught our own 20 kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations, here you go. In move Flash. Flash lights up even the darkest caves and dungeons. We have 20 right now. I guess I could call Professor Oak again. See if we can get another reward. Not sure if that's possible, but it could be. Paralyze heal. Where does this go? Oh wait, this is just the other side of... yeah. Well, let's check down here. Well, it just goes to the same place anyway. But right now we're close to where I was... ...talking about that one item being in, so I guess we could also go and take it. 
It's like right here, this one. <laughs> it was just a potion, okay, look at that. What about something else? Well, this just goes to Victory Road, where we can't even go right now, so... Forget about that, let's just continue with the game. Uh, anything else I should be doing here? I don't think. I guess we'll just have to go back through the Diglett Tunnel. And then continue on to where Snorlax was. And then I have to keep an eye open for different spots of grass. Different looking grass if I want to catch those berries. We did already catch a few of them. Or get a few of them, but... All, if I want to go for that one mini game that was supposedly a mashing mini game, I'd have to go back to uh, where Misty was, that place. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Back in Dicklet's cave. Don't know how I would teach Flash Two. And it's so that you cannot forget HM moves. So you kind of have to think about who to give it to. Someone I most likely would not be using that much, to be honest. Like Zubat, I guess I could forget one of his moves and just teach it to him. Depending on if he can use Flash at all or not. That hole digging won't do you a lot of good, Diglett. It must also be the shirt that I'm wearing, like, this isn't breathing at all. I have to get better clothes to manage this heat. It would be cool to catch the Dog Trio as well, now that we've seen it. Then again, that was the only one, only one time that we saw it. After that, everything's been just diglet, diglet, diglet. I think we got it down to a low amount of health, too. Oh shit, magnitude 10? No, 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 no. Ooh, close. Uh, he won't stay alive, I have to change to Ivysaur. And I hope Ivysaur doesn't get fucked. Well, not with Scratch, he won't. Only magnitude 4, we should be good. Should be good, lost like free HP or something. Super effective. Fortnite Dragon Ball Adventure. Thank you for that, Epic. I was kind of excited to see Doom 64 for free on Epic. I kind of want to get it, but I also checked that it's about 10 hours that it takes to beat. I'm not looking for any 10 hour beats right now. And again, I do think I would be playing it later on, so I might just pick it up. And uh, also, in the eShop for Switch, I, show, I saw that uh, there was a big discount on The Darkest Dungeon. That one I do want to get. Definitely. I've been meaning to get it for quite some time and now it's like the biggest discount that it's ever had. It's like eleven eighty nine for the complete edition. I've never played the game, but I've heard from friends that it's pretty good. I'm kind of looking for something. Something good turn-based to play on the Switch. I definitely want to get that. They also have a sale going on for Cuphead. Uh, with the DLC. That's something I want to get to. I played through Cophead, but not the DLC. Very much would like to do so. Fuck. supposed to go to a medieval fair tomorrow about a hundred kilometers from here 
Darkest Dungeon seems like a really cool game. Yeah, same to me. That's why I want to get it. Well, not, I'm, I'm not too interested about, like, what the game represents or anything like that, but just mechanically, I'd want to get it. Hey, hey, Kumi Handu. Happy Friday to you. Are you dying in this heat as well? I'm dying in this fucking heat. <laughs> Thanks, man, but I got work tomorrow. Oh, shit. She's neat. You don't want misery and grief for all? Yeah, I don't think that's how I look at life anyway, so... I don't think that's exactly what I'm looking from the game, but from what I hear, at least you said that it was pretty good. But again, you play games like Neon White, which I would never touch with a long stick. So who am I to say whether or not I believe you play good games? Crispy28 in my room. I actually have to check what our meter says. Crisp 28.8 in my room. Fuck! Oh. Die in here. Nice Hundo. Also, hi Hundo. <laughs> the hand. The hand ain't bullshitting. Alright, flash, get. Now let's go back and heal for free. Actually, I think I should maybe pick up some potions from the Mart. Unfortunately, these guys only sell high potions. Or super potions. I guess we have the money for him too. Let's get 11. For the hell of it. I think the other stuff we already have. Except for repel. I don't think we'll be using, I guess. Ah, shit. Also remember to call Oak. If he has any... Uh, new rewards for us. Let's take a look. Hope to see you again. That ain't what a hospital is supposed to say, though. Off Oak's PC. Yes, rate my Pokemon. Pokédex. Could use a bit of more volume still. Alright, didn't give us shit this time. But we're only missing 30 more Pokémon for that EXP share. No worries and no hurries. Right. Uh, well, save. First off. Fight these trainers. Let's go, but don't cheat. I'm gonna use my missing no against you, youngster Eddie, with your icons. What's in your team? Just bullshit. I don't really pay attention to who's in my team, to be honest. I'm just trying to level the low level Pokemon so I can evolve them to get more entries for the Pokedex. The only guys that matter here are Ivysaur and Graveler, I think. Graveler or Graveler. I used to call it Graveler. At least Paras is Paras, pretty much, yeah. I used to call it Graveler when I was a kid. I guess it could be Graveler, but I think Graveler would be the real way of saying it. Because it is gravel, right? Nothing to do with graves. I did my best. I have no regrets. No rugrats. Okay, old coot. Win, lose, or draw. Can't really draw Pokemon matches, can you? Wait, you can kind of like double KO them, right? Do you know how Grailer evolves? I think someone said that you'd need to trade. To get the third form. Gamer Hugo. That's an old ass gamer right there. With a polywag. 
But you can draw a gun. Exactly. Call an ambulance. Not for me, but for you. Not very effective. Sorry, Poliwag. Someone was looking for a poly world to trade for a Jinx, I think. Wasn't that the deal? About to use Horsey. Let's just go with Ivy so we can get through the fight. Slap! Why did the five fingers say to the face? Atcha! Didn't go my way. Or was it Acha? Pokemon is life, and to live is to play games. Well, no bullshit right there. Watch out for live wires. There's all sort of life instructions here from Engineer Bernie. Is it Bernie Mac, perhaps? By any chance? Come on, Gravela. Fuck this Magnemite up. Don't get confused. Of course you got confused. Seeing all these rubber duckies. Sonic Boom! Shit, that ain't good. I don't think the... if he Even if he uses Sonic Boom, it ain't gonna kill us. So let's just try to throw rocks at him. Then again, if we... Yeah, if we hurt ourselves, and if it then uses Sonic Boom, like that, then we're dead. Oh, we're not? Look at that. One health left. Self-destruct like a man. I wonder if I still have time to do so. Let's try. Come on, just self-destruct. Oh, look at that. It worked. Eck, eck, eck. Not very effective, yet he gets killed. Look at that. Perfect strat. Outside of the fact that now we have a collapsed Graveler. Good try, though. Life lessons with rubber hand. self destruct like a real man. If we cut you. Misses? Fine. Thunder shock. Cut you up like a little bitch. What's inside this Magnemite? Let's take a look. Got destroyed. Manaton. Okay, look at that. That's the three Magnemites. Yeah. Ivysaur definitely the one to be fighting these with, but whatever. It's the highest level one we have, so why not? Let's try to steal his Pokemon. Just throw a Pokeball at him. There we go. Bye-bye, Magneton. 621. Ooh, look at that. Engineer Bernie got defeated. Whoa, you spark plug! Better get back to work. Competition, I it, I can't get enough. We don't really have to fight all of these old coots, but that's just what we're doing right now. Bell Spruit. I guess I shouldn't be complaining about it being so fucking hot all the time because it's gonna be very cold soon enough. Like it usually is during winter. Shouldn't cut be like super devastating against the bell sprout. We just cut its head off and that's that. I'll just grow a new one though. Try to fucking hit with the attack. What's the accuracy of that one?
There we go. That actually worked like a dream. Look at that. Too bad grew to level 18. Great. Ivy might get a level up as well. We don't have to change Pokemon. No. Nope. Gamer Jasper and his Oddish. Pretty good. Sleep powder didn't work. Ugh, can't wait for winter. Carrying a sofa, sweating my ass off, then going outside and freezing. Good times, good times. Ivysaur level 28, great. Clear defeated gamer Jasper. I had a chance. What's the ball got? X defend. Right. Oh, how nice. What do we have here? Drowsy. To try to catch it, I guess. Uh, let's try to bite you, see how much damage that does. A good amount, I think. If Confusion doesn't finish us off, it definitely will. Fuck that. We'll change to Ratata. See if we can fair. And I want to catch this drowsy. That's good. Hit. Fuck off. Don't use confusion, please. Don't kill Ratata. Uh. Well, I guess we're gonna try a Pokeball right now. It's still yellow, so it might not work, but what do I know? Let's take a look. <laughs> Hypno is a pretty cool Pokemon. You know, you mean a Hypno type or an actual Hypno? I'm not sure if I've ever seen a Hypno. Ratata is already asleep. Wake up, little Ratatou. Oh, wait. It was from Drowsy. Ah, okay. Oh, wait. I actually think I might know the Pokemon. Yes, now we should be able to catch it, definitely. And Ratata would even stay alive, I guess. Get it! Get it! There we go! Another one caught. Puts enemies to sleep, then eats their dreams. Occasionally gets sick from eating only bad dreams. Ah, oh, yeah, it's uh. What is it? You put them to sleep, and then is it nightmare you use? Or dream eater? Is that a skill? I just became a trainer, but I think I can win. I'm just gonna make a quick trip back to the Poke Center. Heal my dude Arenos. So you in true? Yeah, capasta, Aiden. Sad true. Defense coil. That won't help you in the long run. Yeah, it's Dream Eater. Is it the ghost Pokemon that uses it? I forget the name. It's the bad guy in... Uh, the bad guy in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. What the fuck was the Gengar. Gengar is the name. I think he uses Dream Eater, right? Ghastly Haunter Gengar has it. Yeah, something like that. Something I actually remembered. Leech Leaf. Razor Leaf will finish you off. That's the fight. What now? Leave me alone! What a, what an angsty teenager right there. Bad loser. Bad loser, horrible winner. We do need to buy some more Pokeballs since we're running out of those. It's Pokeball. We'll get 11 of use. I think that'll be good for the start. Forty minutes behind and we've hardly gotten anywhere today. I guess we got Flash, HM, 
But we got something. I think I'm gonna keep this rather short today. Still. At least gonna try to do the next gym, though. Wherever it might be. That would be gym number four, which would put us kinda halfway through the game, I think. Let's fight this idiot. I raised my Pokemon carefully. They should be ready by now. Ready to die. Youngster Dave. Male Nidoran. Nice to be sitting three hours in a car tomorrow going to Hamelina for the medieval fair. Classic Pokemon. Today I'm gonna make a lot of progress. Then three hours later you're just grinding levels. <laughs> Sounds like it, I guess. I hate grinding. Nidorino? I think that's the first Nidorino we've seen. Might be wrong about that, but I'm not sure. I think it is the first one we've seen so far. Funny that they still have to display the name as Nidorino male. There are no female Nidorinos. Traveler hurt by poison. Look at that. Better to do it now than later. I had to grind three hours before the Elite Four because I rushed through the game with a full party. Sounds like something I would have done too, as well. Back when I was playing this as a kid, anyway. Yeah, I better go find some better ones. Oh shit, let's uh. Do they sell swords or something in there, by the way? I'm fairly sure they do. Like, decorational sword. And buffer weapons, most likely. I have a friend who actually works as a... Uh, merchant in there, I think. He's been doing it for a few years now. Went crazy with the whole Viking thing, anyway. I was like 20 levels under-leveled. I was still under-leveled, but when I won... I was still under level when I won, but healing items OP. Yeah, I mean, like having X potions and whatnot, I guess that would work too. Gamer Dirk. Is that Dirk Diggler? I must have had some trouble with uh, uh, the Elite Four when I was first playing this. We'll have to see how it goes this time around. I mean, to beat the game, we have to beat the Elite Four, right? Because only after Elite Four do we fight uh, the rival for the last time, right? At least that's how I remember it. It ain't like after Giovanni that we fight. It took me a long time before I finally beat a Pokemon game. You need to beat the champion, yeah. So Ape is going to be the champion then. Congratulations, Eighth. Got you a championship. Raise a leaf. Good job, me. Yeah, pat yourself on the sweaty ass back. You can throw it. Uh, you can turn it around. Use a judo move on it, and use the uh, good old super bad Jonah Hill trick. Well, actually, my back is located on my dick, so I have to pat myself somewhere else. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Well, that's funny. My back's located on my dick. My first loss. Oh, sorry, gamer. Got you that there loss, didn't I? We were just lucky, that's all. All right, we got two great balls. And even in the game, woohoo. Hey, I just remembered that we could have gone back to that other city to get the bicycle, but I guess we'll do without it for now. Maybe when we learn fly at some point, we can go back and get it. 
If you're aiming to reach Lavender Town, take Rock Tunnel. You can get to Rock Tunnel from Cerulean City. Hehe, <laughs> bulls. Don't you think it's hard to Don't you think it's hard to think of good names for Pokémon, especially when especially if you've caught a whole bunch. Lavender Town, there's a man who rates Pokémon nicknames. He can even help you rename your Pokémon too. I can hardly read anything in this heat. I can Figure out more excuses, but that's what it is right now. Hi, remember me. I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If your Pokédex has complete data on 30 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. The item finder. I do not have 30 Pokémon data just yet. But we, we will get the item finder later, I guess. I'm looking for the Pokémon Nidorina. Wanna trade for my Nidorino? We don't even have a Nidoran. We won't be doing such things. What was it? From Cerulean City to Rock Tunnel to Lavender Town. But Cerulean is all the way over there. From Mount so we've been to Cerulean and from there we would go to... I guess we have to make a trip back then. Look at that. Yeah, because it's Nordlax is right here. Fuck me. A Pokemon is sprawled out in a deep and comfortable slumber. I do not remember how you wake him up, but apparently this was just a... Uh, missed trip. A detour we took. So let's just walk all the way back to... I guess we'll get the bike right now then anyway. We're gonna walk all the way back to Cerulean. To get to Rock Tunnel. I guess for Rock Tunnel we need the Flash HM anyway, so... Good that we have it right now. So not a complete detour. Oh yeah, and Gilga actually gave me, Gilgatex, who is another challenger, gave me a complete list of released games in Europe, like UKV and, uh, wait, have I been there? Cerulean City, we can use this one to get there, but that way we would not get the bike. Fuck it. Uh, what was I saying? Complete list of the released games in Europe, because I did not take UKV releases into Notion. I have to, like, add a lot of games into my list. So we're gonna grow the list by at least 20 to 30 titles, I guess. Not sure if we left someone in the Poke Center. We might have, but no reason getting them from there just yet, I guess. Yeah, I have to add a lot of games into it. There was a lot of games as well that I'm not gonna play because they didn't have a uh, ending to them or any sort of a goal. So I'm not gonna add all of them. And we got lightning. We got lightning and thunder. Let's hope the stream stays up. Bike voucher? Okay, here you go. Change the bike voucher for a bicycle. Don't have to pay that one mil for the bike now. Ain't that something. I guess we have to register that to select first. Oop. Register. Don't the bike have a great tune? Yeah, listen to this. For some reason, he reminds me of Peter Griffin when he's riding the bike, though. The rock tunnel was where we were going. I guess it would be... Uh, to the right? Yeah, to the right. So I guess we're gonna be going from here then. Their apartment is still a mess. This way, cut that tree down.
Fight all these trainers. Yeah, Pokemon with you. You're mine. We got caught. A picnicker Alicia with her three, four Pokemon. Look at that. Very fine. That should work just fine on them. They're dead. Alicia's gonna lock you in her basement. Alicia Fritzel. We're gonna get compushed. Or should you say Natasha? I don't know which would be better. Both sound bad enough. Bell Sprout will just stay with Ivysaur. If we can get past the paralysis, Pokemon, not even once. If we can get past the paralysis, I think we should be good. Like we did. Still paralyzed, so we could miss some attacks, but don't want to use a paralyzed heal right now. And again, the par paralysis stays if we don't get rid of it. Let's just get rid of it after the fight, I guess. Come on, Ivy. You can do it! Ah, oh, shit. We can't do anything right now. I guess we're gonna get past the paralysis then. With paralyzed heal. I just hate having to use the status items because you can get paralyzed again. Freed from the wrap. Look at that. There we go. Fuck you, Bell Sprout. Oddish. No reason to change. Cut the shit out of ya. Ave, what are you streaming tomorrow? You got past dead cells, right? Didn't you? Hopefully it won't wrap us. Try to use sleep powder. Does it work though? Of course it does. And it just wraps us, of course. We'll get paralyzed though. See if we'll get up before we die. Growing pains for Bell Sprout. Come on, Ivy. This has been a shit fight. Of course, not the problem of the or not the reason of the fighter. Just the Pokemon. They can't do it. There we go. Fuck you, Bell Sprout. Disappear from 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 my eyes, not the front of my eyes, but whatever. Twenty nine, Ivy, trying to learn sweet scent. Eh, but we'd have to get rid of sleep powder if we want sweet scent. But what was it? Lures the foe to reduce evasiveness. Also attracts wild Pokemon. Nah, not gonna learn that. I was gonna keep playing Dead Cells until I get a hard mode beat, but I'm not sure how much time I have to play tomorrow. Ah, oh, yeah, because you're going to. You're going to your sisters, that's right. EM40, Aerial Ace. Babysitting job, yeah! Your dad's coming with you too, with that fucked up leg of his, or ankle. Iker Jeremy. Chop. Boom and thunder outside. Not a lot of clouds around, but it was like 100% sure we're gonna get thunder with how the weather's been anyway. Lightning and a thunder. 
if you will. I haven't seen an Onyx for a while. The Onyx that uh, evolves from a dog trio. Wasn't that the deal? Player defeated Hiker Jeremy. Oh, wait, I'm out of Pokemon. You sure had guts standing up to me there, eh? Oh, he is a Canadian hiker. By the look of things. Cerulean City Rock Tunnel. So this would be where we're going. Who's that walking there with those good looking Pokemon? Pervert. Look at his stance too. He's standing like a weirdo. Camper Chris. With a Growlithe. Growlithe. Intimidate cuts Zubat's attack. That's too bad for Zubat. But not bad for Ivy. Wait, don't use Ember. Because I think Ivy is actually weak to Ember. Why did I do this? Let's see if we can kill it before it starts attacking us. Ember, there goes Ivy. Oh, not quite. Not that bad, actually. I think we can still do this. Older Sleuth. Identified Ivysaur. Not sure what that does, but whatever. Asserting dominance by battling fire with grass. Exactly. I don't care about your weaknesses. Just go. You can do it. Yeah, let's not use Ivy for this. Let's go for Graveler. 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 Yeah, for Chris. Mucus screen. Bye bye, Charmander. What? Attack missed? How's that even possible? Super effective. Oh, Charmander fainted. 292 EXP. Keep walking. Arva you Perkele you Super potion for Ivy. Sproink. Oh no, another pervert. I got early I got up early every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. But does he have cocoonas and metapods? He's a bug catcher. Has a bee drill, so he used to have a Kakuna. Kakuna. We have a bee drill as well. We haven't really used it, to be honest. I just uh, evolved it, and that was about that. Bee drill is about to get pumped with his Mega Man looking ass arms. Who had weapons like that? Is it Quick Man? Or Crash Man? One of them. I think Crash Man, most likely. Needle Man? I'm not sure. Mega Man 2, I'm talking about anyway. I hardly remember the other foes from Mega Man games. But in Mega Man 2, I think Crash Man has his hands like that. Gravel Recruit to level 28. Cool. Rack Throw. Missed? You little shit. Oh shit, one damage, two damage, three damage? Crash man, yeah, I kind of recall something like that. Has to be Crash man. Crash Bandicoot boy. 646 EXP. Jesus. I have to collect more than bucks to get stronger. Wild Ratata. No need to catch it, we already have one. Have uh, Ivy just deal with it. A wan whip. 
Rapa. All of 65 EXP, look at that. So, what the fuck? It was just an unnecessary trip around, I guess. Wrapped around to more fights. Go, cool, my super bug Pokemon. I thought that was supposed to take us to the rock tunnel, but apparently it just wrapped us around, so what the fuck. What it was. What it was the fuck. Not cool to use Graveler against Grass Pokemon, but I guess these guys won't exactly be defeating me anyway. Hopefully. If they use Tackle, it shouldn't be too bad. Weedle. Weedle might poison Graveler, of course. Close. String shot. Oi vittu, kun on kuuma. Tää ihan yhtä helvettiä olla täällä kämpössä. Poisoned, of course. Just what I was expecting. Just what I needed. Venonat, that's the first time we're seeing that. I do remember the design, but that's all I remember about that Pokemon. Super effective. Bye bye, bot catcher Ryan Connor. My bugs! Right. Oh, antidote. The Graveler doesn't pass out. There we go. Not talking to you if we don't need to. Don't want to fight you right now. Same for you. Don't go down there. Made it to Route 10. I guess you could surf there. On a Poke Center, I guess that's Rock Tunnel that's ahead of us right there. Just heal the guys and we'll go in. And I guess we still need to teach the Flash HM to someone. Types of Pokemon match up differently with each other. Every type is stronger than some types and weaker than others. Nugget is totally useless, so I sold it for 5,000. Not sure if we sold our nugget just yet. Oh, Slice, I've been looking for you. It's me, one of the ever-present aides to Prof Oak. Your Pokemon Pokedex has complete data on 20 species. I'm supposed to give you a reward from Professor Oak. He entrusted me with this Everstone. Okay, I'm not sure what an Everstone is, but we do have 21. I guess he also tells us. Making Pokemon evolve certainly can add to the Pokedex. However, at times you may not want a certain Pokemon to evolve. In that case, give this Everstone to that Pokemon. It will prevent evolution according to the Professor. But I guess you can also stop evolution manually. I heard that ghosts haunt Lavender Town. So will we get headaches if we go to Lavender Town? Is it the creepy pasta thing here? I've been out of a Pokemon gym a few times, but I always lose. I guess that'll continue from you for you right now as well. Technicker Heidi. Sending out your little Pikachu. Evasiveness rose. One damage. Look at that. Wasn't Pikachu one of Pikachu's evolutions, or is it Pikachu to Pikachu to Raichu? About to use Clefairy. Let's change because Graveler's paralyzed. Ivysaur can deal with Clefairy. 
Pichu is the first. Ah, yeah, there's Pichu as well. I forgot. Pichu to Pikachu to Raichu, but what about Pikablu? Isn't it one as well? Or is it a completely different Pokemon? Encore. Ivysaur got an Encore. Is that just that you use the same move that you did before? I think an Ivysaur to sleep. Double slap. Wake me up before you go go. Come on, Ivy. Get the fuck up. Follow me, huh? The fairy became the center of attention. What the hell is going on? I don't know what those attacks are. Pikablu is the blue ball rat. It doesn't have anything to do with Pikachu then. After all my training. You fucked up. I noticed some Pokemaniacs prowling around. Can you imagine them appear in the mountains? Detour to Lavender Town. I'll go there. I'm just gonna go heal up first. Because the Ivy did take a few hits. Ah. This week I beat a game offline called uh, Scribble Knots Unlimited. That was actually a pretty cool game. Reminded me of like old Mario games. You have to get stars or star rights in that game doing certain tasks. It was a pretty good game. I kind of enjoyed it. Not too long either. Like maybe six to eight hours altogether that it took me to beat it. Let's see. Can we teach Flash to anyone? I'll teach it to Bellsprout. Gene set. Bellsprout learn Flash. Look at that. Right, so. Can you use it, please? Here we go. Ah, it's actually called Meryl. But there was some confusion before its official reveal, and people dubbed it Pika Blue, it seems. Oh, really? I had no idea. I thought Pikablu was an actual Pokemon. But yeah, Meryl does sound familiar. Meryl. Graveler had its energy drain. Whoop de doo. Oh no. Didn't get it all the way. Just a smidgen of health left. Cat keeps waking up because of the thunder. That one of Professor's aides. Pokemon fight, ready go. Apparently not then. Who the hell are you? We got a furry here. Pokemaniac Ashton. With his Q-Bone. First time we're seeing a Q-Bone, I think. Nothing the Ivysaur cannot deal with, I think. Headbutt. Bone Club. EXP for Zubat. Oh, Slowpoke. First time we're fighting one of these. First time we're... S no, wait. Did we... We've already seen Slowpoke at some point, I think. A Slowbro as well. Hey, Jet Grind Radio. I want to see the black hole tagged. Thanks for the pick, Ape. I'll add it to the list. I'm not sure if it's called Jet Grind Radio or Jet Set radio in the EU. There was some weird naming conventions for it, again. PB games are weird because they have different names for different regions. I mean, it most likely is Jet Grind Radio, at least in the Excel. 
but I'm not sure if I have anything anything correct in there anyway. A chop. Let's see if we can catch you. I'll put a graveler there. Hopefully that won't one-shot you. I have Jet Set Radio on 360, I think. Yeah, I kind of recall you, you do. One of my friends is a huge Jet Set Radio fan. I think his nick is actually from the game. His nick is BG Gouji. I think Gouji is like the bad guy from the game, I think. Try to catch ourselves a Machop. The first fighting Pokemon that we would have. Get it. Machop. Loves to build its muscles. It trains in all styles of martial arts to become even stronger. I think this uh, evolves into a Machoke. Eventually. It is a different type of Pokemon, which would be good, good to add to the team, I guess. Yeah. And then Machamp. Macham. Lear. Anna, can you bring Wata? Oh, not good. Wife trying to get me drunk. Kitox, Kitox. Ah, get me some Wada. Some of that sparkly Vichy Wada. Not sure how my Pokemon were doing, but I think they're most likely not gonna faint immediately. Yo, dude, we already have. No need reason to catch it. I guess we could heal. Uh, at least Graveler. Too bad we're to level 20. Great. Hopefully it'll evolve soon as well. Been waiting for that to happen. Zubat against Zubat. Who's gonna win? Each life. I'm gonna give you all the EXP from this fight. Wouldn't be too hard to kill a Zubat. There we go. Only 115, unfortunately. Get down. The rugged rock, but a Pokemon may be able to smash it. I think you need an HM, like strength HM for that. Which we do not have yet. Oh, is it strength that we're supposed to use on uh, Snorlax to get him out of there? Like throw him into the water or something. It might be. And that would kind of... Well, Lavender Town is definitely not where you fight the fighting Pokemon. I think that's where you fight the girl or lady. Samantha, was it? Who has the ghost type Pokemon or something. Psychic Pokemon. And I think... They had Pokemon Tower that we have to uh, climb in Lavender Town. Well, if I'm not mistaken. Mud Sport. I'll take out electricity, which is not happening. Store our levels up to 30. Cool.
another furry. I draw illustrations of Pokemon when I'm home. Some lewds, perhaps. Pokemaniac Winston with his slow poke. We'll finish off Slowpoke, then heal the two dudes that we were supposed to heal. Ivy and Graveler. I'm exhausted. I'm an artiste, not a fighter, but I, I'll go home to draw. Artiste. So, Super Potion for both. Go. Another one. Ivy. Catch the item, then go back. Catch the item, not get the item like you normally would. I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at the Pokeball. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, man. All of 61 EXP. Revive, that's good. We lost that one revive we had, I think. So it's good to have another one. Wish we could buy those off of somewhere. That's the first man key we're seeing. Uh, try to catch it alive. It's another Pokemon we could get. A crit for that amount? Not very good. Same as its Karate Chop. What about Astonish? Not good at all. But I guess we're gonna do it with Zubat still. Get him a little bit of EXP. Well, not EXP, but... Not have Mankey die, at least. Use quite a few attacks on him, though. Fucking Fury Swipes. Does it become confused? Hopefully it'll hurt itself in confusion. Nope. Eh, let's switch out Zubat, because he might die from another set of... Fury swipes. Let's hope Ratata doesn't die from him. Snapped out of confusion already. Come on. What a dick. What about Paras? He's very low level though. Karate chop. Not very effective. Okay. Scratch him. Shit. Okay. Crit. No. Yeah. Get Bellsprout in there. I think Bellsprout doesn't have low enough attacks to not kill it, so that's kind of bad. I'm gonna try a Pokemon Pokeball straight away. Fuck me, Bellsprout will die if it don't go through. So let's hope this catches it. Really? Bye bye, Bell Sprout. Yep. Eh. Well, let's risk Zubat. Hopefully, it won't die. We just need one attack in, and that would be it. Now it's on the red, so. Okay, good. Not dead yet. Let's try to catch it again. Get the Mankey. Got it, I think. Yep. Just in time. Another one for the decks. Extremely quick to anger. What's the Y mean? P. 
pig monkey Pokemon. It could be docile at one moment, then thrash it away the next instant. Banky. I don't often come here, but I will battle you. Did not need to know that, but whatever. Picnicker Martha with your oddish. Come on. Cut works just fine on them. We just need to get up for that, though. You just can't get up. Right now, he won't be able to evade, evade anything. Just get the fuck up, Ivysaur, please. He can't evade anything. The truck that would be driving at you would get you, definitely. There we go. Woke up. This is a one-hit kill. It is. What about your next Pokemon? Oh, Bulba. Look at that. You're fighting our younger self. It's even using Razor Leaf. Look at that. Damage is too bad, though. Kid, I was throwing Razor Leaves when you were still back in your dad's sack. 440 for the match. I like tiny Pokemon. Big ones are too scary. Ah, <laughs> uh, can I not fight you? Just like to get through the rock tunnel. What do you want to tell your younger self? Die, bitch! Yutch. Right, we did not have to fight him. Yes. Won't lose anything with not having fought him. Love the random battles. Some dropped frames, hopefully only those few. It's only showing 73, so I don't think that's anything lethal. Just hope that the stream stays stable. Doesn't cut out or anything. Okay, two ways we could go. I guess we're just gonna go here and have to fight this guy. Hit me with your best shot! Mr. Pat Benatar here. Hiker Eric. He's getting pumped. Thunder booming across once again. Across the skies. Onyx. It's a one-hit kill. Even with Razor Leaf, I think. Yep. Super effective. Fired away. Looking through the rest of the game list and spotted Mission Impossible Operation Surma. Yup. I'll raise you my Pokemon to beat yours, kid. I wonder if Surma is like uh, supposed to be the name of a place, like. Burma, Burma, or something like that. I was playing Resident Evil 
Revelations last weekend. Played it all the way through. They have a Finnish reference there. They have a place that's called Valkoinen Mökki. And it always sounds funny when the characters try to pronounce it. It's usually Valkoinen Mak. They say Valkoinen pretty well, but Mökki they just can't get right. Valkoinen Mak. Bag route level 21. Trying to learn wing attack. Or let's make room for it. Valkoin and Mac! Eh. Yeah. I think I'll get rid of Leech Life, to be honest. Always struck with a large, imposing wing spread wide. I did not read that correctly, but. What? Did I just. I'm so hot. I'm not paid attention at all. Jesus fucking Christ. Whatever. It does not have wing attack now. I mean, it can still learn it from Pokemon Master. But that'll be way later. Fuck me. I'm just... I can hardly see anything because I'm so fucking exhausted from the heat. I'm not paying attention at all. Fucking Volcoin and Mach. I made bread ghosts uh, say Vesi Hisi Si Hisi Hisi in his stream yesterday. And I think he w did it very well. He added one syllable too many, but outside of that, it actually sounded very good. Pretty good with languages, I think. You, dude. Nothing Ivy can't take care of. Not enough for a level, though, most likely. Yeah. We only need a few EXP for a level up, though. Oh, that sleeping Pokemon on Route 12 forced me to take this detour. Same here. Same here. Another manky. Let me just run from the fight. Don't even want to fight it right now. Same as I would not like to fight the Zubat, but I don't think it's a good tactic about running away from each fight. This will do most of them anyway. Escape rope. Uh, is that all there is? No, I think if we go up, there's gotta be another ladder right there. Just need to watch out for the trainer. I don't want to fight him right now. Just trying to get to the next place. Should have changed to Ivysaur and not Graveler, but whatever. Guess we're doing it like this right now. Or not, if it's that... Low power. Let's just change to Ivysaur. Why? There goes Geo Dude. So watch out for the guy in our right. Or to our right. So we won't have to fight him. If we go this far, I think it'll be okay. There we go. Another man key. Try the running tactic again. Got away safely. Try to get out of the rock tunnel. There's just a few stones to the north, so I think we're gonna go south instead. Hopefully find that way out of here. I 
still got a ways to go when we eventually get to Lavender Town, if we still want to do the next gym today. But I think you first have to do the Pokemon Tower to get to the gym anyway. Oh, an Onyx. We try to catch that. Uh, not sure which Pokemon we would use for it, though. Bellsprout? Who's dead? We could try to cut it with Ivy. Hopefully it won't kill him. That's only a level 13 one anyway, so... I don't think it's gonna stay up, uh, healthy for a long time. Let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna use a few cuts to get it down. Then try to catch it. About four or five of those. I think five will actually kill it though, so maybe not good. Yeah, one more. Hopefully it won't be a crit. Really? Fuck you, game. Hopefully it won't be a crit. And of course it is one. You saw us from that far? What the hell? You know how you can avoid getting lost in the mountains. You can bend twigs as, a trail mar as trail markers. Thanks for the tip, picnicker. Sophia, with your jiggly puff. Nothing a rock throw won't fix. If it if it didn't miss, that is though. Roll out. One damage. Okay. Just nice. Look at that. Who that's gonna gain? No, a graveler is gonna get a level up soon enough. PG. AKA dead bird. Twenty-nine, great. Trying to learn roll out. Yeah, we'll delete and move. We get rid of uh tackle. I think yeah. Five turn rolling attack that becomes stronger each time it hits. Okay. That's something. Ooh, Meowth. That's the first time we're seeing Meowth here. Payday. Points scattered everywhere. Thank you, Graveler. Player defeated Picnicker Sophia. Surprise. I want to go home. Same here. Not gonna fight you. That defense curl ain't gonna do a lot of good for you, unfortunately. Where's my exit? Can I get it? Can I get it? Like every few steps we run into a random battle. That's what I always hated about Pokemon. About all grinding games anyway, that there's just too many fights all the time. You can always run away from the fights, but I don't really want to do that right now, to be honest. We still do need to level up a little bit. Okay, an item. There's the ladder. We got into a fight still. This one I'm actually just gonna run away from though. Fuck that. Ooh, Max Ether. That's a good pickup. Uh, 
He's most likely gonna notice us, right? Yeah, of course. Ah, can you beat my power? And we still have to fight that one uh, Pokemaniac, or the latter at least. Hiker Dudley. Speaking of Dudley, I've been listening to the Harry Potter audiobooks as of late by Stephen Fry. They've been pretty good. Only thought of that because of Dudley Dursley. Relying on only one Pokemon ain't a good tactic, of course, because they'll run out of PP, usually. But since these are one-hit kills, Graveler ain't exactly gonna do a good job here either against Geodude, so... Why not do it like this? Oh, he even has a Graveler, look at that. So free. Nice. Out muscled. I go for power because I hate thinking. Sounds like me. Another chance to catch the Onyx. That's a level 17 one as well. How did we do it last time? I think I used cut right. You have to heal the Ivysaur as well, I think. So four of these, maybe actually five this time around. And just no crits, please. Heal ourselves first. Ooh, a crit, look at that. Nope, not bag, there we go. Could try a Razor Leaf, but I think that'll actually just finish him off, so let's not do it. Can we break free from that bind, please? Especially if we keep missing attacks. We're getting dealt with by this Onyx here. He's actually tearing us a new asshole here, isn't he? I'm sure when we'll get close to beating, or I maybe mean catching it, then the Pokemon will just crit again. And we won't catch this Onyx either, right? Ain't that how it's gonna be? No, this time we will actually catch it. If not, we're gonna get dealt with. So let's hope for the best. Give me an Onyx, please. Are you fucking serious, game? Fuck off. Let's see, it shouldn't kill us, though. Yeah. We can barely heal ourselves and then try to catch it again. Uh, where's the super potion? There it is. Or do you need a great ball to catch one of these? Nah, we should be able to do it with a regular one, right? I think. Maybe we just had bad luck. Yeah, we got it now. No! Oi, wait to line in. We can't get it to lower HP anymore, I think. Next, whatever attack would kill it. There we go, we got it. Took three balls, though. Onyx. As it grows, the stone portions of its body harden to become similar to black-colored diamonds. Massive snake Pokemon. And we still have to fight this fucker after it. You have a Pokedex? I want one, too! Pokemaniac. Cooper? Kusaselka Cooper.
I was the, as I was talking about Resident Evil Revelations, it certainly was an experience. Kind of happy that I played through it, but there was nothing really new or anything interesting in it, to be honest. Playing it this late. If I played it 10 years ago when it came out, it might have been a little better. But you can definitely see that it's just a uh, spin-off game in between big titles. Not a lot in there. Just something to play through in a quick 10 hours or so. Almost got another level up for Ivy, so we're getting close to Venusaur, most likely. Can you finish your Pokedex? Can I have it? No. Shit. Still more fights and more cave to go with anyway. This is a long ass place. Maybe get that level up for Ivysaur. Was it 35 that it becomes Venusaur? Something like that anyway. 35, 36. Too bad grew to level 22. Great. Fucking wing attack. Oh, I can't get it back. Oh, hey, look at that. Zubat is evolving to Golbat, finally. Another entry for the decks. That's great. Look at that mouth. Wow. Zubat evolved into Golbat. Oh, look at that. We already get Venusaur too. Great. I thought it was a little later, but this is cool. Got the final evolution and we got that Pokemon that's on the picture right there. And the box art. Rah. Ivysaur evolved into Venusaur. Great. Alright, that one we didn't have to fight. Oh, we didn't have to fight either one of them. That's good for me. I'll take it. Hundred and one HP for Venusaur two. Wonder if we'll learn some good moves for Venusaur still. Should most likely. Where is the exit? Please. but no cigar. There we go. Should kill it. Oh, didn't? Really? Look at this fight. That won't do it. Oh, luckily it was a crit. I just thought that that won't do it and he would have gotten his health back with his leech seed as well. But it looks like that was enough. Alright, where is the goddamn exit? Got a pearl. In comes Venusaur. Who's running out of PP, unfortunately. I hope the place is gonna be over soon because we won't have any good contenders here. Would have to use an escape rope, perhaps. This one we do have to fight. I came this far looking for wild Pokemon. Hey, get your fighting us. What an absolute bitch, Dana. Meow. P 
PG. Try to cut you down. And an Oddish. Boy, boy. Paralyze. Well, at least we cut it still. You look cute and harmless. Was I ever wrong? Yeah. Come on, these random fights. I'm dying over here, man. Ah! I don't really even know if I'm gonna do the gym today. I really don't feel like playing too much right now. Just way too hot. And, uh... I don't know. I guess we'll see. Not gonna say no just yet, but... I wouldn't count on it. Should I get rid of the paralysis? We're like right out of here. We could just do it at the Pokey Center, I guess. Rock Tunnel, Cerulean City, Lavender Town. There's the exit. Jesus. Hopefully Lavender Town isn't too far off. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> All these fucking fights. Jesus Christ, game. Picnicker Carol. Throw in your fucking Pidgey so I can eat it alive. Ah. <laughs> oh. I mean, it, I mean, it is pretty much the bread and butter. Yay for fighting! Exactly. It is pretty much the bread and butter of the game, but... God damn it. All these random battles. I mean, the trainer ones ain't random, of course, but you can't, like, duck out of all of them. You do have to fight most of them, I guess. Gust. Don't die, Venusaur, please. Heal you up a little bit. For the time being. I guess we're getting to Lavender Town soon enough, but... It's still gonna be a little bit of a trek. Get in there. Bye-bye, Pechado. Pokemon here in the mountains are so chunky. I wish there were pink Pokemon with a floral pattern. Right, so would it be here? Not fight you if we don't have to. We got to Lavender Town finally. Hey Zeus. What a trek. We can get rid of Golbat from the team change someone in there. The funny thing about that dialogue is that there is a pink there is a Pokemon with a pink floral pattern, but not until black and white. Which one would that be, though? I would think of Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff, because they are pink. And Slowpoke, of course. Team Rocket will do anything for the sake of money. There is no job too dirty, no deed too heinous, and no crime too wicked. Fifth generation. I saw Cubone's mother trying to escape from Team Rocket. He was killed trying to get away. Oh, that's dark. You know how the Cubone species were skulls, right? People we play a lot for one. Very dark. Dark lore for them. Yeah, well, uh, deposit. Golbat. And, uh, should we pick up maybe even Drowsy? Try to get it to hip. No, no, Machop. We want Machop. I mean, Mankey could also be evolved into the next form. 
Can't remember what it is, though. Pokemon, uh, who starts? Ratata will start because we still need to get it to eradicate. You have Saverino. Lavender Down doesn't have the creepy GB music, I think. Actually, it does. Ain't that something? Ghost appeared in Pokemon Tower. I think they're the spirits of Pokemon that the rockets killed. Lavender Volunteer Pokemon House. This town is known as the Gravesite of Pokemon. All real services are held in Pokemon Tower. That's odd. Mr. Fu Fuji isn't here. Where did he go? This is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's really kind. He looks after abandoned and orphaned Pokemon. Pokemon Fan Magazine. Monthly grand prize drawing. The application form is... Gone! It's been clipped out. Someone must have applied already. There's a Psyduck, I think. It's so warm. Pokemon are so nice to hug. Wappa. Okay. The noble purple town. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. Really? So there are believers. Take a look at the mart real quick. Sometimes a trainer duo will challenge you with two Pokemon at the same time. If that happens, you have to send out two Pokemon to battle two. Oh, I did not know. That's new. I'm searching for items that raise the stats of Pokemon. They are effective over the course of a single battle. X attack, defense, speed, and X special are what I'm after. Do you know where I can get them? Did you buy some revives? They revive any fainted Pokemon. He's selling them. Oh, good. I'll take 100. I'll take 5 for now. Don't need too many of them, I guess. Uh, I think we have enough of everything. Almost everything. We don't have... Wait, we do have burn heals, okay. Ice heals as well. Super repel. Get plenty of those, right? Uh, buy a couple of great balls. I think we'll go with that for now. Hello, hello, I'm the official name raider. You want me to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? No, since I don't have any nicknames for them. Only one we would have had would have been Chiding, the far-fetched. Those horrible rockets, they deserve no mercy. That poor Cubone's mother, it was killed trying to escape from Team Rocket. That's sad. Yaragu! That is sad. Random battle, yeah, but whatever. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Wait, there isn't a gym in Lavender Town, then? Well, we still do have to do the Pokemon Tower, I guess. Or do we have to visit some other place and then do Pokemon Tower? I can't remember. I do know that you have to do Pokemon Tower, though. I guess it would be for Mr. Fuji, maybe. To teach us strength, perhaps? I have no idea. Great. Sing Mist. Follow me. Center of attention. Ratata grew to level 13. Good. Learned Hyper Fang. No change in Pokemon. Double slap, good. At least, at least it ain't sing. There we go. Last Julia defeated. Stop, don't be so mean to my Clefairy. 
I read that Clefairy evolves when it's exposed to a Moonstone. I read that in a Pokemon journal. I wonder if it's true. We know who we can use it for, at least. So, I guess we're going into the tower. I kind of feel like we did have to do this for some reason. I'm not sure if it's too early to do it now or not. I guess we'll just go. There's a ton of fighting here, though. Pokemon Tower was erected in the memory of Pokemon that died. I came to pray for my dearly departed Clefairy. Sniff, I'm awash in tears. Did you come to pay respects? Bless your Pokemon loving heart, son. A sad place. There has to be one. My Growlithe, why did you die? I am a channeler. There are spirits up to mischief. I sense them high in the tower. I guess there were also random battles, not just trainer battles. Or. Hey, hey, Fizzier, look at that. Hey, Slice, what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive. I can make it. I can at least make them faint. Let's go. Look at Ave the cunt here. With his purple pants and nonchalant attitude. Then it out his Pijado. Fine whip. Should take care of... Oh, didn't take care of the Pajato. The grass ain't good. Well, cut should work at least somewhat then. I hope. Another should kill it. Yo. Execute. I think we can just cut it down too. I think it's a grass type, right? Confusion. There was that one weird super super tall long neck having execute thing, right? In the later generations. That one that became a meme sorta. Karabra! That's only in the seventh generation. Yeah, I kind of recalled something. That's it's like way later. But it is a thing still. Try to Uri Gellerize us again. Curse fell. Gotta cut it for the finish. Karabra fainted. This is 21 EXP. Great. Chameleon, yes, let's change to Graveler. Could help us deal with it. Magnitude. Do a 10, please. Six. Well, that's good enough, too. Not sure if it'll one shot it, but close to it. Hey, Gons. Big thanks for the raid. I was, uh, Spyro. I'm very sure you finished it today, right? Unless you're going the 100% route. I'm getting out. What else do we have? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's a Jaredus. Jaredus. Uh, let's go back to Venusaur. I mean, it should be good to fight water Pokemon, right? Which everyone should. I didn't because of the secret agent levels. Gyarados. Okay, that's not good. Rash. Try Vine Whip then. Secret agent levels are fun. Yep, exactly. Tons of fun. Could not get enough of them. Alright, one more cut. That should be it for Gyarados. Almost enough for us, though. 
became confused due to fatigue. I'll actually heal myself for safety. You have to heal after the fight anyway. Damage yourself for the win. Ah, didn't. Not bad. Just cut it for the win. Lunk. Nice Cena Jarados though. Ooh, a thousand EXP from it. Player defeated rival A. What? You stinker! I took it easy on you too. How's your Pokédex coming? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the bigger Marowak. Where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish. Unlike you. Smell you later. You know what? Let's just go back and heal before we proceed with the Pokémon Tower. Make our journey a little easier at least. Uh, Brad, how is uh, how is Harvest Moon coming along? Are you close to finishing it? And now we're finishing up some football. Madden? Are you playing Madden? I'm estimating minimum five hours left. Just about one stream for you then, I guess. Backyard football. Ah, oh, you still have that going then. Okay. Even when we could not identify the wayward... Even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A sylph scope might be able to unmask them. Shit. Sylph scope is what we don't have, right? Ain't it. Be gone, malevolent spirit. Do we need a sylph scope to proceed here then? Channeler Patricia. With Pierre Gasly. I am what I think is the third to last affection level and each one has taken me about 2.5 hours to get. So I assume I'll get the last two and spend maybe another hour to figure out how to get her to marry me? Well, you're getting close to the end at least, so it sounds good enough. You're getting there, man. Nightshade? Ooh. Bye bye, Ghastly. Ratata grew to level 14. Cool. Phew, the spirit left. I think she was trying to fart or something. The others above, they must have been possessed. I kind of feel like we will need that sylph scope. And that'll come to bite us in the ass. But I guess we can also get out. Uh, with a escape rope if we need to. Elixir. Weakening. Now, of course we have to fight you here then. <laughs> Beat me not! Channeler Jody. Well, at least these ones we can identify. Sylph Scope. I wonder where you got that. Maybe we have to venture out of Lavender Town to find it. Or you get it when you rescue Mr. Fuji or something. I don't know. Got a lucky crit there. Huh? Who? What? Found a great ball. Ghost! No! Wah! More channelers. Channeler Paula. With another guess, Lee. Venusaur. Spite. Mm. 
No, not ghosts. Whatever will we do? We're doomed. Doomed, I tells ya. Right? Enish are confused. Can we cut this one? Or will we hurt ourselves in confusion? Of course we will. What does Spike do? Snapped out of its confusion. Good. Right, you cannot cut Ghastly. I guess because it's a normal one and Ghastly doesn't have a form. Outside of his gas form that you can cut with Vine Whip for some reason. Right, let's... Well, let's save. Why not? Whatever. I was looking forward to healing, but I guess this works too. There we go. Venusaur almost up to full health. Alright, nothing up there by the looks of things. Now we have to fight all of these. Oh wait, we don't. Enter the purified and protected zone. Pokemon were fully healed. Oh, look at that. That was nice. Cleanse tag. Hell is cleanse tag. An item held by a Pokemon. It repels wild Pokemon if the holder is first in the party. Ooh. Hello. Through wild Pokemon right now. Zombies! So it kind of works like Repel, then, I guess. But it won't work for everything, right? Guessing. Need to let the cat out. Confused, Ray? Don't get confused. Of course you do. Bad. Oh, really? Reduced it by five. That sucks. I'm gonna need my stuff for the rest of the tower. I'm not sure if the purified zone replenishes your PP or not. Most likely not. Ratata grew to level 15. Good. Close to getting Radicate, perhaps. I regained my senses. Erga. Earth. No PP left for this move. My PP got cut in half almost. It's hardly a nub nowadays. Ah, uh, guns. What's coming after backyard soccer? Or backyard football. <laughs> Just a P. Exactly. You have your next game set up already. I'm gonna let it fly right now. The uh, bonus game that I have for the follows incentive, if it ever gets met because of the stupid way it works. It's actually one of the games that was on the votes for you. It is NHL 2002. I kind of want to play that game and it's not going to be in my challenge, so I have to make it a bonus incentive. I also wanted to make one of those bonus incentives... Uh, 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 Eye of the Beholder. But apparently that had a UK release, so it's in my... Uh, challenge list anyway. So we're gonna play Eye of the Beholder no matter what. What am I doing? Am I healing someone? I don't need to heal anyone. You gotta make 14 accounts now. Yeah, I've like easily gotten those 25 follows already. But since it only updates if I'm online. That's why we haven't like reached anywhere close to 25 follows. It's a very stupid system though. Only updates when you get a follow. When OBS is on. 
because that's when it recognizes. It doesn't even need to be like live. It just has to be on for the whole thing to realize that it got the follow and that it, therefore it updates the whole follow count thing. Leave OBS on 24-7. Yeah, I really should just to get that thing going. Look at this. Curse. It cursed Venusaur. Oh, Ghastly cut its own HP and laid a curse. Venusaur is bothered by the curse. What the hell? Venusaur is afflicted by the curse. It actually damages you quite a lot, but hopefully Razor Leaf will hit now and kill Ghastly off. There we go. I don't think the curse stays. At least it is in the status effect, apparently, so... Yeah, I've never really played NHL 94, and I know that NHL 2002 was basically just a port of that with back then rosters. It would be cool to play just to see how many players I recognize. I really wasn't into NHL during that time, but I am nowadays. I do remember some names, though, so most likely gonna be good. Most likely, like, players from Colorado, at least, I would recognize. From 2002. Colorado was a beast in 2002. Yeah. I mean, didn't they win the Stanley Cup just now as well, so... They're pretty good nowadays. I heard that uh, Nazem Kadri got... Uh, traded. To... Was it Calgary? Patrick Rua must have been the goaltender, at least, for Colorado back in those days. I'm not sure about other people. But yeah, I think Nas and Kadri got uh, traded for, I think, Calgary just now. Which is a very good pickup for Calgary, at least. He's a top-notch player. Who else played for Cal I mean Colorado back in 2002? Forsberg? Was Forsberg a Colorado do? 34 for Venusaur. Channeler, Channeler Emilia got dealt with. I think Peter Forsberg must have played for Colorado back in those days. Rare candy is always a nice find. Oh no, a ghost! Can't be ID'd. We'll just try to run from it. Got away safely. The item we did not pick up. Be gone! Intruders! But if we can't ID this ghost, can we even defeat it? I hope we can, let's see. Get out! Get out! Too scared to move. So do we just have to run then? Forsberg was a beast. Yeah, he sure was. Got away safely. So we can't go past here if we don't have the Sylph scope, right? Fuck. Me. Yeah, you can't go past there if you don't have the Sylph scope. Uh, Hyduke was on that roaster. I can't remember Hyduke too well, to be honest. I'm gonna take a quick look about Sylph Scope. Sylph Scope. Bulbapedia, key item, Milan Hajduk. Okay. The course. Fuck out of there. Four series of the game. Effect, Lavender Town. It appears inside. Blah 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 blah. This. Required to ascend to the staircase on 6th floor of the Pokemon Tower that's guarded by Ghost Marowak. Can't be caught even with the Sylph Scope equipped. Acquisition. Team Rocket Hideout. 
Got by Giovanni after defeating him. Oh yeah, so we have to make our way to the Team Rocket hideout. Can we just use an... Uh, escape rope to get out of here? Luckily we can, good. Don't have to travel all the way back by foot. So where was the Team Rocket hideout then? Christ. I'm really, really about done for today, though. Guess we could still do the hideout, at least. It is a lot of battles, though. Rod. I can't really even remember where it was. It's either to the left or to the south. I mean, the map wouldn't show it. Wait, we can... Bike, so we don't have to fight, I think. We don't fight if we're on the bike. There's a lookout spot upstairs. The view is magnificent. My Pokemon ashes are stored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. Return. If you treat your Pokemon good, it will return your love by working its hardest in the battle. Mm-hmm. Let's see what the binoculars have to show. There's a man fishing. It's Pokemon Tower. Great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got a bite here. Good on you. Is it, is it a bass or perhaps a roach? Galdeen, Galdeen. Hmm. Team Rocket's hideout. Hopefully we'll find it pretty fast without having to search for it too much. Water sport? That's kind of naughty, right? Fire's power was weakened. That ain't gonna do us a lot of bad, at least. Hollywag, we'll just stay with Venusaur. One shot it with a Vine Whip. We'll do the same for Goldeen. Looks like the thunder's out. No more lightning around on the outside. We'd need to use Surf to get there, I think. Does this take us to the next town, though? Be patient. Fishing is a waiting game. Fisherman Chilp. Easy slap. Oh, wait. It ain't too good for Tentacle, apparently. What about Cut? Does that work for you? Teams 2? Five seventy, good. Fisherman chip dealt with. That one got away. With a better rod, I could catch better Pokemon. Yeah, I guess that's how it works. If you find a better rod than the old rod, you start finding better Pokemon as well. Guess you don't have to fight this one. Kind of like the fact that you can slip away from them every here and there. Gia. Hey Jess, if we win, I'll marry you. Or you guys. Young couple, Gia and Gen Oh, wait, this is where they throw two Pokemon, right? Yeah. So we have to use two against theirs. 
Ratata and Graveler. Let's just get Ratata out of there. Actually, we would have to take Graveler out of there as well. Because he ain't too good against... Grass types, but what? Let, let's see. Let's see. Maybe we'll stay alive still. We're level twenty-four, so not that bad, to be honest. Oh crap! It actually, it's Venusaur as well. That ain't good. Well, there we go. They're both dealt with. Now they won't marry each other. Ratata grew to level 17. Good. Yeah, and Jess. Oh, but why? Jess, you silly. You ruined this. Oh, gee, uh, geez, for, please forgive me. Yeah, so... That's where he was. We won't be getting further ahead there. So it's got to be left, then. That we have to go to. Fuck. Mission Fool versus Pokemon Kid. Oh boy, this has been a day and two. Definitely. I've been so tired today doing this stream. Just flustered. I want to start hitting that Jack and Coke already. Without the Jack, it's, I got a cheap whiskey to mix in with my Coke. But I do want to start hitting it. We play something offline. Two. Maybe continue with Witcher 3. Or something. It's gonna be a good old Friday night. Yeah. Sounds like it anyway. Always gotta hit that whiskey and coke. Well, you beat me at Pokemon, but you can't top me at fishing. Could be, could be. What about you, Gons? I'm gonna hit that whiskey and coke. Heal the Pokemon and then go left, I guess. I hope that's where the, uh... uh... Team Rocket hideout was. <laughs> Probably, or you know, uh, sleep. Ah, yeah, you're working tomorrow, wasn't that? No, wait, you, you were off today, but does that mean that you're working tomorrow or not? I'm a rambling gaming dude. Why do we have, like, old-ass gamers here? These ain't even boomers. Gamer rich. Just early stream. Okay, okay. In comes Graveler. I think the Magnitude worked very well against these dudes. Team So. Volpix, that's the first one of those we're seeing, but I think it's a fire type as well. What was the evolved form of Vulpix? Was it Nine Tails? I think the Latin name for a fox is Vulpes Vulpes, right? Nine Tails. Yeah, I got that right then, I guess. Vulpes Vulpes or Vulpes Vulpes or something. The Latin name for a fox. It's the big chance. Playing games and Pokemon are like eating peanuts. It just can't stop. All right, what will we find here? Oh, you do still fight Pokemon even on a bike. Did not know that. PG against Rattata. It's Hyper Fang it.
It's almost killing us here. There we go. Bye bye, Pidgey. She looks like it could be cut down. Oh shit. Clear the way or I'll run you down. What a guy. Oh, it's a motorcycler. Biker Jaren. Sending out his Grimer. The toxic one. He uses James Harden. Let's see if it'll work well against the Razor Leaf. Not very effective. I guess we'll try cut then. Right, not that good. Let's try another Razor Leaf, maybe it'll finish him off. And again, it is protected against it right now. With Harden. Well, it got killed. Good. Ratata to level 18. Would that be time for Radicate already? Looks like Razor Leaf works better than Wine Whip. I wasn't expecting that. Good. You for real, kid? Sure I am. Don't think you're all special and all just because of this. Oh, look at that. Alright, just try to not fight anyone. Celadon City, Lavender Town. What about this way, then? I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty, though. Oh, wait, there. The road's closed. Well, looks like we won't be going that way then. Yeah, I guess we'll go to Celadon City. Maybe we'll find something there. The department store in Celadon has a great selection. Do you go there very often? That's a long road right here. Or path, whatever. I heard a sleepy Pokemon appeared out near Celadon City too. Yep. Where would this be? Yeah, that, that might be the path that just goes back to where the other part was. We're at Celadon right now. Oh wait, this is a new place. I thought it was the same place that we've been before. He bought a Team Rocket's way. So this must be where their headquarters is. I rode here from Fusha. It's an uphill ride on cycling road, so I'm exhausted. If I had a bike, I would go to cycling road. Pokey Flute awakens... Ah, sleepy Pokemon. There we go. So we need the Pokey Flute to awaken Snorlax. Right. I guess we'll be going to Team Rocket's HQ still, but I definitely don't think I'll be doing the Pokemon Tower since we now have to do this. After that, we might actually have to go to Snorlax to wake him up. Maybe that's the path the game will take. This is my trusted pal, Poliwrath. Evolved from a Poliwhirl when I used a Water Stone. Baby, give it. Trainer tips. X accuracy boosts the accuracy of techniques. Dire hit jacks up the likelihood of critical hits. Get your items at Celadon Department Store. Guard spec protects Pokemon from status reduction moves during battle. Get your items at the Celadon Department Store. What would that place be? Yeah, I raked it in today. If, I, if only every day were like this. 
I sure do fancy that Porygon, but but it's hard to win at slots. Coin case is required. Okay. Rocket Game Corner, Playground for Grown-Ups. Where's my coin case? Hey! The better things to do, champion the making. Teladon Gym's leader is Erika. She's a user of grass-type Pokemon and at one with nature. She might appear docile because of her flower arranging, but she's not one to be taken lightly. Games are scary. It's easy, so easy to get hooked. These slot games, win or lose, it's only bad luck. I'm guarding this poster, go away or else. Alright, so grass type Pokemon, we actually might have a little bit of a difficult time with that because we don't have anything good to fight them with, I think. We have our grass type Venusaur, of course, but they're good against Graveler, so... Fighting with, well, Graveler won't be too good. Got to see what we do for that. Once we eventually get there. Scary face. Speed harshly fell. Forty-seven for Ratata, level thirty-five for Venusaur. Zubat, not change. Bye, bye, Zubat. Oh, not yet a crit, but not even halfway through. Let's try cut then. There we go. Team Rocket Run. Damn! Team Rocket Hideout might be discovered. I better tell Puas. Hey, a switch behind the poster. Let's push it. Ah, it's here! Okay. Let's go! Let's go then. Rocket Hideout. I kind of feel like this might be a long place too. Nice, this isn't the time to use that. You broke into Team Rocket's operation. What nerve! Another Radicate. That Radicate quick attacking. That seems to work just fine. Bye bye. You just sent out that Paras because you haven't leveled that one at all, and it's only level 10. Be easy to get a few levels into it straight off, which is starting it in the fights, I guess. You're not gonna get away with this, brat. All complicated words and numbers that make no sense. Okay. There's something there we sh should go get. There's a door. I guess we have to go there anyway. Who are you? How did you get here? Guess there might be a hidden switch we need to hit to open that door. Drowsy. Try to hyper fang it. Seems to work. Looks like its attack works on us too, though. Come on, crit! No. Stable. We'll quick attack it for the win. Great. 
Machop. I will change Pokemon to Venusaur. Sorry, Machop. Ow, beaten! Exactly. Which again. Blasted! You're distant Team Rocket, aren't you? It's a blueprint of some sort. It's filled with diagrams and text. Alright, so you're not open yet. I have to do something to open you up. I kind of feel like it might have been one of the boxes or something you have to press. No, wait, is it behind one of the plants? Don't seem like it. Oh, found PP up. Luckily, we can get our PP up right now. Then that always helps. Yuck! 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 Guess we'll go down. Won't have to fight you. Or do we? Notice this. Boss said you can see ghosts with the silk scope. Oh yeah, we do get it here. That's right. Five? Five Pokemans? All good? Oh no, Coffin didn't die from it though. Coffin! Ain't that how he says it? Was it Cut that worked well against him? I guess it must have been. Yeah, definitely. Zubat? Sorry for my powerful Venusaur. My all powerful Venusaur. Team Rocket HQ has four underground floors. Think you can reach the boss. Do we go here now? Ah, okay, okay. So you can only stop when you hit one of those pedestals. X speed. Lights in different colors are flashing on and off. A moonstone. Good. Uh, where to next? That'll stop us so we can get the ball. EM12. Want. Uh, that pedestal will stop us as well, and it's the only place... No, it actually ain't the only place we could have gone, but whatever. Okay, here. Here. We go there, we end up there anyway. So we would go... Do we want to go here? We did not get all the way to the left yet. But I guess this gets us to where we were going anyway. We used to need a key. Luckily no random battles here, at least. Hyper Potion. And I feel like I will have to fight some of these members to maybe even get that key. Better not use it. Intruder alert. How many do you have? Hopefully not five. Three. Okay. A 
evasiveness rules. Ain't gonna help you. Even if it doesn't work very well against him, that'll still kill him. I was supposed to use Cut, not Razor Leaf. There we go. Level 286. Will he still learn new moves? I can't remember. I don't feel like he should have some super power, some move. Seed shot or something. And again, he already had Leech Seed before, so... I don't know. Smog! I don't think he can get poisoned though, so that's good. He can't do it! Silph Scope? Huh, I don't know where it is. They said level 4, I think. E4, that is. Uh, do I still fight you or just not? I guess I'm gonna fight you. Might have the key. Or Jesus. Ooh, that was close. Wait, let's see if I can use Quick Attack before he can. Yes! 231, thank you. I will. Yeah, I wish we had some sort of a fire Pokemon prior to going to the gym, but we don't. We just don't. We haven't really ran into any of them out in the wild anyway, so... That doesn't help the situation. Just do a crit cut. Come on. Nah. Oh shit. Have to heal Venusaur after. Jump from my shoulder. I think that's all he had. Yep. No key though. I'll talk. Take the elevator to see my boss. Yeah, I know, but he should have given us the fucking key though. Dick. Don't have the key yet. Guess we have to go one down still to get it. There was a staircase. Close by. Or it could be in the left side where we did not go yet. So let's see if we do this spin a Rooney thing again. Uh, how was I gonna pull it off? We have to go here. Here. Oh, how stupid. Wait, I can still fix it. Yeah. So, like this, then here. A super potion, that's it. I guess that's it. Oi. So, this staircase here, I guess we'll go down it.
That machine looks suspicious. Then again, there's also a Pokeball next to it, so maybe not. One of the machines here too. Do not mess around with it. Another Spinaroony puzzle. This will get us that Pokeball. Ooh, nice rare candy. Take it. Mm -mm -mm. This one. You look like you're gonna give us a key. Oh, middle in Team Rockets Affairs or else. All these idle threats. Countless idle threats. Just like Neil Young with a song. Sang. Okay, drowsy, give me your best shot. Nope, fine. A tail whipping son of a bitch. Harshly fell. Oh. Silv scope. Oh, the machine, the boss stole. It's here somewhere. It was supposed to be on the fourth level, right? Black glasses. Shady looking boost dark type moves. Okay. Too bad would have had a dark type move, I guess. But this is level four, I think. So we should find the silph scope here. At least according to the wiki. EM49 snatch. <laughs> Ain't that something? Very different things in uh, English and American English. Who has the lift key? I thought it was you. You should have had it. Team Rocket Run would like to battle. We'll send out Graveler to do the dirty deeds. Sludge, poison most likely. Rod. Hurt by poison pretty hardly too. Graveler's gonna be level 30 soon enough. That's nice. Super effective. Nice. All right, we do have to heal Graveler. Well, not heal him straight away, but at least give him an antidote to get rid of the poisoning. Because we do still need him. Oh no, I dropped the lift key. All right, so he had it. Very good. Very good. Uh, antidote. I think, well, the lift was supposed to take us to, I think it's Giovanni, the leader here. Put the lift key in item's pocket. Let's do this.
Now we have to do this part again, which should be pretty straightforward. Ah, no, wait, I actually <laughs> straight away did it wrong. Of course, it goes to a different part. Here. Here. Oh, again. Look at me. The professional right here. Uh, here. 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 And then down here. There we go. I guess save before we head in. Not slice, no. Yes, we should heal before we face uh, Giovanni, not knowing what he has. Wouldn't he have a Persian? Could it be one F first? Okay, let's not, since there's a fight right there. What about B4 F? What does he have? I didn't even see the elevator spot here, though. I'll see him. I think that's like a stat upgrade. Alright, this is definitely the way out of here, apparently. Let's fight these two, see if that opens the door. How can you not see the beauty of our evil? They, didn't, they weren't even aggressive. I was the aggressor here. Icons. Blair, that's the first time I've seen that. Oh, come on. Paralyzed and poisoned on top of that, right? No, I didn't get poisoned. Lucky. I kind of should die from the magnitude. Ratata to level 20. Where's my radicate? Trying to learn focus energy, let's see. Get get rid of diff tail whip. Raise its critical hit ratio. You know what? Let's not. Go with Graveler still. Crit and paralyzed. Try to get that attack through, please. Magnitude eight. Bye bye, sand shrew. No, ain't that something? Whole earth is shaken. Arbok. It's another magnitude enemy. The evolved version of Ekans. Give us a magnitude 10, please. Paralyzed. Well, give us that. That'll do just fine. Come on, man, you can do this. I mean, Lady, Lady Graveler. There we go, magnitude 10. Bye bye, Arbok. Ay, 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 ay. There we go, finally got that ready kit. Another entry to the Pokédex. I think we're at 27 right now. Hello. 
Your Radita evolved into Radicate. Trying to learn Scary Face. Are you sure? Maybe we'll now get rid of Tail Whip. Because this was, yeah, sharply to reduce speed. Oof. Radicate learned Scary Face. Boss, I'm so sorry I failed you. Uh, Paralyze Heal for Graveler. Graveler, whatever, Allure. There we go. I know you, you ruined our plans at Mount Moon. I'll ruin your plans everywhere. Don't have to be no Mount Moon or nothing. Okay, Sandshrew, just don't paralyze our Graveler, please. That's all I'm asking. Defense curl, good. It was a good magnitude earth shake. Five, that ain't gonna do it, I guess. What? Only that little? Was it like that before? And poisoned, god damn it. Try rock throw then. Oh shit, nothing's effective against them. Well, they are both ground types though, so... Of course. Bring in Venusaur then. This should do a nasty number on ya. Dan Slash, the evolved version of San Shrew. This should still work against it just fine. Yup. Eight oh two EXP, look at that. For Icons we can use Graveler. Hoping it won't die. Didn't use potions. I don't have too many potions left, though. That's the bad part. And he even gets hurt by poison just coming into the match? Really? Let's hope this one shots the Akans then. Yep, crit. Super effective crit. There we go. Burn again! There we go, the door's open. Let's heal our comrades. So only five potions left, like said. You get one and Venusaur gets one too. Not gonna give one to Radicate right now. I think we will most likely do without him. Or whatever. You have something against Team Rocket? Well, technically, yeah. Well, there's Giovanni, so I guess we got to where we were going. So, I must say, I am impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader, Giovanni. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Like a Geo there. Three Pokemon, Onyx first off. Nothing good old Venusaur can't handle. Onyx, Persian, and something, maybe Arbok. I'm saying Onyx, Arbok, Persian. No, Rhyhorn, okay. I think Rhyhorn is a rock type still though, so this should be just fine for him. Yep. Rock or ground. 
Tangas Khan. Okay, so definitely not what I was expecting. There's two new Pokemon right here. Cool to see them. That didn't work too well. Let's try Cut then. <laughs> that didn't work any better. But it's just a tiring him out type of match, so. Well, that worked. Crit. Oh, Kangas Khan fainted. Venusaur gained 1087 EXP points. What? This can't be. 2900 gained. I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you could never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. Gained the Sylph Scope. And now we can finally do Pokemon Tower. I'm gonna escape rope myself the hell out of here. Take myself to the PC. Heal my poke Emon. Save. Oh, what a what a stream! Definitely was a very low energy one, and I felt like I didn't get a lot done. But at the same time, I guess I did. Got it there. Like, 